Hey, how is it going, everybody? Welcome, 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 welcome back to Manor Lords. We are diving back in today with either the continuation of our previous playthrough we did, or we're going to start a new one with everything we've learned on the hardest, hardest, hardest difficulty. It's like challenging difficulty plus the hardest game mode, which starts in like winter, which is brutal. So, uh,. So yeah, if you guys are voting right now on the poll, be sure to uh, yeah to, to fill up that poll quickly. And we're going to get started. Uh, but how's it going, everybody? How's it going? Um, everybody just joining the chat? I appreciate that, Matt. I'm glad you're enjoying the, the Man and Lord so far. Yeah, the game is a ton of fun so far. Having an absolute blast playing it. This is such a nice change of pace from what we normally do on the channel, you know? Keeps things nice and fresh and, uh, yeah, really understanding the game now, I think. So, yeah, this week I'll probably make a, you know, a top five beginner guides tips because, yeah, I've learned so much on how to build my video. And actually in tomorrow's Let's Play video that will go live, I actually basically end up redoing a lot of my, uh, a lot of my building we end up deleting a bunch of stuff, rebuilding and restructuring the village with like everything we've learned. And now the village is in a really good spot. But yeah, without spoiling things, uh, tomorrow's episode is pretty gnarly because we have a massive drought. And I've never seen the drought happen before. And it's just, yeah, it is as brutal as I imagine a drought was back in medieval times. Yeah, uh, bandit, uh, uh, yeah, we'll be emptying normal bandit camps. So yeah, basically vote in the poll right now on whether or not we continue on our playthrough uh, on the challenging Restore the Peace playthrough. So challenging, uh, which we're doing, uh, Restore the Peace. And our, our, our village is pretty well set up, I think, by this point. Yeah, I'd say our village is pretty well set up by this point. Or should we do On the Edge, uh, which is a different... Uh, a different setup. You start off uh, on challenging difficulty, so it's all the difficulties with like, it's all the difficulties with approval rating being really bad. But and you start in winter, which is the hardest thing because you start off with just yeah abysmal everything, really bad, uh, really bad approval. You start off with obviously no weapons. You get raided frequently, so you have to clear bandit camps. So it's a real rush to kind of get your church up and running, get your approval rating up. And then, of course, start clearing out bandit camps right away. So vote, vote in the poll what you guys would rather see. Continuation of our Restore the Peace challenging playthrough or a new one, which is like the ultra hard one on the edge. Yeah, I mean, just vote. Just vote. I'm happy to do either. I just thought I'd give people the option so they could decide. I mean, so far, it looks like we are continuing. But as I said, I'll let a few more people filter in and then vote on the poll. Um, but it looks like we are going to be continuing on, which is going to be exciting, just as exciting, I think, for sure, because we are going to be uh, probably expanding into a second village, right? Um, but yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you guys maybe like a couple more minutes to decide, and then I'll end that poll. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're going to be continuing on, uh, which I'm happy to do. Happy to do, as I said, because we'll be expanding and building bigger armies and stuff. Hey, Peter, how's it going, man? Thank you so much for the membership. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you so much for becoming a brand uh, new member. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Memberships are a massive, massive help. So I really do appreciate it. And we are actually closing in on like 500 members, which will be pretty exciting. Also, a little bonus for being a member. I'm not sure um, if it's going to be up tonight. Um, but I will try and make the tomorrow's Banner Lords episode for the Let's Play up a, a little bit earlier for members. So if you are a member, you should be getting that a little bit earlier. I was just trying to render the video now and I was going to upload it tonight and make it live for members. But my premiere crashed, crashed on me, so I'm going to have to render it after the stream. But that should be fine. All right, cool. I think we're, I think we're good to end the poll now. Okay, cool. So we are continuing on uh, part two. So what I think we'll do, by the way, as well. So for anybody who wants to see more on the edge, we will definitely do that. I think maybe depending, like we might just absolutely blitz this scenario and finish it tonight, today, depending on how long we stream. But yeah, the next the next time we do it, we'll do on the edge, which is, by the way, exactly the same map and everything. Um, but it's just really hard. And you're, you're basically constantly fighting from really early on to, for survival. So you're basically battling the elements because you start in winter and everything. 
But yeah, let, let's load up. Um, so that's my let's play from today. And we're doing Raiders streaming. This is when we just cleared out the Raiders, right? So let's load this one up. Kind of get a good little glimpse of exactly how we're doing. Um, and kind of just, yeah, get ready. Because I think we're ready to claim another bit of... Oh my god, you see all the notifications there. Let's drop a pause, of course. So we are over here, right? Yeah, we're over here in this corner. Nice. This is the glorious village of Jackie Fish Baba Bum. <laughs> Looking pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Yo, Indian Dale, thank you so much for the membership, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. As I said, the memberships help out so much. Um, they really do. They go such a long way, and they really help support the channel. Um, so I'm really grateful to everybody who does become a member. You can become a member for as low as two dollars. You get bonuses like being able to watch episodes early if I get my act together and actually upload them early enough. As well as a cool banner next to your name, private room with Discord. And it's just a great way of supporting my channel, so I really do appreciate it. Um, so cool, are we ready? You guys think we're ready to, to kick off? Yo, how's it going, Josh? Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, I've got this game uh, early, because I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Is this made by one dev? So primarily it was, um, and, then the, and then the dev went ahead and um, joined up with Hooded Horse as a publisher, and I think that allowed him to take on more people. Um, so originally it was just one dev for, for a couple years, I think, uh, and then the team has grown since then, um, but it's not a big team at all. Like, it's still a tiny team, but yeah, it's not one dev anymore. From what, I, from what, I, what I've read and stuff. It was for a long time, and then it changed. Yo, Finn! Thank you so much for becoming a member, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Hell yeah. Um, do we actually have... Sorry, for our retinue really quickly. Do we have any extra names people I haven't named yet? Oh, they're still raised, are they? Oh, okay. So we're just coming home. They've just arrived home. Cool. So we can just ban them, yeah. And then for the retinue, do we actually have any extra names? So that was Josh, Cole, Squiddy, Jake, Swedish... And hi. Yeah, so I think we do actually have two extra names, right? I believe these two? Or was that guy? I can't remember. Does anyone remember? I know Josh was the last person I named. But I'm not sure if these two are new. I don't remember calling anyone Thomas. I don't remember calling anyone Heinz. But maybe we did. I can't remember. I'll leave it be for now. But yeah, thank you so much, Finn, in DMP. I really appreciate my new members. It helps out massively, so thank you. How's it going, Hassan? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Violence, violence, violence! Yeah, definitely. We're, we're, we're expanding. We actually have enough influence to expand as well, so we will be. We will be. Uh, cool. Okay, let's just do a nice little brief overview of the village, then, and how, how we've got started. So, because I, I, I've obviously been playing my other Let's Play, so I kind of need... I kind of need a refresher as well of the village. So we have 28... Uh, so we have 29 families, 28 assigned. We have enough houses for now. Uh, how are we looking performance-wise? So, yeah, these guys, I think this has even just been built. Because that isn't even far away from a market. So, this should still be able to get all the supply. Market-wise, we have decent food variety. And we have a decent fuel setup and clothing. We have a blacksmith here. Yeah, we have a blacksmith here. These are all Berger plots. Over here, we have our Fletcher and our... But all Berger plots? Yeah, so Fletcher's there. Then we have our joiner and our tailor. Do we have the resources for the tailor? The tailor is just linen. Okay, and we need dyes still as well. Okay. So we still need dyes for these. But we are now making gambesons. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Are the gambesons just for, like... Are the gambesons just for... Yeah, they're just military stuff, right? The gambesons, I think. Because shoes and cloaks and clothes uh, seemingly... Ah, uh, yeah, or well, what's up for here to get to tier three? And then what do we need for that? We just need dyes and yarn. Dyes and yarns for clothes. And I guess it, a gambas into more military armor. Okay, cool. Well, I'm fine with making these right now. Uh, and then linen, we, do we have flax? We all were about to harvest fat stacks of flax. Let's go. Yeah, that's going to allow us to basically make a ton of clothes. Okay. Our uh, approval is fine. What, we're not enough clothing. Lack of entertainment. Lack of entertainment. I have the I have the pub up and running. People should be happy. The pub's up and running. 
Uh, we have wood making. We're fine on fuel. Saw pit's pumping. Do we have the thing assigned on our saw pit? We don't. Yeah, sorry. So this is quite a big village. I'm just trying to remember exactly what we were doing. Farmhouse is two people on. We're following this field. We're harvesting in 70 days, so we're fine there. So you can probably... And we're not doing anything else. Right? Everything is just growing. Yeah, okay. So we can take two... We can take everybody off of this. And we can take the ox off of that as well. We can put the ox back on this to get more planks. Garden is harvesting again. Um, logging camp is working hard, but might have to move. We're making charcoal here as well. We're making coal there. We have a lot of grain, and that needs to be made into flour, right? So we will put someone on that. We have someone on the weaver workshop as well. So they're making wool and stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And we have we have plenty of sheep. We have four sheep right now. Uh, eight sheep. Why have a sheep? The sheep are over here for some reason. I need these sheep to move. Yeah, I don't know why all the sheep are over here and not over there, but it's fine. Not trading. We have plenty of regional wealth. Okay, cool. So we've got a big harvest coming up. Someone on that for the berry. So we need to make a dye workshop then. That's going to be our first thing to do then, I think. Right, does anybody remember like me really planning on doing something? I don't think so, right? I and mean, we get down this dye workshop. I'm a bit annoyed that the weaver is so far away. Oh, we also need a road here as well for some reason. Yeah, all our roads are fine. Gam yeah, I mean, I mean Gambeson's going to be great just for making our peasants a little bit safer as well. Um, which is going to be really good. Okay, cool. Let's click play then. Um, yeah, let's click play. We haven't got the rest of our army up and running right. I'm not missing anyone. There's no bandit camps around me right now. There's brigands here. Yeah, there's brigands here, which is fine. How much to claim? So we can claim another region as well. So we can actually go and claim another region. Question is, what region would we like to claim? Because fertility isn't really a problem, so we could probably claim something else. I'm thinking maybe this one up in the north, because it has good, really good berries and also a very good stone deposit. And like we're gonna we're gonna run out of stone soon enough here. So maybe we just go northwards? And connect up there, maybe? Windmills on the go. We have two people in the oven as well, so we definitely need more food. Yeah, food in this region seems really well off. I don't know why people are saying lack of entertainment, though. That should be fine. Yeah, we just need better clothing right now. If we can get better clothing in the market, we'll be bussing. Cool. So let's get... Yeah, let's get... Where did I put it down? Where did I put down the die maker? I've forgotten all of a sudden. Where are you going? Over here somewhere, yeah. Right? Here? Was it here? Sorry, did I put down the die maker? Am I... Am I losing my mind right now? I put down the die maker, no? More burger plots. And we should probably upgrade as well. So what, what else are we lacking? We have a brewery as well. So we have a brewery. We have a tailor shop. Um, we have some more tier twos, right? With expansions. Just these two gardens. Yeah, one thing I really messed up in like all my, all my playthroughs was definitely the types of houses I've built. But we can sort that. I can change that up a little bit and we can kind of... Uh, like a wrecked our wrongs because a lot of these places just don't have uh, I say that a lot of these places do have gardens yeah like yeah like this is really bad that's fine like, why doesn't this have a garden it's massive yeah basically everywhere you want to have a garden somewhere you know but it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine we'll sort that out we learn from my mistakes. Like, all three of these, or two of these houses. That's a Fletcher shop. Like, that's fine, I guess. Um, so what do we want here? An art? We could get better armor. That's something we could do. I mean, I guess like that. I guess like a, we need like, um, a cobbler for better shoes. Bakery is fine for now. We don't need that. Yeah, I mean, it's basically just cobbler. 
And then an armory. Maybe we have one of everything at least. We can work with that. As I said, I could have sworn we just put down the die maker, but I guess I didn't, so it's fine. Like, I'm not being... I have literally lost my mind just now. I could have sworn I put it down, and I heard the... But yeah, no, I must not have. Okay, that's fine. Uh, cool, let's get a die maker down there, then. Yeah, die maker down there. Because we shouldn't have to really worry about food too much, I don't think. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll be fine. And we have two upgrade pack plots right here. Oh, these actually don't have families as well. Nice, okay. Um, so, yeah, we want to basically upgrade them. We have wood. Okay, so wood's a bit of a, a problem right now. Let me get another person on the logging. I mean, to be fair, there's not really many trees. We're going to have to to move our, our hunt again. We have someone, we don't have anyone there. Uh, the gardens are actually affected by size of a plot, so building four or five big gardens can supply vegetables for 100 people. Oh, nice, Finn. I didn't know that. Like, the size of a plot. But it makes sense, right? I mean, I feel like we have some big vegetable plots here and here. Like, I feel like these vegetable plots are, what, like, four, four stuck. So, yeah, food, food is definitely not our problem in this... in this playthrough, in this place. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, yeah, like, I really have learned my lesson in this playthrough. Like, both of these houses could just go. So what I might actually do is... This is a, this is just a normal Berger plot, yeah. So let's maybe delete. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm not crazy. So I, I think I'm going to delete both of these to build two houses with gardens here. Because, yeah, one really big tip uh, for anybody... When you start your playthrough, you basically want to design your set, your best houses around the market because they get the, the biggest access to the marketplace, for example. So the closer they are to the market, the more resources they can get. So that means you want your tier twos and your tier three villages um, are going to be around your market because they can get access to the goods. And then you kind of want your lower tiers further out, which means you want your best people on the inner layers. So you want like your, your places of gardens basically all around this market. So yeah, we have enough housing, right? We have 32 houses. So let's demolish. And demolish. Oh, they were big houses as well. Okay, now we have homeless. Okay, okay, okay. That was stupid of me, but it's fine. I didn't realize they were big houses. I should have looked. That was my bad. Someone was probably shouting at me. So we just need something to clear. And then we can do, yeah, we can do that. We can probably get it with three gardens. I saw it for a second. We can at least get two gardens, which I think I prefer. Um, so let's go boom, boom. Like that. Yeah, we can get some big house. We can probably even rotate it. I did not realize, though. It's fine. The homelessness won't affect us too much. And, like, population-wise, we're actually fine. Yeah, boom. Three houses. Gardens, boom. That's going to be big. Uh, we just need someone to clear, like, these supplies, and then we can do it. Uh, then we can do it. Uh, we are a little bit homeless, and I think people are a bit pissed because, um, yeah, people are a bit annoyed. Okay, so why don't these guys have, do I just not have enough ale, maybe? That's probably it, right? Am I making barley? Uh, I am, but it hasn't grown yet. It's growing now. We have zero yield there, though. Okay, fair enough. Right, so we're going to probably steer... We only have one family left as well right now. Yeah, we need you guys to go and clear them resources, which you're doing now, which is actually perfect. Okay, cool. You guys are taking that. Good job. Take them resources. Uh, we need that last log to go so we can build these houses. Hey, how's it going, Asuka? Welcome. How you doing today? Taking all that. Yeah. Uh, the die house is being built. Cool. Uh, then we can basically just start making cloves, which I think is going to be really big. Because um, we have, like, yarn and wool and everything. So, they are they are doing a good job making that into, into leather and stuff. Yeah, you can see, like, look at that. We have 28 leather, 5 wool, 1 yarn. And we are currently in the process of making more linen. Uh, yeah, how's it going, Potatox? Welcome back. Yeah, it's so funny doing my, uh, doing my YouTube playthrough uh, now that I've played so much. Like, you guys have basically watched more gameplay probably now but i've played of the game so it's so funny kind of doing that uh not enough oh, we have enough wood yet fuck man 
Yeah, I mean, you guys need to remove that anyway. Come on, we need more timber. Um, we need more timber. Hey, NLD, how's it going, man? Thank you so much for 30 months. Really appreciate that. He's super excited for the game. Hopefully, they add more. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the game is early access, right? That's like the best way to describe it. This is an early access game, but it is a ton of fun. It is a ton of fun. Um, just making sure we have no one out here. No. Anybody on the iron mine? No one on the iron mine either yet. Okay. Um, no one there. No wool weaver. Charcoal there. We don't need anyone on the mole house right now because we don't have any of that, so we'll save a family. Um, and yeah, we just need the timber now. Plenty of planks. Probably hold this for then, for now. Yeah, just hold that for now then. The saw pit is always really important to get up, but we still want to just slow that down a little bit. We need to get, we need to sort out these houses before someone leaves. So we just need, the, we just need the wood. Taylor can pop off. Yeah, we've also paused these as well. Uh, we also have that raid. Did that raid glitch? Okay, cool. So they, they moved. Good to know. So the raiders were up here and they did glitch out, but it seems like they fixed themselves. So they are going to be, yeah, there they are. Okay, boys, we're going to have to rally the boys. Battle is upon us. I think two squads of brigands coming down. I want to wait as long as possible just so that we can, like, get as much built as possible. But, yeah, war is upon us. Whether we like it or not. There you go, six timber. So we can sit down these houses. You'd love to see it as well. Cool, that's going to be three very nice houses right there. Um... And honestly, we could, like, make more chickens as well, just for more eggs. Is that what... No, we already have quite a few. We have a lot of houses, right? Like, we have a lot. Cool, so they're building that. I'm going to let them get a little bit closer, because obviously one of the biggest things about building up your army... ...is that, like, when you do, the AI will, of course, um... Like, your, the AI will stop working their job. So when you take soldiers away from working on the farms, for example, and working on everything else, like, they'll stop working. And then, you know, <laughs> you're not making many resources. So I'm going to let them filter down. I imagine they're going to, like, come in through this forest. So we're, we're going we're gonna to basically bide our time. I do, however, definitely want to kill them before autumn. Because autumn's when we need every ma able man, woman, and child to harvest the fields. We can actually force harvest this flax now, you know, as well. It's 100% grown if we wanted to. I'm a little worried why our barley isn't done there. That's fine. Do we want to buy anything as well? We're actually fine. Is we actually don't need them, them traders there anymore. I'm just thinking about whether or not we want to, like, buy more barley. Just so we can get our entertainment going. Yeah, I might import a little bit, honestly. Just so our malt house can keep on working. We have the money for it. Because right now, I don't think the tavern's pumping because we don't have anybody making beer because we have no malt. Someone making a lot of clay as well for us. Is that good? Do we actually have 23 clay already? Um, is there someone on the dye workshop? That's fine with me. And then, yeah, the rest of the family's building up these houses. It's going to be nice. Perfect, like, perfect position for the houses as well. Imagine moving into the neighborhood and you just get a, a balcony view. Keep close eye on these brigands. As soon as they enter into our territory, we're going to jump them. Uh, the problem with stuff missing from the market is actually fixed by having dedicated workers in the storehouse and granary to make the actual stuff move around. Cool. Good to know. Okay, cool. But I thought they, they weren't the ones who brought stuff to market, though. I felt like they were the ones who... Uh, it was like someone else part of a family. Like, for example, the person on the... Like, the person owning this shop would then do it. But yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, sure you are right, Finn. So we just need to maybe stick a few more people on there if we want to, like, kind of out... Push out the, the reach of it. Yeah, we need... First things first, we need to get these houses done. The game looks so goddamn good, right? Like, I feel, I feel like at any time... At any time... You can, like, just pause the game and just take a look, and you're just like, wow, that looks incredible, right? 
just need to track them raiders. Like, as soon as they enter our territory, we form up. They are going to come and attack me, right? They're not just, like, going to go off the map because that would be very lame. And also, so does anybody, like, don't spoil it, I guess, if you know. But when I claim another region, does the Baron send soldiers to stop me? Yay or nay? I'm going to probably send a family back on this now. We do kind of need planks. He doesn't. Oh, okay. So we should just kind of take it right away. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm scared about then. I assume it's only when I attack his regions. Okay, cool then. So let's kill these guys. Uh, let's kill this little raid, and then we'll, we'll go and take one of these other regions, and probably this one in the north, honestly. Mm, though this one in the south wouldn't be bad either. Like, you can make a really nice village, like, right here. Well, the thing is, Black Wolf, most of you guys have probably watched more content on this game than I've played. I've played about 20 hours in the game so far, so many of you are probably, uh, probably further than I am. Get these houses done. Are they going to attack me? Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. Rally the banners! Rally the banners! Uh, so let's, sorry, let's sect everybody. Rally the banners! I guess I'm going to come uh, burn down my stone goddess camp, I guess. Glee! Our oh, spears are oh, our spawns, not sp a spear. Oh my god, our spawn. These guys didn't spawn either. Cool. And then you guys as well. You guys did as well. Cool, great. They're around here somewhere, but they were pushing towards me. We're gonna like run into them. I need these archers to be like very careful. Let's get the archers in the woods. And then the infantry can kind of go up front uh, with my militia there. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, because this is going to be really nice, actually, because if we can deal with the uh, with the incursion now, then that's just in time for harvesting. Yeah, just in time for harvesting. No idea why this isn't, like, growing properly. They're in, they're in this woodland somewhere. No idea why. They're in there. Oh, hello. Have you seen any Rogan random uh, bandits yet? Good, sir. There's our retinue moving up first. You guys just be there. Where did they go, man? Yeah, they're in the woods right now, but I mean, this entire area is woods. What happens if they, like... Okay, we also need to be careful as well that we don't, like, overcommit here as well. So I need to find the bandits. Man, this is actually... I should have maybe have engaged them up here. They could literally be anywhere in these woods. I don't want to, like, bypass my lap. Oh, okay, there they are. There they are. I found them. I found them. Right, boys. Set up the line, then. Okay, the archers can shoot again. It's not gonna. I doubt they're gonna do much damage, right? Because of the trees. I assume that's in the case. But what more? What more am I gonna do? I mean, I say that them arrows are flying, and they're charging my archers as well. Okay. Oh, nice! Our archers killed one. Good, good, good. Okay, we caught him here. Good. Oh, this is gonna be a slaughter, I think. We've surrounded them. We ambushed them. We surrounded them. And then the archers are hammering them from the side. Yeah, look at that. Get out of here, boys. Okay, one of their units routed. The other one's still fighting. Yeah, no wonder. No wonder they're routing. Can we hit them or is this friendly fire? Yeah, our archers can't hit these guys. We demolished that unit. Now we surrounded these guys. So we have them surrounded. The archers are hammering them from the back. And there was no escape. Now we're pushing on hard here. The rest of you should be good enough to kill them. Yeah, there, they're out there as well, right? Oh, look at that final kill. Did you see him? 
So I pinned him. Good job, boys. This is our region. We do not give it up lightly to some random bandits. Scum. All right, boys. Back to your jobs now. You did well, but back to your jobs. We're going to probably actually have to go clear up the bodies as well. So let's go put someone on the small church. Hey, how's it going? Sup? Welcome to the channel, my man. Just be careful. You can get hit by their friendly fire. Only if you turn it on, I believe. The archers have an option to turn on friendly fire if you want. Right, cool. Well, I guess we claim our next region now. We have... We can almost claim two, right? We can claim two regions. Should we do that? Is that crazy of me? If I just claim two regions? We obviously need a lot of influence to claim this as well. I don't know if we're ready for this, but... Um, yeah, I mean, I think we claim this southern region. It's lots of stone. I mean, this is more as well, but it's a bit hard. Like, this is easier to defend. Because the problem is, remember, like, we're going to have to try and defend these regions as well. And our settlement is over here. So it's a, it's a long run up north. We get attacked up here. So what do, you, what do you guys think? Whereabouts? Do we go west? You say don't increase your size yet. Why not, Finn? Let me know. Let me know why I wouldn't. Because surely the more I grow, the better it's going to be. Like the more access to resources I have. Like we'd lose. I guess we'd lose people here. Uh, maybe the first region. Yeah, because I guess we'd have to move settlements over, right? That'd be the biggest problem is we'd have to move people from here to, to there to begin with. Um, okay, so we have two families spare right now. You're giving us wool. You're doing that. Charcoal burner's doing his thing. Logging camp, because we need timber. Do we, have, do we have anyone in the useless job? The tannery's doing its thing. Saw pit. Has someone again now, right? Bandit camp where? Okay, bandit camp's here as well, so we're going to have to go clear that out as well. But as I said, I want to maybe wait a little bit longer. Okay, these new houses are built, which is good and can be immediately upgraded as well. So I might end up upgrading all of these. Uh, yeah, but boy, everybody's just getting back now as well. So they were busy off doing their thing and now they're back to doing their jobs. Good. Yeah, you really do notice it. Uh, as soon as your people go off to war, like, you know, the market's shut down. Everybody kind of goes into, into shutdown mode. Okay, the barley is now growing good. Yeah, nice. We, we're going to have a lot of resources. Like, we already have a ton of flour as well. Okay, cool. So, we have the gambesons being made, right? But we could probably switch over now in our tailor to start making some cloves. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start making some cloves. Obviously, the gambesons are nice, but... Uh, you need to go to a bandit camp to claim their resources. That wasn't that wasn't a, a bandit bandit camp. If that makes sense. That wasn't this bandit camp, for example. That was a scripted raid. That was a scripted attack. So that wasn't the... That wasn't the, like, um, just normal bandits. Uh, yeah, I do know you have to claim here the bandit camps to, to get the resources. Hey, how's it going, CW? Isn't a second village in a new area treated as a... New yeah, so it's treated as a brand new one. But you have to draw people from your main village to go work there. Okay, increase the regional wealth. Okay, we can do that. So basically, just upgrade to more tier twos and stuff on it. We got it. Um, cool. So I mean, like, that can upgrade. Is there anything that needs to upgrade? Yeah, it's basically everything it can upgrade for now. We got any barley yet? I'm um, interested. Oh, we're about to, I think, get... Yeah, we got some barley now. Cool. So we actually want a family back in the malt house. Cool. Doing that thing. Sorry, what's oh because I paused it. Yeah, cool. So you guys go back there. We're actually out of people now. Um fuck man. Uh I mean we can probably go back down on there. Yeah, we probably don't need anyone there for now. We have plenty of flour. We need two people on bread? Probably not. The dyes are coming in, which is good. Two 
people there as well. Yeah, we just need more wood right now. Should I maybe move my my logging camp up a little bit, like over here? Because I feel like we haven't go quite a long way to, to, to gather the woods. So making a blacksmith plus fetcher to upgrade your units, uh, uh, plus selling your excess equipment to build up your economy power. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we obviously already have a blacksmith, but they're paused right now, I believe. Is blacksmith paused? Where is he? Here? Yeah. No, blacksmith is pumping spears still. Uh, I might actually make him make some swords, because I think we have plenty of spears. Yeah, maybe make some swords. Do we have iron slabs, though? That's the question, actually. In our bloomery? Where's our storehouse? Yeah, we don't. So we need someone back on the bloomery so we can start making some swords. We could maybe sell them. Um, Weapon-wise, yeah, I don't think we actually have any spare weapons right now. And I paused my... Yeah, I paused my burry, but we could probably make, start making some bows again. As you say, sell them. Because that's actually, that's actually what we did. We were doing last stream. Yeah, we were doing that. Um, cool. We just need people back to back to farming. We need more families. And what's our approval? Not enough cloth variants on the market. Lack of in... Like, why is lack of... In oh, because we don't have any beer now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. But the person in the malt house should go and grab that, right? Can be our next house, cool. Yeah, all three of these houses can be very valuable. Oh, sorry, my bad. So all these tier twos are being upgraded. It's July. So yeah, our yield is gonna be very, very nice. I mean, do we do we force? I feel like I force harvest this one because it's already max grown right so right now it's just gonna waste the time on the other the other yields so i feel like we we start harvesting this like it's fully grown so uh and bodies need digging yeah i have a grave digger right so You'll not find anywhere I don't think I'm playing like a frank, frantic child at all, Liam. I think we're absolutely fine, my man. So uh, please watch what you say, dude. Um, but yes, we will move it. I'll move it. Where are you? I mean, we have all of this to clear out as well. We have a lot of wood up here. To have all of that right cool let's do that and then put a road up there and we are starting to get some timbers so maybe it's a high priority as well uh, we don't have our ox still here we don't that's fine the berries are going to be running low soon but yeah as i said food is not going to be a problem of course yeah i mean i don't I don't disagree with you, uh, honestly, Jacob. Like, I was thinking about building a corpse pit, but I was like, do we have to unless we, uh, you know, do we have to build a corpse pit yet? But maybe. Like, I feel like our church is going to be maxed out soon. There's a lot. There's 12 more bodies over here. Okay, cool. We're making malt now. Good. We're making malt. That should sort out. The ale will be coming to the... Yeah, we now got ale in here as well. Okay, good. So ale is back in the tavern keeper. So that should help out of entertainment, which is, again, is our biggest fall in his lack of entertainment. Um, yeah, okay, cool. We're in August now. Yeah, I think, I think we definitely force harvest this. Yeah, let's take a family on it. Because as I said, like... It just makes makes no sense waiting an entire month to harvest this when we could just do it now. And then gives us more time to harvest the rest and then plow the fields, etc. So let's take another family on that. We're going to be off of berries soon and we can go back on hunting. Someone in the tannery. 
So only one church per town allowed? No, you put down another one if you want. Put down another church if you want. Yeah, we can put another one down. I guess the idea is that you, you're able to, if you want to, like, actually build up, like, multiple villages in one place. Because, like, does this tavern reach everything? I assume this tavern is going to, like, yeah, it looks like the tavern is reaching everything now. Our approval is going to go through the roof. We just need clothing now. Is literally all we need is better clothes. We are making them, right? Uh, tailor shop. Yeah, we should be making them. We have linen from the... F oh, do we have linen? I don't think we have linen. But we have yarn, so we should be making cloaks, sorry. That was completely my bad. We should be making cloaks. Um, and the question is, like, what do we do here? I guess a cobbler would be good. Yeah, maybe let's make a, make a cobbler. Because then, then that's basically... That's all the tier 1s. Sorry, all the tier 2s besides an armorer workshop. But I'm not in desperate need of that, I don't think. Then we have literally all of these besides that and a bakery. And again, we don't need a bakery. We already have a, an oven right now. We have the yarn... Right, yeah, we have yarn. And we will have flax as soon as this is harvested. Now, the question is, are they going uh, to harvest this? They have, oh, force, force early. Yeah, force early harvest. Go harvest this now. This is fine. It's not really going to grow very well, but it's enough. I mean, as soon as we get the cloaks, that'll basically boom our approval because we'll have two types of clothes here. I'm still making planks now, but we are making weapons. Yeah, we're making a lot of... we got a lot of war bows. So again, we have 32, 36 war bows. Oh, wait. That's storage, right? This is storage, not like total. Yeah. So we actually have 36 war bows we can sell. Because we're not going to have two units of archers for a while. Oh my lord. Okay, another family on the trading post then. And then let's start selling some uh, some bows. We're exporting down to 30. Let's export down more. Let's export down to like a surplus of, I don't know, like 15? And we have that trade route popping off as well. Oh, okay, sorry. Vill sorry, okay, cool. No, I take okay, so we actually do need a corpse pit. We actually do need a corpse pit. Because uh, it says right here, while raiders may be dumped. Oh, maybe. Okay, well, let's 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 make a corpse pit somewhere. Do we just, do we just stick it in the road? Uh, do I just stick... I feel like I stick this, like, away from the... Away from the village, you know? I don't want it near my, my people. These, uh, these deserve to be thrown in the corpse pit. You were, yeah, sorry, I thought it was just like, uh, oh, because they're evil, you know, but you actually do. Um, yeah. Now, I guess I'll just put it down here because this is where the bandits are in the forest, so. Yeah. Okay, well, we need to sort that out. Uh, yeah, let's continue on. Uh, yeah, all good, all good. Don't know why these guys aren't getting their food requirements, man. Like, we are... We are... We are we're pumping. Isn't a corpse pit just a hole in the ground? Yeah, no, it is. It is. Uh, we can probably stop with this dye workshop as well for now, because we're going to run out of berries probably soon enough if we're not careful. Uh, yeah, we should probably stop with that now. Um, I think we have enough for now. Yay, Queek, thank you so much for the membership, man. Look at that sexy-ass banner as well. Amazing stuff. Really appreciate that, Queek. Hope you're doing well. Um, Ale uh, Ale um, Alexter said, Jackie, you need the vegetables. You don't have enough quantity and are maxed out on families you can have. 
Uh, I still got one more spot for families. And we have, uh, we have like, what, three plots of vegetables? You think we, have, we need more? I need to make more vegetables, you're saying? Is this a two, new town? No, continuing on from Friday's stream, Nang. Yeah, we have one, we have one more spot for families. And um, the course pit needs to get... I mean, it's so far away, it's going to take a little while to build. It's a bit annoying, I guess, but... Fine. Let's have a road for anybody who wants to say hi. Just a random pit of bodies. There you go. Uh, you should build those bigger gardens to increase the vegetables. What do you mean by bigger gardens? Like this? Like, yeah, what do you mean like by like... Like, is, there, is this like a visible representation? Or just like, you know, literally like this? <laughs> like, do we just do this? Like, do you mean like physically just bigger gardens? Like, would, is that what you mean? Like that? So, I mean, I feel like these are pretty big. Like, these would be good for vegetables. But then it's still only like four plots, so I guess not. I mean, I guess they're big plots, right? Yeah, do, do you mean just like physically bigger gardens? Or is there like a... Yeah, yes. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Exactly that. Awesome. Okay, cool. No. So we basically keep like our Fletcher... So we basically keep like our Fletcher shops and blacksmiths and stuff like this. And then, like, for food. Is that the same with eggs as well? Like, if I was to do, like, goats and goats and chickens? That'd be the same. Nice. They're harvesting this early as well, which is amazing. Yeah, get this harvested. That's a lot of flax. Which means we're going to probably need someone back in the wool weavers. But we have someone there. Cool, cool, cool. Do we have any clothes yet? Doesn't look like it, right? Yes, you need more vegetable farms because the ones you have are starting to midpoint of the last stream. Vegetables and apples. Okay, cool. Fucking bandits, man. I really want to go kill the bandits, but I need I, I need a harvest. Okay, cool. So then we'll, we'll probably set up like a big vegetable. Well, we could move the tannery and the saw pit and have like a big plot here. But am I like too far away? Maybe we have like another road here. So yeah, maybe... God, I wish... Oh, God. I just... I wish I could start my village again, you know? But it is too late for that. We will continue. And then maybe we just do like a big vegetable plot like here, you know? We end up doing like... Where even is the road? I've lost the road. You know, is that is that what we're talking about, or is that too much? Like, is that is that too much for like garden size, or is that perfect? <laughs> probably too much, right? Because we also need to think about space. Something like that probably is good, right? Yeah, more families equals more. Yeah, we could do that. And we could make all of them into vegetables. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We actually don't have apples unlocked, annoyingly. Yeah, I just have a heavy plow, and then we've got trade logistics, and we're going to probably go down to deep mining. So we actually don't have apples done. Too much, you think? So, like, the, sec the second one was better. Okay, all the flax is almost done. We've got a lot of flax now, which is good. Where's our granary as well? Here. Okay, yeah. We can pump bread. I kind of feel like I need to move this oven a little bit closer as well. Yeah, that would make village a bit... Okay, cool. Uh, can you please name the ox Jacob? I'll work hard. Yeah, sure. If I can rename the ox, you got it. Oh. Uh, that's a saw pit, not a stable. There you go. I'll rename this one. There you go, Jacob. Put like three or four for now. Okay. How's our timber looking as well? We're actually kind of low on timber for now. But yeah, okay, cool. We'll expand our fields and we'll expand the vegetables. That's a really good tip as well. I very much do appreciate it. That, that'll be a great tip for... So I'm, I'm thinking of making a top five tip video um, before the release, obviously. Um, I think like the first tip will just be like to... 
to make sure you micro your workers. Don't just keep them on stuff for no reason. I think that's a really useful one. The second one, this is for new players, not people who have been like watching this game nonstop. This is for people picking up the game and haven't really watched much stuff about it. The next one would probably be to get the church up as soon as possible because it boosts your approval rating so much. And it's really important to get up for the tier ones. Um, I think that vegetable one is a very useful tip and, and something to definitely mention. This larger the garden is really good. Uh, probably the fourth one would be like proximity to the proximity to the market so you want basically big houses at, that you can upgrade quickly around the market you want to like build around that market and then what do you think the fifth tip would be for like a new player who hasn't really much watched much stuff what, what do you think would be a good suggestion We, we should sell more war bows as well, like, if we can. I mean, we already are. We've got, we got access to spears as well, so we could... Oh, we don't have a, Yeah, these are all root required. Do we have anything else we could sell as well, by the way? Not really. Yeah, I feel like I kind of need everything else. If you have eggs and vegetables for everybody, you should solve trade the excess away. You think it should be a fifth one? I feel like trading's maybe a bit advanced for people, though. Yeah, we currently have, as well, four oxes. Should we go up, like, another stable? Maybe? Like, go up to six oxes? Because then that way we could like constantly leave someone here, someone to harvest. Because that's already, we only have two oxes to move. But I guess it's not that big of a deal, yeah. Good deals. Okay, may maybe trading. Like maybe not, not to neglect trading and selling excess weapons. Well, I think maybe a fifth tip would be to like actually plan like this because i feel like this is something when i played my first couple hours i just didn't realize that this is where you get like your weapons and your shoes and stuff from maybe it's a bit too basic uh, what do you guys make shoes out of as well what are shoes made out of um i can see that here right or not yeah you know, are shoes just made out of leather Okay, our approval is still going. We just need cloves, but we're going to get it right because we've now got the, the flax being completely harvested. So this should be yeah, making tons of linen. We have our dye for cloves. So that should all be sorted out now. Like our clothing should be going up. Our food is still a little bit of a problem, but it's fine. Oh, okay, so... Sh Oh, well, then shoes are an easy one then. Uh, we should probably, yeah, do this as well. Make sure we... Okay, that's actually really useful. We still have a, a couple more berries, but yeah, let's collect the last berries and then go back onto wild animals. So then, so then, if they are, are they hot? Yeah, if they're just leather from the tannery, then yeah, you should probably get a, a cobbler up very early then. That should be the first one to, to make because it will give you your second, uh, your second piece of clothing. Yeah. Damn it. Does that mean we just don't have enough people here? Go pick it up. Transport it, please. We only have one family here. Okay, fair enough. Um, do I have a family I can move off anywhere else? Let's make coal, which is good. Get the last of them berries. Someone on the saw pit. We're pumping alcohol now, which is good. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're in a very good spot. Money is a bit of a problem, yeah, but we are trading. It's because I'm importing, yeah, I'm importing this. Um, but that, okay, we probably don't, we don't need to import uh, barley anymore. So let's stop that trade. Because our surplus, I mean, I guess it doesn't actually matter, but we're about to harvest this in 10 days. 
And that's going to be, yeah, 33. Uh, can you become a member on mobile? I'm not sure. Um, I think you can, right? Become a member on mobile. All you have to do is hit the join button below the stream. Or I think if someone hits exclamation mark member in chat, it might give you a link to click to then become a member. Oh, we probably don't need anyone in the clay furnace anymore. So let's take a family off the clay furnace. That's good. You can tax to get gold? Yeah, I don't think we need that. I think I, I'm... I mean, we, oh, to be fair as well, we actually probably don't need a tithe either. We have so much influence. We're basically just waiting until this settlement is like very well set up. And then we'll, then we'll expand out. I think... Do, do we go kill that bandit camp? Because I don't want them stealing any more stuff. But maybe we just send the archers and the retinue. Do you think that's enough? Uh, I don't know if you've answered this yet, Jackie. But how long is the time limit of the game? Uh, what's the end date? There isn't. You just play. You just play and play and play. Until until you're done. Until you, you win, win the objectives. You can just play forever as well, I believe. After you've like done the basics, you can just say, Oh, I want to play forever. Um, is the Vulcan camp is built now, right? Yeah. Let's get someone back on that then immediately. Corpse pit is built. Huzzah! Yeah, go get them bodies. Um, yeah, have they already got... I guess they've already got the bodies. But yeah, it's corpse pit is there. Get you off the... Uh, God, we've got 12 dead bodies in our church now. I feel... feel bad. And they're just lacking... Yeah, a few more resources. At least that's done, though. Okay, let's get some new houses built. Then we have enough timber for one. Um, so also, again, Finn, you seem like you know, like, tons about the game. So also, um, with the expansion, so, like, why would I want to have the expansion? I imagine it's so that I could have more families working on stuff like the blacksmith and the, um, and the Fletcher maker, you know? That way I could have two bow masters, that way I could have two blacksmiths. But I don't really want to do that with something like a garden. Gardens can just be individual people. But with like the actual building buildings, like the actual fetchers, joiners, tailors, etc. I would want to have the expansion so I could have two families working them for a price of one. I think it's fine for now. We don't have to expand it. Okay, let's get another fat house down. We have some goats there. Um, sorry, again, if, if I if I miss a question, please just ask me again and I'll get onto it right away. Um, okay, yeah, I think we go clear that bandit camp right now because this is... Wait, we'll wait until this has been fully yielded and then we'll send everybody. The die workshop is fine. That's fine. Uh, is this the same as Total War Warhammer? No. It's a city builder. City builder with military combat. Getting wood again. Two families spare? I kind of want to just... Oh, I think I need more timber right now, so we'll do that. Yeah, I think we can get off the berries now and get back on the hunting. Yeah, the families do... So the, the crops, I believe, on the, the farms do actually, again, take time, as you say, to... To move. But yeah, what we could end up doing is end up just destroying these plots and building different ones here, you know, as well. Can't you make a standing army? So yeah, you have these retinues, which I believe are your standing army right here. With craftsmen, it makes extra craftsmen. Yes, gardens make you just another working family, the same as tier 3 house. Okay, yeah, cool. So you kind of do want it on your blacksmiths and stuff. Good to know. Again, we're not really going to be able to utilize that too much in this playthrough, just because... No, I haven't really set it up like that, but it's good to know for future. Away with you, yeah, how's it going? Yorkshire tea is the best. How you doing, my man? Indeed, Yorkshire tea is top tier. 
And I, I, by saying that, I believe just spiffing Brit somewhere in the world just smiled, you know? He was like, yes, another person has said that. <laughs> um, uh, are you going to turn this into a stream for part four later? So yeah, part four of the Let's Play is going to go up tomorrow. The members, I'm going to try and get it up tonight, but it's going to probably be later tonight because I need to re-render it because the render messed up before I went live streaming. Um, but yeah, so part four is going to go live later tonight for members. Um, and you can become a member just like Yorkshire. Uh, the tears of best just did. For as little as $2. Get these episodes a little bit earlier. But this is a completely separate uh, campaign. Completely separate to my Let's Play. My Let's Play one, though, is quite good this episode. Because we fight some battles, I have to survive a drought that just destroys my fields, like, completely. And we basically take everything we've learned and redo our village. I end up deleting a tons of houses and restructuring everything. Um, so it's a good episode. Good episode. And we, and we upgrade to a tier 2 church and everything. So yeah, it's really nice. Okay, let's go clear this bandit camp then. Uh, the game comes out next Friday, I believe. Right, this is fully done, which is good. I guess we'll make barley here? Yeah, we'll make barley here. Um, that's going to be fellowed, I think, right? Because we could not. We could like, switch around and make flax here. And then we could make wheat this year here, yeah. Yeah, we're about to be autumn. Okay, cool. We're going to need a lot of families there. Okay, let's go to war then. Uh, let's rally the boys. Oh my god, look at that. We have first... Yeah, this is overkill for sure. Rally the boys! Let's go clear that bandit camp. We actually do need some more regional wealth as well, so... Everyone's like, oh shit, get the weapons! Looks awesome, right? Uh, yeah, I'd be down to, to do a key giveaway for Mana Lords uh, next Friday when it comes out. Okay, everybody running. So let's go clear this bandit camp. I'm sick and tired of them stealing our goods. So the annoying thing is, and the downside of this, is that by doing this, people are now no longer working the jobs. So we are now lacking... 60, 67 people are now no longer working in my village. That's 67 jobs. People aren't cutting firewood. People aren't plowing the fields. People aren't, you know, doing iron stuff, you know? So we have to be very cautious of that. And we have to go back and do a big, big push there. We have unlimited linen now as well. So if we go, our cobbler's fine. If we go back to our tailor, which is here. Yeah, we could probably start making some clothes now. Yeah, let's go, go back. To, I, I probably need to get another tailor up and running as well. Our village here is being built. Good, good, good. We're actually at our limit now, but I'm okay going kind of slowly. Hey, how's it going, Toto? How you doing today, my man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright, let's set up, set up the boys here. Get our asses over here. The question is, whilst we're out on campaigning, do we go, you know, that's, that's, that, that brigand camp is just too far away for me, right? I need to, like, get, I need to get towing the fields and stuff. We've got quite a big set of farmlands so I, I need to, I need to sort out. Uh, here. Yeah, this wouldn't be a bad, like, tailor as well here. We need, just need, yeah, more, more timber. Um, because yeah, if you go to people, you can see, look, all these guys are soldiers, so we're not getting any wood cutting right now. You have to basically put everything on hold. Yeah. Uh, Money-wise, we're doing okay. We just made another thirty gold, which is good. And yeah, we're running low on fuel because of that. You know, because the woodcutter's away. We are running low on fuel. So realistically, I probably should have taken my retinue and just the archers. That would have been enough. Does this game have... Uh, no, so no cavalry, but cavalry is planned. I believe I read that the cavalry did say that they were planned, so... Stay 
Okay, yeah, okay. Cool. So that's what we'll do, Finn. Thank you for the suggestion. I really do appreciate it. What we'll do after this is then we will clear this camp and then we'll make an armor smith, um, as you said, and start uh, selling the excess armor and stuff. Okay, cool. That sounds like a plan. I appreciate it, chat. Helping helping me out. Um, so let's just set up our archers. Like I like to kind of set up our archers just like in front and then we run them back. These guys are going to not even make it by the time they get here. Run! Get your asses over here. Well, let me, everybody get my breath back. Yeah, we've no one building as well, man. It's brutal. It really is. And something, I think something that goes kind of under the radar in this game is like, as you expand, you don't really like notice your resources like dwindling if that makes sense like you don't really notice like oh i'm gonna need more food because i have you know i got five more families so now i'm gonna need more fuel and more food you kind of just like put it to the back of your mind and you're just like yeah my village is doing good more families um you know more families I just, i'm just obviously gonna get more food but like realistically i'm not harvesting i've only i guess at this point i am because i've got an oven and a, and a windmill but a lot of the time you're putting families on on like wood cutting and the, the mining pits and stuff like that. You kind of forget that, oh yeah, I actually need to keep up with the demand on food and fuel. What do you think of the new Warhorse game? Oh man, I can't wait for that. Yeah, have you guys heard? Um, the guys who made Kingdom Come Deliverance are uh, announcing their new game. Finally a new game on, uh, on Thursday. How hyped are we? You guys in range yet? There you go. Give them a volley, boys. You guys are a bit tired, so I want to rest you for as long as possible. We are ready to push the spears through. One more volley, and then we push the spears through. We've killed a couple of them already. And they can shoot over as well. Nice, that was a good volley again. One more volley, I think, and then push you guys around. You guys uh, get very defensive, so let's pause it quickly. On you guys to stand your ground. This is going to massively increase their defense, um, but reduce their, their, their attack. That was a good volley in the back right there, down to 12. And then the rest of you, yeah. Then the rest of you come flying around the back. About, oh, that's a big hit. And then they're going to just break. The archers are just like, yeah, for the boys. Nice. Yeah, the, these brigand armies are very easy at this point for us. You just like break them very effectively. Uh, let's just get you guys back into friendly territory and you go clear that out. Yo, Squiddy, how's it going, my man? Good old Squidster, how you doing today? Uh, I'm actually going to run these guys. I feel like if I run these guys, they'll be more likely to get back here quicker. And the rest of you can clear that. We also have 213 regional wealth. We can actually get some more... Uh, some more levies. Like, what else do I spend my treasury on? Literally just, I guess, mercenaries, but then just retinue, basically, right? As well as settling a new region, building a manor is enabled for taxation. But I don't need that to settle a new region, right? I need influence. Yeah, I need influence, not cash. All right, let's run these guys back to their jobs. We have a lot to do, by the way. Because it's already September. So yeah, we have a lot a lot of the fields to harvest. I say that. Ye olde women. She's, she's hard at work. By herself, harvesting the fields. Good on her. Good on her. Don't worry. Everybody else will be returning. And I assume I take regional wealth with this. You know? Come on, boys. You're almost home. Yeah, only for retinue management, so we're good there. We're good there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, let's take this. We'll probably go back to, yeah, for the nearest town. So, that gives us an extra 100 gold, which is good. So, that'll be enough to set up the armory. That'll be enough to set up um, everything else we need. Cool. All right. Yeah, and then we can literally just have the retinue on the go. That, that's a, I think that's a great idea. We have a bit bit more money. So you boys are all back now. Good, we'll just spam the units. 
Get back to work, boys. You guys come back. And then, yeah, then maybe if we have, like, 12 retinue, then we can literally just go around and clear them bandit camps by, by themselves. You know, heavily armored knights against brigands. It's pretty strong, I think. Yeah, a bunch more regional wealth now as well. You got a headache? Oh, that sucks, Quiddy. But other than that, you're hyped? Yeah, nice. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how well this game does. How many people do you think will end up playing this game when it releases out of interest? So what, what you're telling me, uh, by the way, is so this blacksmith isn't getting access to any of the market stuff at all, right? He's not getting access to anything, even though the market isn't that far away from him. Are you telling me I, to, to fix that, I need to put more people on the granary? And I need to put another person on, like, the, the storehouse? Is that what I need to do to fix this guy, like, being, like these other houses just not being happy? Because they're, they're missing stuff. Could we have a couple extra families to do that if we wanted to? Okay, you guys get back in friendly territory. Um, here we have some of that now, which is good. I mean, another family on our sheep farmer. Like, the the, the weavers are, are popping off for sure. Um, we need someone building still as well, of course. How many planks do we have? Yeah, we don't actually have that many planks. Yeah, all the boys are back now. Good, good, good. You guys are exhaustedly moving back into friendly territory. Yeah, at least it got fixed in the other playthroughs when they did it. Okay, cool. So let, let's try and find some more families to use. Obviously, we're still building. Yeah, we don't need anyone on the die, the die workshop now. For sure, that's an extra family we could use. If someone fought, yeah, we have someone hunting still. Two families on that still, which I think we need. We are a little bit low on timber, so... Bloomery, we're using charcoal. I don't think we have any iron left, though, do we? Oh, we do. A little bit. And then, what, they're making iron slabs? So we don't really have a lot of iron slabs, either. Oh, we also have some swords to sell, as well. We could do that. Um, so, let's go... We have enough clay tiles for a while, which is good. So, let's also sell some swords. Probably don't have many swords, though. Let's keep them, because I wouldn't mind a unit of swords and shields next, actually. Let's do that. Let's hold off on that. But I will probably stop the bloomery for now. Mainly because I don't really have the iron. And then let's stick someone extra on the, the storehouse, and let's stick someone else on the granary, and see if that helps out. I think it will. And we still have a family building, um, and we'll probably just use that family to build up. So I think we're going to be fine here, right? And maybe even we go down... I think we even go down a family there and we take another family here. Because, yeah, we're, the rain is destroying some of our, our, our fields and stuff. Wool Weaver has to be there. I feel like the coal is good. I'm actually... Oh, no. We need planks constantly. We do. I have so many people, but I feel like I'm, I'm, I, I don't have enough people to do all my jobs I want them to do. We have to do the trader still as well, I think. I'm making good money there as well. Nice, another, another plot has been built. Cool. Hopefully we get another family here soon and we'll make these immediately into vegetables. Right, these are our vegetables. Oh my god, look at that. That's nice. Yay, dirty trucker. Thank you so much, man. Coming in with the 10 pound donation. Yo, thank you so much, my man. Really appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Again, we just built another one of these, right? Why not, though? Why can't we not? Swing him away? No enough wood. We have enough wood. God damn. Timber is like brutal, man. Yeah, maybe we do have to pause this for a second then. Yeah, let's pause it. And I, I think because of that, we're going to pause the Fletcher as well. 
Uh, the joiner maker is still paused as well, right? Yeah, he's already paused as well. Okay, cool. So let's do that. Because, I, I mean, planks are so important, but I just don't have enough wood. I just think three people on logging. So I feel like I'm not building anything, and yet I'm still struggling so much. And also, ideally, I, I'm probably just going to have a family on, on this for now. We have no building projects. Okay, it does seem like... Let, like, we were at five unhappy houses, so maybe having the more people on there has helped. Yeah, I think maybe so. I think, uh, Finn, I think you're correct, my man. I think it is helping. We'll see if it gets rid of all of our problems. Yeah, into fully harvesting and wood. I 100% agree for the winter. Because, yeah, it's better, better to sort it now than, than to wait. And we have our... Because, like, resource-wise, we're going to be good. We're going to have 61 barley. We're going to have plenty of... Plenty of... Uh, plenty of bread from this. And we also have the flax as well. Oh, my God, though. Oh, yeah, we're, we're switching out from this, though. The rotation will go on to the barley. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds good. Can we assign out of interest? Yeah, maybe we should automatically assign an ox here as well. Which means we also then automatically don't need an ox on the saw pick. We stop for a little bit. We don't actually have one. Okay, cool. Do I maybe go up an extra couple oxes as well? Maybe? Question mark? And then do I have any gardens? I have a garden here, right? So I can make this into the armorer. Yeah. But we need obviously to upgrade it to a higher tier. We just have the wood. Okay, we can make some more houses now. Let's do it. So let's try for maybe two. That's two right there. That's three. Okay. okay. No, we have anyone to build them. But yeah, boom. That'd be nice. Cool. Nice. I think this is a good setup. We have someone obviously constantly making wood as well. Good. Fuel is maxed. And we're also doing charcoal as well, so. Yeah, I know no one can build them, but we actually don't need them. And until we do, then I think we're fine. What's, like, the biggest population you guys have seen someone make so far? Like, what's the biggest village someone has got up to? And then, yeah, so in winter, I think we go heavy on the the materials. We go heavy on, like, iron. And we go heavy on, like, clay. And we just get, like, a big surplus of all that. But we could literally go up to tier 3 as well if we wanted to now as well. Oh, yeah, true. The, uh, the, but to be fair, the only other places I need the ox are a bit... Yeah, we probably should, though. Okay, let's find somewhere to... Because the, the random ox does guide, um, you know, but we also, everywhere we want an ox to be assigned, we have one. But yeah, it's probably not a bad idea just uh, to sort that out. And the building is, is never bad, either. So maybe we just go down to two. There you go. We'll leave one family there. Okay, cool. That that will do that. Uh, biggest it was seven hundred plus. Man, you've seen two hundred. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so people can go really like in in just one plot. That's not bad at all. Hey, how's it going, marvelous? It is indeed a lovely day for a Monday. A lovely day for a stream, I should say, and a lovely day for a Monday as well. Archer spam, the guy built over a thousand war bows. Yeah, I mean, archers do seem extremely powerful. They really do. Nice harvesting. We have three families on harvesting now. Uh, we should be fine, right? Because it's just September still. We have plenty of time to harvest. Making plenty more wool, which is good. Is there a way to move my sheep over, by the way? 
that's also, I guess, another another good point is is there is there because I'd rather the sheep get moved to the pasture and the sheep farm because then it's close by. Because right now I have to go all the way over here to get the sheep. Is there any way to transfer them? Because right now, like, I don't want them here. I want them to be transferred. Do I actually, would I, do I need someone here, maybe, to then transfer them over? Because that's also kind of annoying, because now our wool weavers having to go all the way down there to sort that out. Where are your hitching posts? I have... Where are they? So I have a small stable in the center of the town and a small stable out here. So I wouldn't mind, you know, maybe another, another hitching post, like, out here. And then this covers, like, this area. Or, like, out here. So then we can have another stable, and then we basically have kind of one covering the surrounding areas. I'm going to do it. That way we'll have like three, kind of basically an ox wherever you need them. Uh, okay, workers in both buildings. Okay, cool. So I'd need a family in this, and they would transfer over. Good to know. I think that's something as well that would be really good about this game, if they would improve the tool tips for like what a family... Oh god, I forgot to dismount all these guys right now. Uh, like what having a worker inside of a, 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 a position does like if I hovered over this it'd be like this person is in the farmhouse during these like during these seasons they'll do this during that season they'll do that because like some are obviously really obvious you know like this is a woodcutter's lodge this man is now cutting wood <laughs> that's obvious but some are a little bit more obscure. Like, do I need someone in the trader for it to, to for passive trade to come in? I assume so, but maybe not. Like the storehouse, they move goods around, but like, what does it actually do besides that? I feel like there's some buildings that could really benefit from that. Okay, so as soon as we get another family, we'll, we'll put someone in the livestock trading post and we'll, we'll hopefully transfer the sheep over. Got other buildings here as well, the extra houses. What are we lacking? Not enough cloves. Okay, I mean, the cloves should be fine. We just need to make more. We're making shoes. We're not making cloves, though. We have a lot of yarn on the marketplace, so we should be. Where is our tailor here? Yeah, he should be making cloves. Do we have enough dyes? Oh, maybe it's dyes we're lacking. Uh, yeah, okay, so we need someone back on the dye workshop. We don't have any people to do that. God damn it. Hmm. Um, let's take someone off the storehouse and put them on dyes. I think three families are going to be enough here to do these fields in time. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, the rest of you have literally been just camping out in the forest. That's so funny. Um, speaking of which, let's add some more to the retinue. Yeah, I mean, no reason not to keep on upgrading these guys, right? Yeah, clothes are made from linen, not... Oh, linen? I see linen... I mean, we have a lot of linen as well. Oh, yeah, clothes are linen. But, yeah, and the cloaks are, are yarn. I mean, we have plenty of both. We don't have the dyes, though. Yeah, the dyes are what we lack, or, or what, we, what we are lacking. Um, but, yeah, we, should, we have plenty of both across the board. Oh, yeah, I think I just need more dyes. Then do we have... We don't think we have many berries. We only have five berries now as well. Plenty of beer still. I guess we can go off the... Uh, we kind of need to keep on producing beer though. These guys, yeah, just lacking cloves now. It's really the only thing that we're we're lacking. 
Uh, can't you set a fixed limit to production? Like, produce 20 spears and then stop? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. You can, like, set how much you, like, you... What, you, can, like, you can, like, turn off your workspace personally. I don't know. So you just have to pause it manually, I believe. All right, so we've got another family as well. So we're up to 32 families. Let's get these other, these other plots built. Yeah, and they're now... They should be all filled, right? Yeah, they're filled with families. Cool. Yeah, the extra families are great as well. Nice. Let's make some more eggs there as well. We might as well. We'll probably end up moving this tannery and having some more houses here. Because we're, we're, we're getting pretty full now. Yeah, you can sell the access automatically, which is nice. We have, yeah, we have a little bit of excess ale right now. Bows. I want to keep the shields because I might make another spear infantry. Yeah, okay. And now they're, they're finishing this up and then... Um, I might actually have to force a few more people to harvest because we need to sow these fields still, right? Or at least plow the fields still. Yeah, we got quite a bit to do, so I think we're going to send another family to help out there. We've got plenty of this, though. We've got plenty of wheat, plenty of flax, and plenty of barley. So that, that should see us through for some time. Trying to get quite a bit of excess ale now, yeah. So that's going to pump our ale up. Amazing. That should hopefully fix everything else that's having issues. Uh, let's get these last two houses built as well. Immediately get some veg there. These are our veg plots. <laughs> it's good to know. That's a really useful tip, though. Um, yeah, a really useful tip. Oh, yeah, we need to try and move them as well. Just really want to get all these fields sorted out. So I'm probably doing. I'm probably like being way too ambitious with this. You know, I'm trying to plow what four fields. Yeah, I'm literally plowing four fields. That's just way too way too many people. I think to do that. Hey, I mean that's done. We'll get some more veg down. Okay, so the net. Okay, so after that, we probably should try and get up. You should upgrade those extra families into your new houses straight away, as in like immediately go up to the extra space, or immediately go up to the uh, the extra burger plot. Like, sorry, go up to tier two basically. So I should upgrade all of these, right? The only reason I'm a little bit like reluctant to do, I mean, we should, right? We have the wood. The only reason I'm a little bit reluctant to do that is just because we already have, like, these houses are already struggling to get approval. So I don't want to, like, over, over hit them. The tier ones are just nice. Living space. Okay. So it's only that one that can do that, but we'll do that right away. Uh, you're heading off now, Squiddy? All right, let's see you later, man. Hopefully your headache goes away, dude. Have a good rest of your day. Or I guess have a good sleep and have a good day tomorrow. <laughs> Our wood is good now. Okay, our wood's good. So I'm going to go down to one again. They've got a permanent ox there, so that's fine. Uh, and let's get another ox here as well. So that way we're going to have five oxes. Planks are fine as well. That's why we don't have anyone there. We have two families right now moving around. Running out of fuel? Um, okay. Should I stop doing this probably then? Okay, let's just let's just put three people on the fuel to stop that. Because, I mean, I feel like we have... I guess we don't have tons.
Not enough supplies. Not enough. Yeah. It's just fuel we're, we're struggling with. All right. Let's just put three people on the, the wooden camp. Wood camp. Then. Uh, yeah, we have lots of wool now. I mean, let's also put someone on the livestock trader as well so they can bring over, hopefully, the sheep over here. We'll see if that works, right? Because Finn suggested that if I put one on the sheep farm and I put someone on the livestock trader, they might move the sheep over. Hopefully, uh, it's the case. Because that has to have room for plenty more. Okay, so you guys are sewing that. Sewing that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't. I want to fellow this. I don't know why I'm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up with that one. I guess it didn't get harvested in time or something. That's fine. Um, no more bandit camps around us as well? Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, so did I, right? I, I actually, I think you're right. I just, I got a little bit scared, I guess. Uh, Chikot is uh, making fuel twice as effective. Yeah, true. Yeah, we should probably do that. But we don't actually have a family to do that right now, so let's do that. Uh, also, you might decrease your inventory needs for trader not to keep the sheep in stock. Okay, yeah, that could be it as well. Let's see if that works. Um, so we just no trade anymore? Yeah, no trade anymore. First, I guess we'll just go down to zero. And just no trade. Yeah, maybe that'll do it. Are they going to move now? Because right now, they're having to go all this way to... Wait, she should she, she pick up a sheep and then run it away? Okay, no, she's got some... For a second, I thought she had a goddamn sheep on her shoulder. <laughs> She's like, you're coming home with me. Yeah, let's see if that works. Because right now, I kind of need these people elsewhere. But we'll see. The war balls are selling. We have plenty of money as well. Our approval is now really going up. Lack of entertainment again. We have someone here making the beer in the brewery. Maybe we need another brewery for how many people we have. Yeah, right now, though, I think we still need this many people on, on these houses. Um... Yeah, and we could do that. That could be basically the rest of our gardens. And then what we could do is we could then, like, remove these ones. We could make, like, these into, like, the armorer and stuff like that a bit closer to, to the marketplace. So we'll, we'll stick down these three houses. That'll be our last three houses for a while. Even though these guys are unhappy still. We have the dye again. It's actually making cloves. Okay, we're now, pu we're now pumped with cloves. Good. Yeah, we are now pumping clothing. People have... You know, basically all of their needs met. Good. We're lacking food now. Food should be okay for a while. And we are also like hunting as well. Um. Uh, hi, can I still find the 100 mod list? Uh, Aaron, um, the, the 100 mod list has actually been updated by the guy who made that. Uh, yeah, he made that. Um, so you can find it, I think, over on his Discord. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. The guy who made that has made a new one, and it's bigger as well. Uh, so yeah, we should probably do that, and then that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. Winter is fast approaching us. The fields are... Yeah, almost... I'd at least like to get this wheat field sowed. Like, wheat's the most important, I think, for sure. Uh, doesn't seem like uh, it. What if I was to... Oh god, no. They just, they just sold a sheep. Don't, don't sell a sheep. 
Uh, import down to like one. Is that going to move them? I just want to move the sheep. Doesn't seem like that's working either. Uh, cool, we're up to 34 families now as well. We have people, maybe... Yeah, do we have... Yeah, we have actually plenty of grain. We need some more... Do we have plenty of flour? We don't have flour. Okay, cool. So we need someone... Uh, on that now. And there's no point having anybody here now, so... It's winter. We didn't do a great job with our, our, our harvesting, honestly. Um, but we now have five families. Okay, cool. So let's figure out what we need to do now. So I think we definitely go back one on the saw pit. Planks are always important. We go up to two there. Then what are our problems? Obviously fuel, as we mentioned. Um, building is important. Getting these extra ham families down. Yeah, I mean, you guys should be making A, all right? You should be transporting, yeah. Malt house transporting, cool. We actually have, like, a very good clove. Yeah, so it's just food, really. It's really just food we're kind of struggling a bit with. Which I'm surprised we haven't got more meat, you know? This is just stopped now as well. Um, let's just go down to, like, three. Because that is like the only other way to get food is we have our bread and there's no other types. Yeah, besides the oven. Um, so let's maybe go up to two on oven. We'll have that so we'll have lots of people building. Dyes are pointless right now. The weaver's fine. You're still making wool, which is good. Yeah, so I think that's everything we like. We have. Then we have two families to build. And then I'd probably stick one more family on the storehouse. And we do. We go. Oh, mine as well. Yeah, we need definitely need someone on mine. Actually. Bandits stole all my... Fuckers, you're so far away as well. I'd love to come and kill you, but I need people working. Do we think my... How big is my retinue? Do we think my 11 retinue could take out this bandit camp? Of what, 16? We'd probably lose someone, but does it matter if we lose someone? You know? <laughs> I'm tempted. Because I, I need everyone else in their jobs. Trade for me. Oh, yeah, we could trade. But is it, it's going to be expensive, no? But we could, yeah. We could trade for some. Uh, food. Yeah, I guess you trade for other food. Yeah, 12 per meat. It's quite a lot. So, but let's do it. Let's maybe just import like 10. It's quite a bit of our money. But we're about to go get some more, right? Uh, cool. Let, let's do it then. Because they just stole like a very valuable resource. Then berries are going to be brutal. All right, boys. It's a long march. It's a, such a long march. Must be same region to rally. Okay. I mean, there's 11 of them, right? So I think they'll be fine. They're like heavily armored boys. What's the worst that can happen? We don't have enough to increase the size of the retinue yet. They're at, they're at their limit right now. As in, like, we don't have enough money, treasury, to do that. We have all these houses again. Vegetables. Vegetables. And, of course, you know. Okay, so that, sh that should be enough farming for vegetables there. For some time. And then we can probably look to... We already want to upgrade these. Yeah, we're going to want to upgrade these um, and then transform them from vegetables probably into something else. 
Definitely an armor smith, as Finn suggested. So making money. And then maybe another tailor. Honestly, maybe even another bakery. Just really get as much in as possible. Upgrade their gear. You have the money for that yet, I don't think. Yeah, you boys make a long march. Right? It'll be interesting. I guess we'll, we'll truly test. If the rest of you die, we'll just have to buy some more, you know. Windmills pumping. Okay, boom, boom. Yeah, lots of yelling, lots of, lots of yarn. So I don't think the sheep are moving, so I'm literally just going to take the family off of that. I think it's a bit of a waste to have the family on that. Uh, and I'm going to stick another, I'm going to stick a family on the mines now as well. Let's do that. Can you fight yourself in like in Battle Lord? No, you cannot. Oh my god, they got over there quick, man. And it's already January as well. We've like blitzed through the winter months. Nice. Up to 100 uh, people as well. Our fuel is now going back up after our panic uh, purchase of fuel. We'll let these guys get up to full strength again before we march. Oh my god, there's another bandit camp on the way back as well. Well, let's clear this one far away. This one, we can actually maybe levy some extra soldiers to do that for us, you know. Um, yeah, you guys are hunting down to free now for more meat. We're going to have a lot of flour. Uh, shoe, we got a lot of shoes. So we can actually pause the, the cobble maker, maybe. We have 23 shoes in, sur in surplus, so maybe the cobbler can just chill for a bit. Yeah, you just getting the fatigue back. Okay, cool. These winter months are hard for sure. People back on mining, which is good. Uh, no, the, the, I have a, a pasture here for 12. I have a pasture here for 12, and then this has pasture space as well. For some reason, I can't seem to get the sheep moving from this pasture. Maybe if I build, like, another one? Like, maybe if I build another pasture, it would, like, kind of figure itself out a bit, maybe. Yeah, I'll do that. Maybe, maybe see if that, like, maybe, like, oh, yeah, no, cool. We should actually probably put them in this one. Maybe it's because it didn't have a road. If that's it, if that's because it didn't have a road, I'm going to be like... Very annoyed. <laughs> that That's why it didn't work. It's because it wasn't connected to the road. That could honestly be it. And I just was stupid. I don't know. We'll see. Are our boys ready for combat? Are we going to really put, the, yeah, put these guys to the... No, still getting their fatigue back. <gasps> Sell shoes? Thing is, though, how much leather... I don't know if we have much leather in... Yeah, we actually have zero leather in in supply, so I'm actually not going to do that because the rest of the shoes will be good. We could go down a little bit on shoes, actually. To be fair, yeah, we could go down a little bit. I want to be a little bit careful, though. Um, and yeah, we are... Consu uh, it's, just, it's just so expensive for that. Let's... Oh, yeah. We need to purchase this as well. Uh, yeah. Let's do large shields. Establish that route. Um, and export down to like 10. We're buying food, which is good. And then what are we going to do? Oh, yeah. We're exporting iron as well. Let's stop exporting iron. And then we're going to sell some shoes, right? Which are commodities. Get a route for that. Okay, we'll do that as well. Found like 15 maybe. Because the thing is, like, we're, now that we're kind of low, it's going to be a while to do that. 
Yeah, we're just yeah, yeah. Importing food was a I think a bad idea because we just like it's people eat it so quickly. Yeah, no, I don't think we can afford that right now. I mean, we're about to get a bunch more regional wealth, so it's not like it's gonna be the end of the world. But yeah. Yeah, I think again, again, that's a really good suggestion. We'll make some more goat pens and stuff. Yeah, there's like so much like that you guys are suggesting now that I'm just like, oh man, I wish I could just start again. But we will. Uh, after after we finished up this series, uh, like I think we'll, we'll stream this the rest of the week. And then after this is um, wrapped up, we'll then do the, the, the hardest difficulty one, the um, edge of whatever it's called. I can't remember. But we'll try the hardest, hardest one. Because yeah, we have some goats here for hides. But yeah, we should probably get some more and just, yeah, selling. Uh, maybe you need to move your trade post closer to the pastures for sheep to move. I mean, they should just, like, yeah, just do it, though. But yeah, maybe we just, like, delete this. But then I'm scared the sheep are just going to run away. I'm going to pause it and see if that helps. Yeah, as soon as we're up to full fatigue, we will walk towards the enemy. There you go. Cool. So let's walk up here. We'll make sure we are just... Yeah, we're not running. Just walk into battle. Where are they over here? All right. Let's see if if my retinue can take down these bandits without losing a man. I assume we'd want to probably charge them, right? Let's give them hell, boys. I believe we are Finn, unless, I, unless I'm mistaken. I believe we are selling the excess uh, spears, shields, and, uh, and swords. We're now getting our mining back up and running as well, so then we can continue to sell. Ooh, good kill. Good kill. I'll have to see, uh, I'll have to see how many kills you guys have when we disband these dudes. The me actually, this is going to be a little bit closer than I think, mainly because we're not going to be able to route these guys as effectively. Because normally you have, like, you surround them and then, then, then their morale goes down. I mean, that's how you break them. Oh, that's another kill. So normally you can break them very quickly by just surrounding them. Whereas because we're only fighting one of these guys... Um, yeah, I mean, we have cut them down to 10 already, and we haven't lost a man. Yeah, there, Clemet, there you go. Boom. Good job. Finish them off on the ground as well. Hell yeah. All right, let's go claim the camp. Uh, and then... Claim the camp and then move back. And then we'll go and clear out this camp. Nice. And that'll give us plenty of regional wealth to survive. I think then we'll come, yeah, kill that camp. Uh, you can freeze. You can name all of the uh, all of the retinue, not the individual people. But I say that, you probably can, right? Um, yeah, you can. Like, you literally can rename everybody. Like, you literally can rename everybody. These guys will be your soldiers. It's just the rest of you can track their stats and stuff. Uh, nearest town, please. Good, good, good. And then walk over to deal with this camp, boys. You're hard fought. You'll be back soon enough. I'll let you guys rest as well when we get over here. So get to like... Where's the camp there? Yeah, get to like a river. So a lot of these houses have families in, which is good. A lot of the stuff we're doing now, though, with food isn't going to kick in until a little bit later, unfortunately. 
But what we can probably do here. So let's upgrade these houses. So we're going to make one of these into an armory, I think. And then I don't know what we do with the other one. But let's upgrade them now. Well, what do you guys think? Do we make another tailor so we can start making more clothes? Or... Uh, there's no point having anyone on the dye workshop because we don't have the berries anymore. Leather, yeah. Leather. We have plenty of flax still. Yeah, you guys are still making beer, which is good. We actually have... Yeah, we're just kind of struggling with beer. We need more barley, I think. Again, barley might be something that we actually do buy. We have still 30 barrels there, yeah. And then, yeah, if I look at my trades, weapon-wise, we've got five spears in reserve. We've got some swords we could sell. We're selling the war bows and we're selling the shields. Make it into a tailor so you have two. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think, I think that's, that sounds like a sound plan. We make one of these into a tailor and the other one in. We just don't need the vegetables anymore because we have this. I mean, to be fair, only three of them are filled, but they're big gardens. Uh, and then, do we have any other gardens anywhere? So these can all upgrade, which is good. We have no... Oh, we have a garden here. So I think we also make these into goats for more hides. So we can keep on making shoes. Uh, and we should be getting more family soon as well, yeah. Just not enough food variants, but it's winter. So what are you, you going to do? Um, we could also probably send a family down here on there. We have two spare families. There's actually no building projects right now. So let's actually go a little bit harder on the mining. And I guess we'll go back on to the, the bloomery. Uh, so this is, here's a question, actually, I was I was wondering. What um what do tools do? Are tools used to make something, or do they just improve the rate at which people... Uh, do they just improve the rate at which people are able to do stuff? Okay, the boys is just marching out of there, running, yeah. Uh, we should take the gold from the next... Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea, maybe. Just so we can have a max 12 retinue. And then to upgrade. You can upgrade your your thing right as well by building a garrison tower. A garrison tower increased their much bigger towers as well. Um, I wonder if these if these do also increase. Okay, so we can actually start improving that as well. We'll delete that for now. Yes, yeah, so you can also get garrison towers, which then improve your militia. Oh, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, continue to hunt, guys. We've got more goats on the go as well. So, yeah, more goats now. To be fair, this could also just be a blacksmith as well. We keep one of the vegetable fields around. Chickens, normal houses. Oh, something as well. If I wanted to get more people in the vegetable plots, I could start doing this as well. Do that, and then people go fill these houses, which is what we want, right? And these are just crappy houses, and then, yeah, like, this is a tier 2 house, which is nice, but... Probably make a tier 2 house here with a, with a garden. You be careful, because now we're down to 35... Oh, we're actually... Fuck. Come on, come on. Wait, what? Oh, we did just fill all of these. What the hell? Okay, cool. Take it. So we actually got... I think we must have just got a family member as I did that as well. That's fine, though. Um, yeah, so... I feel like I could probably build a better house here. It's two expansions. Not what I want, though. If I do that in turn, can I get, like, a garden? Yeah, I can get, like, a, gar a big garden here. Not a big garden, but... Or is that, am I upgrading this one or am I making goats here? I can't remember. Yeah, we, we could make this one or yeah, or this one. Uh, don't increase size. Upgrade the current one you have uh, to play armor. Yeah, yeah, we are. We are, we are, we are. 
I'm just, yeah, I need obviously to make these level two first, right? I need to make this level two first, right? As soon as they're level two, then we can do plate armor. It's going to take some time to, to build down. Uh, we actually do have a bit of homelessness as well. Cool. Are they, they haven't moved that yet. No, they're still waiting to move that. Finish that off, please. But at least that means that all these vegetables are building. That's good. I think I'm better off just doing like this, you know, like. That's a big garden. Do we care? Oh, the well, though, yeah. Okay, we'll maybe it's priority though. High priority, high priority, and then high priority. Cool. Nice, 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 nice. All the houses done. Yeah, we've really kind of like built the village back, and we're at high population. Um, yeah, and then food is literally just bread. The vegetables will be big. Our fuel is back up and running now. We're now hitting back on the bloomery. We've got the goats on the go as well. Yeah, goats here. Uh, we have chickens as well. Yep, we have chickens here. Um, wouldn't be a bad idea to upgrade that as well. To have more people there. Uh, we have chickens here as well. Let's upgrade a few of these as well. Nice. Uh, cold. Someone's freezing, are they? I mean, there's plenty of clothes. Like, I feel like our, our variation is really nice. Yeah, we have a, yeah, food variation is bad. We have so many clothes right now. Fuel's okay. It's just food. I mean, I have... Doing all I can with the food. Fucking bandits, man. Stole some grain. The boy... I totally forgot about these boys as well. <laughs> Poor boys just out here in the... After war we go. So are you telling me not to switch this over from vegetables? I should keep it on vegetables? Because I think this this one I would be able to. I mean, these are like decent gardens, right? Not like quite like these, but decent enough. Because our army as well, our military is also, yeah, maxed out now. I have two full units of of military now. We definitely don't want to push forward. Let's let them at us. Heavy snow fighting as well. Let's charge in. Stuck into some combat again. Uh, put chicken farms to the eggs is, is another way. Yeah, I've done that already. You should be making a lot of bows and selling them. Easiest way to make money in the game. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I do have bows, war bows being sold. I believe I'm still producing them. I might have stopped because we were in a bit of a wood shortage, but I will double check after this battle is done. And then if I have turned it off, I will then return it back on. Look at the cowards run from me. Nice. The boys have done a great job. So let's go clear that camp. 
Um, and as I said, I mean, the regional wealth would be nice. But I think we'll keep it for ourselves and just max out the militia at 12. So let's do that. Yeah. We're, we're making more iron slabs, which should obviously be helping out with a blacksmith. Making more swords. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going with like a full rank of, of dudes there. Uh, Fletcher is paused. Thank you for... Okay, thank you for suggesting that then. Um... Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, with this, I think what we're going to do, right? Yeah, all these houses are filled as well to the brim. We're actually up to 36 families now as well. And... Belongs to my treasury. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because then we just have a fully stacked militia. We can build some garrison posts as well. Get up to like 15. Having extra money is nice. We are so much influence now as well. I really kind of feel like we should look to, to claim another region. Like, go claim this region. We probably shouldn't do it in the winter, though, of course. Yeah, winter would be a bad idea. Um, the extra berries wouldn't be a bad idea as well, because we need the dyes. Like, dyes are what's probably holding us back the most right now. Actually lacking ale as well, really. Probably need another brewery then as well. Yeah, we're selling shoes here. For, the thing is as well, we're going to have to put people back on the farm soon as well. So a lot of these families are going to have to stop working. Um, yeah. But again, you know, winter is done, so food is not going to be a problem. So I think maybe we, yeah, maybe we get rid of these vegetables. We go Taylor, Blacksmith. Maybe another brewery. Like, we have... How much? We have only five sacks of barley, actually. Honestly, I think I need to start importing barley again. We're only going to harvest another 30? I think, honestly, I, I go back to importing it. Seems like beer is our biggest problem right now. Like none of these families are getting enough food. Yeah, just not getting their food. Why not? I have two people on the granary. I have plenty of food. Is it like maybe because I don't have enough markets of food, if that makes sense? But I have four of them. Four of them should be plenty. I think I only made you know, five because I have this guy who's probably worth taking off now. Yeah, I have five. Yeah, you can get off that now. Yeah, are we, are we doing that? I, I, I kind of feel a bit bad because I'm like removing these. I'm removing these vegetables which are going to obviously supplement us. To be fair, this could be a, a, an armor smith because it's such a small... Okay, it's March now as well. Cobbler can get back at it as well. Yeah, Cobbler get back at it. Might be distance from the market, but they're not that far away, like, right? I mean, like, they are decently far enough, but... Uh, you are producing any apples? No, unfortunately not. You are producing any apples? Yeah, I'm not. I don't have the... Um... Yeah, I know I'm not producing any apples. But it's anything, right? It's anything. It's any of the, uh, the above. But I don't have the, the development points to do that, unfortunately. Yeah, the, the game does have friendly fire, but you have to turn it on. So normally what will happen... Uh, we should probably stick some more families back here now. They have the ox going as well. Nice. Um, logging camp is maxed as well, which is nice. Pretty good like that for an extra family. Both got a lot of farming to do. Yeah, maybe I destroy this and rebuild it just so the sheep get picked up. You need apples and honey? 
Uh, I mean, yeah, of course I need apples and honey, but just to get their food is what I'm saying. Like, their basic needs should be fine. Get a beehive. Again, I don't have the development points to do that. Don't have the development points. When I get them, sure. We need to upgrade to tier 3. Can we do that anywhere? What would you guys need? I would need the last bit of food. Is there any, any tier 3s? Yeah, we just need extra food. So, cool. So, yeah, this season will make tier 3s. Too small is it oh it is okay cool good to know um so should so here, here's a good question here's a good question yeah yeah thank you thank you for putting that out sorry i know like i'm making so many mistakes and you guys are telling me but hopefully it's it's okay here's a good question where should i put it should i just put like another one in the center or should i maybe look to like put it up here so it covers more of this area you know like where should i put down this next marketplace like, would it be a good idea to, like, stick it, like, further back here? So it's, like, a better reach to certain houses that are struggling? Like, what houses are unhappy? Like, over here, really, right now. So should I, like, should I make, like, a market, like... Sorry. Like, a marketplace, like, here by the church? Do you think that would be a better idea? So then that way it fits more of the houses over them. And I guess we could, we could continue to expand out there. Or would it be better? I mean, oh, we have a marketplace over here as well. God damn. Yeah, we are literally... Surely, like, not all of these stools are... Yeah, like, this stool doesn't have anything. But all the other ones... Yeah, a few of these stools don't have it. So I wonder if it, like, messes up when you... Maybe, though. Uh, I mean, let's do it. So we have a little bit of a marketplace over there, I guess. They do have food in them as well. So we have a little marketplace out there. We have one in the center. So I guess let's take another one like up here. Because, yeah, it would be cool to continue to expand, like, up here. But I was one of my next... But we have that one, right? So we could probably even expand this one. Can you expand them or not? Can't. Realistically, our more houses are going to go, like, down here. Yeah. Let's do it, like, here, then. It's probably a bit too big. But I guess it's no harm making them a bit too big. A 17... Yeah. And maybe we could, like, expand out this way, you know, a bit. Cool. Let's do something like that, then. Let's do something like that. We can maybe build some more houses. That will hopefully hit a lot more of those. Seems good to me. Oh, yeah. Retinue as well. My retinue. Boys, you've been busy fighting. Did I get them back? Oh, they are back. Cool. Good job. You boys fought hard. You guys have a good rest. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah, you can customize your retinue. So we have a bunch of guys. We actually have some names. If you So, yeah, give me some names in chat. Obviously, members get priority. Uh, we can even upgrade to our final one now. So, yeah, give me give me some names in chat, and I'll pick maybe two, two non-members and two members. Also, if anybody gifts any members in the time I'm waiting, you guys automatically guarantee yourself uh, a spot. I kind of like these overcoats for our boys as well. And that's fine on you. Yeah, I much prefer like the big old overcoats, honestly. Or the, the Gambersons. That's cool as well. So I think we have one, two, three, four to give away. Five, six. Yeah, high and I remember was someone. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And I think it's this one as well. Maybe not though. Thomas is a... Yeah, Josh was definitely the last one we were... Oh, we can actually import some armor as well. Oh, Josh, you just got an upgrade, my friend. 
Okay, you get better weapons as well. I like that axe on you. Holy, okay. Yeah, you just got some big upgrades. Maybe we'll do a couple of them then. Because uh, only 18. That's good. Yo. That's some big upgrades for the boys. Okay, so Carl, Carl's been upgraded. I maybe do one more. No, I think Squiddy looks dope like that, honestly. Let's, let's upgrade one of the big two-handers. Let's upgrade Swedish. Yeah, so it's just bigger armor. <laughs> a bigger armor and a bigger weapon. Let's go a bigger Warhammer. Yeah, I like that style, honestly. There we go. Nice. Cool. We'll do that for now. Hell yeah. That's cool. Hopefully producing a lot of iron now as well. How much iron do we have? Yeah, 32. So we're, we're pumping iron. Sorry, did anybody as well? Sorry if I you answered me and I missed it. Did, any, did anybody ever answer me about the uh, tools, what they do? Uh, yeah, how's it going, uh, Soren? Welcome. Maybe we use the same weapon? We could, but I kind of like the mix, you know? Uh, okay, cool. Let's pick... Um... Let's pick a couple now. Let's just do that then. Let's name a couple. Um... So, Finn says he wants to be a big old dude with an axe. Uh, sure, that's a good enough axe. There you go, Finn. You're in the army. And go ahead. With all the advice you gave me, I'll upgrade you, you know. Upgrade you to be uh, a man about town. There you go. Uh, then we have... Um, let's see. Favor? Yeah, sure. Favor. Welcome, 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 welcome. There you go. Here you are. Quit with a sword. Let's give you like a... A mallet. <laughs> Let's give you like a warhammer. Uh, though, actually, I prefer the axe, to be honest. I think the axe looks cool. Um, then I'll do one more from chat. Let's pick... Mathis? Yeah, sure. There you go. There you go. So that's the last from chat. Uh, is there any other members who want one? Tools are for building upgrades. Are they? I haven't... Really seen them. I haven't really seen. I guess there's not many buildings you can upgrade though. Okay, cool. Let's just go back. Sorry. Uh, cool. So we're making one of these into a tailor, right? Yeah, one of these into a tailor. Um, and then we'll we'll let we'll let this one chill for now. Ah, uh, no. Fuck it. Let's do this. Oh wait, this is gonna upgrade right to tier two, and then we can do it there. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay, there you go. Unknown. It's a good time to come in. There you go. So we'll get unknown right here. Oh my god, I didn't fucking say the name. <laughs> oh. Wait, where did you hit save? There you go. Finn, done, right? I saved it. Yeah, there you go. Cool, thank you. Who else did I say? I said... Favor said I could have... What's Favor? There you go. Uh, then... <laughs> It was... I might have messed up the order now as well, but it's fine. Mathis. <laughs> God, I am a moron. And then finally, uh, Raphael. There you go. Uh, and then go on. Why not? We'll, we'll give you one day as well. Sure thing. Dolores. Boom. There we go. I will probably save... I think I have... I think Heinz was a member. I think I have one more. I think I have Thomas is the last one. Yeah, so I have one more. If anybody gives five members, they can have that last one for now. I think that's a good way of doing it. Are uh, stores stalls okay now as well? Is anybody set up a marketplace here? So we're fine for now. 
Uh, okay, so we have no spare families right now, but we have... Oh, we do actually have a construction project there, right? Yeah. We have two people working on the, the crop still. How much flour do we have left? We have 16 flour. Uh, we could... So we go back down to one on mining now. So hey, we can finish up these houses, these construction plots. And then, yeah, then, so we're making this into a tailor, I believe. And then we just need a black, an armorer, and then we'll start making weapons, and then we'll be good. Yeah, food is a bit of a problem for now, but the berries are going to come back now, so the berries are going to start growing. Um, but I think, again, we use all the berries to do other stuff. That's tier two now, good. So we make this into a blacksmith. Boom, cool. So, no, God, wrong one, armorer. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Well, we have two, we have two blacksmiths. <laughs> we have two blacksmiths now. Oh, damn it. Okay, this has to be transformed into, but I can't. Oh, because I have the development to make armor. Okay, well, that, that does it, right? Yes, we have to grab this. Cool. So then I totally intended to do that. Don't you worry. There's no way for me to stop this right either. So I can't just like just destroy. Yeah, it would destroy everything, right? It's fine. Two blacksmiths. What's the worst that can happen? We are an iron place. So I guess that allows me to sell more weapons. Not the end of the world, right? Speaking of which, it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe build up like a another squad of something. So I guess maybe we go up to some footmen. Oh, the family then got taken into that as well. Yeah, god damn it. Uh, we probably don't need two on this anymore. We don't need two on that for now. I think when you increase the revenue size, you might just add Dane and Norwegian, given that you currently have Finn and Sweet. <laughs> we'll get the full we'll get the full Scandinavians, yeah, literally. Oh, that'd be perfect. Uh cool. So again, the main problem. Um, and we should probably start making some small shields now as well, like that. Let's do that. So you're making clothes. The problem is we don't have dyes for now. Maybe import some. But yeah, we will set you on the other clothing. Yeah, we'll set you on cloaks then. And we literally have all clothes being made. Besides gambesons. Gambesons will be something we we'll want to try and do. Uh, we're actually at our limit standard as well. God damn. We need more houses. Um, so actually then maybe upgrade, where was it? I swear it was a house I was on that I could upgrade to more people. Yeah, this one. It's got up to another family. Uh, yeah, it has. <laughs> Thank you so much, Peter. I appreciate the 20. He says, what about Danish? Danish? Yeah, we might, we might do that when we upgrade our, our militia. I'll keep one behind just for any anyone who gifts gifts members to, to claim that um, as a thank you. And then all the others, what I'll do is uh, we'll, we'll finish them off when we build some garrison towers. Are you guys not sewing this yet? Oh, you are. You guys do have an ox though, right? But I should have an ox. You have an ox. Oh, you're doing this one. Okay, cool. I'm going to, like, destroy this livestock uh, place as well. Just to uh, hopefully move these sheep. That's almost harvesting season. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, not enough build... Oh, we need more hitching posts and stables. Yeah, okay, cool. We can do that. Um, upgrade that. And there you go. Yeah, nice. It's moving the sheep now. So we actually then rebuild the, the livestock trader as well. So we'll do that. So I imagine, yeah, uh, I'm only have six left. If we just upgrade this, then it would be fine. Yeah, if we upgrade this to a stable, we're actually going to be fine. And there you go, boom. We just had to delete it and it sorted itself out. Nice. That's nice. So then basically everyone here is by the sheep farm, so we'll be able to pump wool pretty effectively. 
Thank you so much for the donation, guys. And I really appreciate all the members as well. We are closing in on five. Oh, no, we were closing on 500 members. I guess we lost some. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, let's change that up then. Um, but yeah, I really do appreciate all the support. Let's change the number back up to 400. We're closing in on 400 members. <laughs> you can become a member for as little as $2. It's a great way to support the channel. And you even get these episodes earlier when we get the... Uh, when when I... Uh, for Let's Play, you actually get the episodes a bit earlier as well, which is always nice. And I'll promise you... How about this? How about this? If we can get to 365 members, so 10 more members, I promise after this stream, regardless of how late it is, could be 10 p.m., could be whatever, I will make sure I get the next episode up so you guys can either watch it tonight or in, in the morning. I've got it, I just need to render it and then upload it. Um, but I'll make sure I do that for the members if we can get another 10 members in the, in the space of this stream. Uh, Tomoe says, get footmen with shields because of the Baron's archers in the future. Ideally, you want tanks hitting. Um, have about two groups of archers or more. Okay, yeah. So we could do that, right? So you think get footmen. Okay, we can do that. Uh, we just need basic shields of them. Um, yeah, and then the, act, the side arms, which is like swords and stuff. Cool. I like that though. A bit of everything. Um, yeah. And then the stable. We'll make the stable a number one priority as well so we don't lose the horse. Can't find a storehouse with excess weapon storage. What? We have plenty. Plenty here. Don't know what we're saying. Can't find still like it was in. They don't have storage here. Maybe yeah. Are you like you are all connected to the road, right? Yeah, you're. Maybe you're not. You guys are right. It tells you if they're not as well. Uh, yeah, I mean we have we have plenty of resources, right? What are we? Yeah, we got a lot of iron ore now. We need more ale, and we are running out. I might actually take another family on the malt house as well. Yeah, new houses as well. So, what what do you think, Finn? Because, as I said, you seem like you really know what you're talking about. Do we just, like, build some, like, mass houses now? Because, like, how much, how many more gardens do we actually need? Like, because I mean, these all have gardens as well. We could put, like, sheep. Because I imagine chickens and sheep don't... Oh, sorry, chickens and goats don't actually matter. So we could do something like this behind. Um, I mean, to be fair, we already have a bit of space for families, but yeah. And that's still, like, not that far away from the market as well. Okay, the berries are back. Cool. Let's, let's get someone on the berries. Harvesting them right away. The animals are coming back as well. Um, our wood is fine. Probably want to move this this as well. And it might not be a bad idea because we are really starting to deforest the area. It might not be a bad idea to actually put down a forester as well. I think food issues will be fine because we do have a lot of like a lot of of, of um, bread and grain. And we have like bees should be harvesting this season as well. So we should be getting a ton of vegetables from these gardens. Like a ton. Yeah, these people still just aren't happy. They're really struggling to get their their goods. I don't really know how. But it also doesn't really seem like it matters too much either. I, I think basically like these houses just have to stay tier one. Like these houses are just tier one forever. I think it's a big mistake to... I think, yeah, I think these ones just always stay tier one because they're so far away from the market access. Firewood. Yeah, okay, cool. So then we, we can get like chickens in each of these, Then We can have three, three sets of chicken coops here and maybe some goats for extra hides because I think hides we are 
Struggling a little bit in because we yeah, we've already like done all of our harvesting. I mean, do you, do you guys think we're ready now to expand? Is the land fertile for vegetables? Does that does that matter? I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's fertile enough. But does that actually matter? Yeah, I, I think that's that's probably right as well. So Welsh makes a really good point. He says the houses closest to the market are obviously nabbing all the good food so they can't make its way out to the, the further areas, which I think makes sense. Yeah, and chickens and goats don't matter. So yeah, cool. Let's make all these into maybe like two chickens and some goats. Um, and this is being upgraded as well. How are we doing on the farms out of interest? Not very good. I mean, we are trying to do four fucking farms for some reason. We have... Yeah, we only have two families here as well. Okay, we need more people farming because it's already March. Um, it's already March. So let's get off the bloomery for now. Get farming. Um, we need someone there. Probably one less on the storehouse, honestly. Uh, and one less on the granary. It's farming time, boys. And then, like, more houses. Like, yeah, okay. Cool. So, that, that's the plan, then. So, I think we've got the plan sorted for this area. Also, delete the middle road between the main market and the granary and build a bigger marketplace there. So, you're telling me uh, to do this. And then just have all of this into a marketplace. Like, around the granary. Kind of cool. I had it there. Oh, can I? I want to get it like around like there. Can I get it to like go? I can't get it to like shift through that. I mean, we could even delete this road as well. I have one like that. I mean, it makes me want to move the granary now as well, you know? That's a bit more space. Uh, cool. And we build them. More houses. More family. But lots of families now on the farming. Stable is now done as well. Which is good. So that's sorted out our issues there. Yeah, we're going hard on the farming now. The tailor shop is now done. And we set that up as well. Good. What happens if I delete the the if I delete the marketplace and then rebuild it? Will it get rid of all these farms? Let's try that actually. Um, so let's drop a save because I wouldn't mind like delete. Let, what happens if we delete like both of these? We might just have to reload honestly, but it's a good test, right, to see. Oh, it does get rid of everything. Okay, yeah, we definitely do not want to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's how you that's how you lose your family. I think it would be really nice to have a system where you can expand stuff. You know. Expand a house, expand a, you know, whatever. Because, yeah, like, I would like to expand this market as well. But instead, I have to, like, build a new one. Oh, it was before this. Did I, I swear I made a save. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It was good to check it, though, right? It was good to check it. There we go. Uh, we're making our swords. Yeah, I mean, this militia is already up as well. And we're just, we're missing equipment still, but we're building up nicely. We actually have up to 22 people in this unit as well. Okay, well, I think it is time to expand. Like, I think it's time to claim some more land. 
Um, what other territory do you think we need? Like, I guess this one for like, the, I think we go up maybe for the berries and the, the store, the stone. There are two things like I could do with, like we need the dyes basically with that. So what do you guys think? Do we go north or do we go west? East even, God. <laughs> east, east. <laughs> Uh, berries are now being pumped right. Yeah. Berries are getting got now, which is good, but we need them for dyes mainly. I think berries, honestly, like the berries I think are way more important because we need the dyes. Yeah. I, I think the dyes are what's like really not holding us back, but like that's a resource we just desperately need. It is a longer border, though, so it is going to be harder to defend that in the north, but I think it's fine. So let's do it. Let's hit that claim button. Uh, press claim towards the region. Uh, so we are now claiming it. We'll see if anybody does anything about it. But we will try and claim it. It'll take time there. You can see it on the left. I mean, our army is decent, right? We have 12 retinue. We're maxed out on our retinue for now uh, until we build some more posts, which is good. We can upgrade them. Um, so let's maybe, let's maybe upgrade... Um, did I not, um, did I not, oh, there Thin is, yeah, oh, because he's got better good, yeah. Um, so let's maybe upgrade, like, um, oh, Raphael can't, because he's a two-hander. I know he can, yeah. Upgrade Raphael. Yeah, that's all that's all of our money now. But yeah, I mean we have 12 very good militia now. They're heavily armored knights and ready to scrap. Five people on the fields, because I want to get these fields done. Um before basically before April is, is up. We have the barley being done, which again is actually pretty important. A new bandit camp is sighted over here. That's immediately when we go clear. I don't even sit back, I just I just rally the I rally the banners and we go deal with that like immediately. Uh, yo, how's, he, how's it going? We're playing Mana Lords right now. It's a new coming like medieval city builder with uh, with RTS battle elements. None of these houses are getting their goods. It's fine. We'll get more eggs. Vegetables should be coming in thick and fast soon as well. Men at arms. Okay, men at arms. I take that back. Uh, and we actually need more houses, which we're building. Yeah, we have no problem with the approval rate, though. And also, another brewery would be a really good idea as well. I'd love another brewery. I'm going to upgrade these guys as well. Yeah, I honestly would not mind another brewery in one of these towns. So this, we might upgrade this to a brewery, level 2, and then brewery up. Oh, this could be our first tier 3 home as well. We have a couple more. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. My first tier 3, so I want to see what it looks like. It could be a really... It could be the death of me, because now they'll need those of stuff and tank my approval. But, we'll see. Let's have a nice little close-up as well. Uh, oh, they have a banner! They have a... Oh, my God, it has my banner on it! They have the Jackie Fish banner! The boys! That is dope. Is that because they're, they're like maxed out or something? Oh, that is cool. They're, they're heavily armored boys as well. We're going to rip through the, these bandits. That is super cool. you love to see it, man. That is really nice. Yeah, no, good rain for all these vegetables. Get them growing, boys. We still have room for like a bunch more gardens here. If we wanted to do, we could literally do this other side as well, you know? We literally could have like some massive. We could have like another bunch of more gardens. 
<laughs> and we wanted more vegetables. Might not be a bad idea. We'll see how much yield we get from this, but it should be a lot, right? We should end up like stocking up massively on this. Okay, so always upgrade to tier 3 where we can. Okay. What extra requirements does tier 3 have? I guess we'll find out in a second, but yeah, I'm curious on that. Yeah, we have so much, uh, we have so much clothing now. What do we have like a crazy excess of as well? So, shields, we're making up, we've got a lot, oh my god, we have so many war bows. Like, we can't like sell them fast enough, right? We are selling them. Yeah, like, I can't sell these war, oh, because I was on this, sorry, yeah, there you go. I mean, I still have so many extra. Uh, is there other blacksmith as well? What's he making? Yeah, he's making swords. I mean, our other blacksmith is also... Yeah, he's making pole arms. It'd be cool to have a pole arm unit as well. I guess it's actually fine, though, because we are going to probably upgrade to have an extra... Um, an extra unit of arch. Like, we're going to go up to two archers at some point, right? So, it makes sense. Um, let's get, like, here and just rest. We have plenty of housing now. We have 40 houses. How the field's coming along. It's April. I said I wanted to be done by April. We're getting there. Uh, I think we actually honestly need to leave another family here as well. Like, we need to literally put so many families there. There's nowhere else that can have an upgraded garden, right, either. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. The tier threes are good. Yeah, the tier threes are, are really nice. Look at that. God, it looks so much nicer than everything else that we have, right? But yeah, I think that is like a big thing. I, I've mentioned it a few times, but yeah, I think it's a, it's a really big thing to have like your your veggie plots set up a decently away from your village because your veggie plots are generally always going to stay at tier one houses for the most part. Obviously, the extra family help, but it doesn't really make that big of a difference. And like the more houses is fine. So I think, yeah, I think having like the veggie plots a little bit further away, obviously in the early game, you can't, you just have to kind of go with it. But I think having these out here is nice, even though they are kind of tanking my approval a little bit. But when we get enough, when we get the veggies in from our first harvest, we'll be good, I think. And we'll have six families here all freed up momentarily. Yeah, I just hope that they can sow enough. Oh my God, they've already rallied. Oh my God, they're already fighting me. What the hell? Oh my god, I'm exhausted as well. Oh my god. I didn't I didn't think they would aggro from there. They were like over here. Oh my god, I literally lost the night because of that. Who died? Oh no. Which one of you guys died? And we have to go bury these bodies as well. Oh my I didn't think they would aggro from there. I mean it's comp Oh my god, the banner carrier! No! You brave, sweet summer child! No! <sighs> Oh, uh, F's in the chat, boys. Because they're exhausted. That's why they lost. Oh, man. I thought they wouldn't aggro. That's like quite a distance. Oh, my bad. Yeah, build some more houses. We can do that, for sure. We can we can build some more houses. I mean, once these are built, yeah, we, our next, like, kind of plot can be, yeah, by the fields, maybe. Maybe build just some, like, houses here. Like that, you know? That could be, like, our next little build. Something like that, you know? Have some houses next to the fields, yeah. Oh, man. I can't believe them bandits got it. It's because we were exhausted. I just honestly didn't think they would aggro from there. I fail so you guys don't have to, you know. We're about to claim this as well, which will be good. Our bread's still popping off. Yeah, okay. It's about, I think April's about to end now as well. We claimed that region in the north. Good, good, good. And we also claimed this town. So when you guys get back, we're going to have to re-recruit. I wonder who died, you know. Uh, nearest town? Yeah, this is nearest town. We need the wealth to help out. 
in the north, I think. And then this is now claimed. So up here in the north, we need to build a worker camp, right? Yeah, a settler's camp. Uh, the berries are down here in the south. So I guess we like build up here, right? Oh, we don't have enough gold. Oh my god, we have enough gold. We need gold for this. Fuck. Yeah, it says it right there. Okay. I mean, we own this region, right? Because, yeah, if we go up here, it literally there's nobody here. So this is the only way. Place in the empty territory to claim in order to settle. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll open the rest of the and see who dies once these guys are back. Once they're back, we will. It hasn't... It hasn't jumped up about burying the dead yet either, so I'm gonna leave someone off of that job for now. A wall is coming in. I'm interested. Do we have any flax left? Yeah, we actually do have flax left as well. Amazing. Cool. Can't believe I lost a man. A brave... A brave warrior of Jackie Fish fell that day. Oh, God, we need die as well. God damn it. I need families. Uh, yeah, we'll go down one more because I need a family to build. So actually what we'll do is we'll go... Oh, no. Let me do that. Yeah, we'll do that so that the family building can go work on it and then we'll do that, yeah. Yeah, I should have taken the money, but I didn't realize. So then I guess... No, I want to keep on growing, though. I was going to say, we could put some tax on the people. But then that really reduces our income. And I kind of I think I need more people still, you know? Because I think at this point... Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not, I'm not going to tax for now. Because I, I think at this point, we kind of have every building down, right? Like, right now, we're just kind of... We're just kind of, like, waiting, almost. Um, You know, there's, there's some buildings that I'd love to work, but I can't right now. We just don't have families. And we have a lot, like, as soon as the fields are done and they're growing, we have a lot more families to then put in. But yeah, I think I think I continue. I'm going to at least get to maybe, like, 40-something. We, we, we've got a lot of money here as well now. Yeah, we're still trading uh, pretty crazily. Selling weapons, shields, and everything else. Our army is looking good. I can't believe they died. You brave, brave soldiers. Yeah, lots of clay, lots of iron. Dude, a lot of iron. A lot of iron. We do need someone in the bloomery as well, pretty badly. But we need to keep on building, so. Now we need to actually... Yeah. Okay. Now we actually need that as well. Farmhouse. Go down a little bit. Um, do we put someone... I guess we'll put someone in the corpse pit to go and collect them bodies. They're back. Here they are. I like to think the soldier who died... Um... I, I, I can't remember who died. Squiddy's still here. Josh is still here. Finn, Favor. Was there someone I just named? Mathis is still here. Heinz is still here. Yeah, I don't know off the top of my head who actually died. I feel like a lot of these names are... are, are I'm like, yeah, I remember those. We're now sowing the fields, which is good. That's about to be fully harvested. That's fully sowed. Uh, we could probably honestly force harvest this barley as well. Oh, yeah, Thomas. There was one called Thomas. And he was the one person I wasn't sure who was... Um... Oh, my God, look at that. That looks amazing. Wow. That looks so cool. And we just need loads of food. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. 
with their goddamn goats, man. <laughs> yeah, Tommy, the guy, the one, yeah, so the one guy I was saving actually died. So that's actually perfect. I wasn't sure if he was a, a boy or not. So that's going to be fully sowed, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, all of these should be pretty well off uh, for the crop growth, you know? And I'm going to probably actually force harvest this as well, the barley, because it's... Yeah, it's not growing, right? Yeah, I don't think it is. It is. Yeah, all of our sheep are here as well, which is good. Could buy some more if we want to, but I feel like that's a good amount of wool. For... Yeah, we've got so much yarn. Charcoal's okay. Food is a bit of a problem still, but not the end of the world. We have someone on the corpse, right? So this is a grave digger, right? People collecting bodies. Yeah, cool. So they're going off to collect them bodies now. And yeah, now we just now we just need So actually honestly we, we want bandit camps to to pick up so we can go and kill them. Really? Cause we need money now, but I don't want to ruin my approval yet. Still enough grain to keep on cooking. Yeah, let's keep that up then. So that field's fully plowed as well. Got our tier three, and we got a new family as well. Moved into it. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're actually out of barley. So let's force harvest this as well now. Yeah, let's just force harvest this and clear the field. Am I still, uh, am I still purchasing barley? I am, right? Yeah, I'm still trying to purchase barley wherever I can. I have force harvest where? On here. Thank you for reminding me. Let's turn that off. Let's just double check everywhere. I feel like every year, like when the year goes, it should like re-tick it if that makes sense. Can't believe that banner. I was so excited for that banner. And he went and died. So sad. Right, so these houses are now done. Uh, we will upgrade this with chickens, I guess. We'll go chickens, chickens, goats. Chickens, chickens, goats. Cool. Uh, did our livestock... Yeah, I wouldn't mind buying some more sheep as well. Cool. A bit more barley now with that. Okay, and then just fell over this field. I mean, to be fair, it'd be a, not a bad wheat field, but yeah, we'll fellow it this season. We're getting flax here, and we're getting more barley there. We're getting flax here, and we're getting... Yeah, okay, cool. We'll leave that field for now just to fellow. Cool. And we're going to be able to get rid of, like, we're going to have a bunch more families soon as well. Lumi doesn't have anybody. We still have, like, a bunch of families on our fuel as well. We kind of need it, though. Yeah, we still have two people on the, the Woodcutters Lodge, but, you know, that's just, it's just it's such a deceptive thing. You just kind of get more workers, and you just keep on putting them elsewhere, but you do kind of need them on, like, other places. Like, you do like you do need this many people on Woodcutting. Like, we've quadrupled the size of our village. Yeah, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to upgrade a few of these as well. So let's upgrade you guys now. Oh, and this can actually have a garden as well. Maybe we make this into another brewery. Are there any other buildings besides houses and granaries, storages, and churches that you can upgrade? Like, am I missing out on any other thing I want to be upgrading? I don't think so, right? Yeah, that's going to help out of our barley situation. We still have enough flax and linen for now. We have... We don't have anybody making gambesons, though. But we don't really have an excess of cloves to, to worry about that, yeah. Probably mainly because of the dyes. Is there any way for me to, like, stop using, like, food variety? I don't want people using the berries to eat. Is there a way for me to, like, turn that off? Like, turning off berries here, would that stop people eating them? Because then that way they'd directly go to the the diary from the, from the place up here. Because rather people not eat them. Okay, we have lots of iron now. We could probably go down on iron. 
Mm, it's probably worth sticking another family on here, start making some iron slabs so we can sell more of the weapons. Uh, and then we need we need two more tier, higher tiers. So I'll probably make this. We don't have planks now. Uh, it's never ending, is it? Yeah, we're out of planks now, probably because we're using so many weapons. Let's maybe take a second family on this now. That's just sewing my field seal. Are we out of flour now? I think we're actually out of grain now as well. Yeah, cool. So that family can come off that now as well. Maybe set a food reserve? Is Can you do that? Is there a way to do that? I think there is, right? Or is it over here? No, not here. Over here? No? Yeah, I don't think you can with that. I don't think you can, Edward. Because I know, like, obviously on some of the things you can, like, set fuel, like, construction reserves and stuff like that, which is obviously a good idea. Okay, yeah, we do just need planks. We are starting to sell a lot of our war bows, though, now as well. Um, so, yeah, let's take another family on our saw pit. That should, I don't know if that actually speeds up, but it should, right? Take the family off the corpse pit as well. Yep, yeah, good job. Can we see them in there? I wonder what they do in the corpse pit on their time off. You brave, brave children, man. So we have four families now. Uh, we have a bunch of families there as well. Okay. So, okay, cool. So we have a few things to do then. Let's maybe take another family on storehouse just to kind of help out a little bit. Um, farming is going to be completely done soon as well. So we're going to have a bunch of families free. Don't need anyone, anyone on the windmill. Uh, we might just stock up on some fuel as well. So I might just go... Uh, another one of the charcoal. Gonna want to probably move this as well. Relocate our. It's getting kind of far out now as well. I, I guess we could start on this other side. Yeah, let's start on this forest. Why not? Then, then this, at least this is like kind of close to us as well. Let's move that, and we'll make that a number one priority as well. Um, all these houses are done now as well. So we'll go. Was it chicken, chicken, goats? Right, chicken, chicken. Goats. Two families on the saw pick. We need planks desperately. I might even, honestly. How are we looking on our militia? Yeah, these guys, these guys are almost fully stocked as well, man. Oh my god, what happened to these guys? Recruits missing. Oh, they probably spread, didn't they? Yeah, we're just missing recruits. Okay. Let's stop with the bows for now for planks. I might stop with the shields, just so we can upgrade to some more tier 3. So I'd love another development point. And then we can get the basic armory. And then we can start getting some armor. Which then means we actually don't probably need the gambersons, right? Because we can go to male armor for our militia. Yeah, let's do that. Right, that sounds like a good plan of action. And you guys automatically... You guys don't... Yeah, you guys take an ox then, for sure. And you guys already have an ox as well, yeah. So we'll make sure we get rid of that. Making dyes again, which will help with cloves. So much yarn. And this field is about to be sewed. Nice, cool. I think that's all. Yeah, I think it's all good. Uh, we have... God, we are filling up so fast as well. We literally need more houses, man. Which is, again, a bit scary because, you know, food, food isn't amazing. We might actually... Yeah, there's just so much we need. I need, like... I need the armory, obviously, but I also feel like I need, like, the honey, the beekeeping. How many more development points can I get in this town? <laughs> we also need taxes. Um, okay, cool. Let's make, let's make a few more houses then. Like that. Cool. Three more houses by here. Um, yeah, let's do that. Three more houses there would be good. This is obviously number one priority, so we start getting some wood up and running again. The berries are still growing, which is beautiful. Wouldn't it be a bad idea as well to get some herbs, I imagine, going? Start selling that. You're now producing slabs again, which will be good for weapons. 
we are just obviously in need of planks. I think the only thing taking planks now is going to be our joiner, which we've just paused, right? But it does also take a little bit to produce weapons as well, right? Oh no, just sidearms are just pure slabs. Okay, good. And we're making just sidearms as well. Cool. Uh, what's happened that I missed? Uh, so, yeah, tons of stuff. We basically expanded our village massively, right? The village is huge now, which is awesome. Um, we've got our first tier 3 building that you guys can see right there. Uh, we've sorted out a lot of our problems and really expanded upon them. Um, I'm very tempted as well uh, to build like a, just, just basically another free... Um, yeah, I'm very tempted just to go boom, 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 and just build another like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vegetable plots, you know? Build some small houses. But, but why? Why would I build small houses where I could have families making me food? Like, just for space? Like, what, what is the benefit to building small houses, really? Like, just space or, or what? Uh, did I disband? I did disband the boys as well, right? Yeah, I did. God, it's going to look good when we have just two squads of infantry ready to pop off. We did all the... We, oh, God, we did all of this, right? Yeah, we're fellowing back now. And then we'll go to wheat tier, I guess? Um, you're doing barley. And to be fair, you could wheat here. Hello. This goes to... This goes to wheat as well. You're... You go to barley. And then you... Go to flax, yeah? Boom. Cool, nice. I think we have enough families as well to really, like, pop off here as well. Um, we built this as well. So let's maybe get some more sheep as well. We have the wealth to do so. So let's maybe go up to like, I don't know, 12. Let's import some. Why not? Um, a new horse. Yeah, I guess we'll get a horse here for a trading post. Uh, after placing the live stop merchant, we'll come doing it. Yeah, why not? Let's get one. Why not? We have the money. Yeah, like why, why would I build a small house over... You know, anything else. Logging camp is up. Cool. We'll get two families on the logging again. We need a few more tiles. And then... I don't know what to make this. Do we make this... In, oh, we're going to make this into a brewery, right? But let's upgrade it to tier 3 first. Why not? No, we have the barley, man. <laughs> we need beer. We have 7 ale... 6 ale in stockpile, but yeah. Forty-one families now. Beautiful man. I love to see it. Five oxes as well. Uh, so we probably also don't need the ox dedicated here. Oh, all you guys get off this now. What the hell am I doing? We'll leave one on here because he's doing farming. Why not? Help transfer some stuff. Um, we have two there. Small houses are nice space plus worker prioritize actual worker instead of own farms. And they have more. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'll build three, these three houses then. Um, and then. I don't want to like overclump this too much. And then we'll go like something. I don't know, just like. Yeah, as, as, as you said, we'll just go like some basic houses then. So I'll build these three with farms. And that, I guess that'll be the last couple farms we built for a while. Uh, sorry, the big houses. And then we'll really focus in on everything else. And yeah, I'll build some small ones just for space. Uh, pretty awesome would be a bad idea to build a little bit of a market out here as well. That was that. Oh, that's a pasture. What am I doing? <laughs> Building a pasture out here. No. Yeah, it might be a bad idea to build a bit of a marketplace out here. Oh, we could just build some houses in here as well. But yeah, building a market out this way would not be a bad idea. Yeah, small houses. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out. We'll figure out when we need it. Also, small ones look nice with high tiers. Yeah, because what we can they like all join next to each other. 
Yeah, I can imagine. Um, these guys can't upgrade yet. They just need more planks, yeah. We'll focus on upgrading this house, though, for sure. Oh, is this house not even connected? This house isn't even connected. Here you go. These ones are almost done as well, yeah. And then yeah, we should have so much like chicken, eggs, and stuff coming in, but our food situation this year should be really good. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And then the wild animals are coming back. Yeah, we just need the bandit camp. I mean, I, I probably just should start taxing now, you know. Yeah, let's start taxing now as well, because I want to expand. And the longer we wait, the worse it's going to be. Like, I'm kind of just waiting for someone else to pop off. And honestly, with a tax, we're even, our approval is 85, right? So even with tax, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, extra living spaces as well, you're right. Uh, you can see here, right? And it'll have a plus sign anywhere we can do that. Oh, yeah, here, sorry. Uh, so we might as well do that now, why not? Yeah, then we can just start upgrading places uh, if we want to. The tier twos. And we're done over here. Again, these don't have any ha families right now, but they will. We're up to 42 families now. Insane approval gonna be good i think i think now we're gonna hopefully have enough people to do all of our farming for us realistically we got our horse as well yeah, you're still trading for barley our war bows are still being sold our shields are still being sold um shoes are being sold which is good we're selling yet yeah, all our so extra so so uh is that yeah okay cool um What else do I have that is consuming planks right now? Leather, leather. Uh, don't tax yet. Upgrade more retinue space um, and use coin from the same. Don't upgrade yet. Uh, don't sorry. Don't tax yet. Upgrade for more retinue space and use the coin from the same tax season. I don't know what tax season means, Finn. But, like, the only way I can upgrade my retinue is by taxing to get the money. There's no more bandit camps for me to raid, so the only way I'm going to get um, treasury is by taxing, right? Um, and we, we, we want to get up so we can make an armory so we can start selling that for regional wealth. And to do that, I need more planks. Yeah, I don't know what else is using it, because the joiner's stopping, tailor's stopping, so we should just have a constant influx of planks, but... I feel like I'm struggling. Yeah, how's it going, Squid? Welcome, my man. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you in the chat. Hope you've been well. I feel like there's no real negative to tax at the moment. Like, even even with the 7 debuff, we get 10% tax, and then these people are still happy. Like, we still get the max pop growth, because it goes down to basically 80% still. So we're still getting, like, crazy pop growth. Oh god, we can upgrade, we can upgrade. God damn it. Finish this so we can upgrade. Uh, this could upgrade to tier 3. Let's do it. Why not? Uh, go to your taxes and set the tax limit to 99 99%. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> we, we just do that. 
<laughs> yeah, don't worry, it's only minus 68. Uh, that's funny. Maximum taxation. Hey, the peasants are here to produce me stuff, okay? So. The peasants yearn. The peasants yearn for, to pay me taxes, okay? Are we out of bread now as well? No, we have plenty of flour. Why are you guys not making bread? I guess we're just, yeah. I guess we're expanding so quickly. It's kind of a bit deceptive. It'll get better though. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to cheat, Edward. It's fine. I understand that maybe there's a there's a bug where you can just get loads of money, and it's fine. But I'd rather not, honestly. If like I don't. I don't want to abuse a, a game mechanic that's clearly broken. If you just stay in there. Like I yeah, I'm good. We could maybe start selling some yarn, you know? Can we export that? We've quite a lot. Yarn. Does it sell for much? Probably not. Uh, four isn't bad. We also have five spare families now. Okay, well, let's start getting on the clay furnace. Uh, we've got one on the bloomery. Do we actually have like a blacksmith blacksmith down? Oven stable. Well, I think what I might do then is I might I might tax if there are negative things that come up um, because I'm taxing. I might wait then. Sorry, I might get to, I might tax for two more months and then we'll stop. Um, yeah, or we'll tax for two more months then because I need I want I want to start getting this second settlement on the go. And we need 250 gold to do that. So a chain reaction. I think it's fine for now, you know. Like I think it's fine. Like I think I think the main debuff is you obviously get all get you start losing a lot of your um. You start um you know, obviously you get a bunch of negative effects from it because you're you're not going to be growing as quickly, and obviously the more people you have, the more stuff you can do. But I think honestly it's fine, you know. Like I think it's fine. Like, I, I, we'll, we'll tax for two months. So we're getting 90 a turn. That's what... Uh, we'll get to 270 gold. That'll give us more than enough, and then we'll stop taxing. We don't need any influence. We've got plenty of influence still. If you tax 1%, I don't think there's any negatives. Yeah, probably not. But, I mean, 10% is fine. 10% is fine. We're still well, well off. As soon as we get our bonuses, we'll be good. So that, that, that should be a decent amount of stuff there as well. The dyes are popping off. Good, good, good. Flowers fine. Storage is fine there. Uh, yeah, fuel is a little bit like of an iffy subject. We're making planks now again. Jackie, check if the new region is fertile. If it could be free production, this would be production provide. Um, sorry, let me move that properly. Could be food province. I yeah, I mean. It would be a bad idea. I don't think. I think this region isn't fertile. Yeah, this region isn't very fertile at all. Yeah, I could do rye, but that's not what we want to go down to. This region is mainly here for like the stone and the berries, so I can make a lot of dye. <laughs> what is your purpose to make me dyes? That's it. Uh, I mean, we we can still make fields and we can fertilize them. Still, like, don't. But you can still turn unfertile ground into fertilized ground. So. That's not the end of the world, but yeah, we mainly need to buy berries from them. I actually don't know how the trading resources from regions work either, so it'll be fun to kind of explore that together. Um. Cool. Yeah, okay. So I think our, our last little bit, you guys said you really wanted to see some like lower tier housing, so we'll do something like that then. Um... Yeah, it's like three houses. One has a small garden for like some goats or something. 
We'll do something like that, I think. Uh, and then over here, we are looking to upgrade. So cool. And then we just need one more. Uh, what are we lacking? We're lacking fuel. Yeah, okay. You can fertilize the ground. Yeah, it's called taking a dump in the fields. I'm going to order all, all 140 of my, my village here to go to the village next uh, one over and just take a big old poop on the ground. <laughs> nice. Uh, these are upgrading. Yeah, that's going to be our main focus now is just like upgrading to tier 3. When does the game come out? Yeah, how's it going? Okay, dear man. Good to see you in the chat. Uh, comes out not this Friday, but next Friday. So, like, 10 days? You are here to field my industry, of course. It's the Rick and Morty sketch, right? Uh, nice. These pastures are really far up as well. So, yeah, we'll be... Look how much yarn we have. We have yarn coming out of our... Well, you know what? And we use the yarn for the clothes. Three months left of food. Yeah, so it's, it's three months left of food, and that makes it look it makes it look scarier than it actually is, you know? Because you're like, oh my god, only three months worth of food? Oh no! But it's like you're constantly gaining food in. So it's like if we were to stop all production of food right now, we'd have three months left. But we're not, you know. We're constantly getting our vegetables in. We're making bread. We're picking berries. We're hunting deer. So it's kind of like a perpetual. We're we're constantly, you know, sitting at that. So it is fine. And we're about to go up. So what do we get next? Um, I guess the armor, right? But also, like, I feel like beekeeping would be good as well. What What do you guys think? Armor to sell? Like, considering we have, you know, 600 regional wealth, like, we're looking pretty good. Obviously, more would be better. And the armor, better armor would be, be like, we'd want to obviously take on, try and clear out the Baron's forces soon as well. Not soon, but soonish, I guess. We, I guess we'd want a full army, but still, we're getting there. Um, so yeah, do we go for the armorer or bees <laughs> or bees, <laughs> not the bees. You guys all think armorer? Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine then. We'll go with the armorer. We'll go with the armorer then. One thing I think would be a great addition uh, to the UI of the game is having like a, a picture on on here showing what they're producing you know because like i for like at a quick glance it's kind of hard to know exactly where my joiner is and where my blacksmith is and where my cobbler is and my tailor etc so it'd be really nice to be able to press tab and just like see a little icon on 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 the, the house like ui to be like oh yeah this is what they produce and you're like oh, okay cool they're over there you know like oh oh there he is you know instead of having to like click around that'd be nice Bees for the second town? Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, to be fair, we can do that as well. We can... Yeah, let's make this into an armor event. And then, this, then we'll make this into a bit of a like a food province. And we'll upgrade them to have bees and, and other things. And then we'll just have to import it back. I don't know how effective that's going to be. But I think that's what we'll do. Our clay deposit is running a bit low as well here. Cool. So there, that's another house built right there as well. God, look at these little... You're like, these people are living the goddamn dream here in their huge house. And these guys are just peasants in their tier ones. Yeah, we, we need planks badly. Get the other trade buff? What is it? This one? The, the fire cart and food cart? Yeah, that would actually be really good as well. God, I want all of these, man. How many more levels of a village can I go? Is it infinite or... Are we going to hit a wall soon of like, we only get so many development points? Because, yeah, that'd be really nice. A permanent market store, which provides passive income of firewood and food. Um, Yeah, that would not be bad at all. But we'd obviously need money. But if we're making loads of money from the armory, it's actually really good. And then this one is remove the tariff from uh, foreign imports. Reduce all importing price by 10. Oh my God, that's good. That'd be so good. Wow. Yeah, the trade ones are amazing. Because then you could basically just import food for like two regional wealth. Yeah, you'd basically be able to import planks for 10. And you'd be able to import barley, like all for all this for 10. 
all this, sorry, all this for two. Yeah, basically this makes everything cost two. That's really good. Holy, that's insane. That might be a little bit too OP. No? <laughs> that might be a little bit too OP. Maybe not, though, because, like, you don't say you make loads of money. How are fields looking? Still growing. Still growing. But that's not a bad harvest. Like, the, the, the wheat could be better, but, yeah, it's fine. And boom. Okay, so the next one, the next one is a medium town. So there's, there's, there's a handful of extra development points. Okay, so what do we do? We go armory, right? Like, this would be incredible right now. The import one was the one you were talking about? Yeah. No, that seems incredible. But we, we probably still go armorer first, right? Like, right now, we're fine for food. But yeah, that seems good. I would love to get infinite mine, a deep mining, just to make our rich deposits infinite as well. But we can probably wait. Uh, yeah, as I said, the bees will be good. But yeah, I think we go armorer first, right? Start making some proper weapons to sell, proper armor to sell and stuff. Are we all, are we all in agreement? As... As members of Jackie Fishland, we're in, we're in agreement. Uh, we're still chopping, right? Yeah, we're still chopping pretty nicely. It might not be a bad idea to get a forester up here as well and replant these trees. Because <laughs> we have kind of demolished it. The berries are almost out as well, which is going to be bad for our dyes. But we've got quite a few, so that's fine. By the way, you only have one upgrade after this? Okay. After this. I mean, I guess we go armor and then better deals here. Yeah, so we go we go armor and then we go better deals. And that's our, that's our lot. I feel like heavy plow is, is, is very important. So I feel like that was a good choice. I guess charcoal burners weren't like the most important you know like i guess i could have not got this but also i would have loved to have got deep mining as well um yeah let's get an armorer a basic armor maker and then we can do is we can make this guy into our basic armorer let's do it which means we're gonna probably need yeah people doing there okay cool so they'll get get on that oh and they'll pump as well because this is a this is a tier three settlement i think with a uh, family upgrade as well, yeah. So they'll pump in that. Nice. We need 10 tier 3s, which we can do quite easily, actually. Um, let's go. Let's start upgrading these to tier 2 as well. Um, and I think maybe destroying that house was a bit silly, you know, when I did it. We'll build one here as well. Yeah, well, I mean, for the most part, Tomo, is, you know, this is a, a city building game, right? You know, the combat, I feel like, is just like a nice little addition to the game. You know, gives you something extra to do whilst you're building, waiting for crops to yield and stuff. You yeah, know, I think all that stuff is nice. But, you know, not a necessity at all. Um, bees don't have families in yet? No, they don't. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think now our next objective is just to you know, get the armory down, which is good. Uh, and just start expanding expanding the plot. You know, start expanding our villages, upgrading these, all these tier 1s to tier 2s. Um, something we are lacking, though, is barley and uh, a lot of stuff here as well. You know, I feel like we still need more stuff in the inn. Yo, fish, how is it going, my man? It's been a little while. How you been? He said, it's your boy drinking the lean flavor gamer subs bought with Jackie Fish's code, my man. Thank you so much for the 33 months, Fish. I really appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, if you guys didn't know, I, uh, the channel is sponsored by Gamersups. You can exclamation mark sups in the chat to get the little pop-up. 
Um, it's a 0% sugar energy drink. It's a great alternative to stuff like coffee, Red Bull, Monster, etc. Um, and I drink it, you know, pretty much every other day. Um, and it tastes great. It's by far the best tasting gamers, gamer drink that I've, um, that I've ever tried. Way less powdery than G Fuel. Better than Sneak as well, in my opinion. Um, and they ship worldwide. Use code JackieFish, save yourself 10%. I appreciate it. Anybody who does want to use my code. Um, but yeah, I hope, you're, I, hope you're looking, I hope you're doing good, Fish. I feel like it's been a while since you've been in the chat, so hopefully everything's been, been, been safe with you. Of course, let's get the armorer built. And as I said, it's a double family as well. So yeah, this plot is having three families in it. Ooh. This one is have this one's gonna have two people working for blacksmith, so we're gonna be pumping armor. What do we need for the armor though, as well? I guess. Oh, we're actually out of wood as well. Did we just build a bunch of houses? Oh, we did build some houses. Yeah, okay. Let's get these tier threes built though. You can see the the village is really coming along as well. It's gonna look good once we have like all of these upgraded to tier three and stuff. There we go. Thank you, Crisis. So yeah, there you go. There's my link. Go check them out. They have some really good flavors. If you have any questions about it, just feel free to DM me on Discord if you're asking like what flavors you want, want or anything along them lines. Honestly, just ask me. More than happy to answer anything. Um, this is a project I really, a product I really enjoy. Okay, so armor. We we just need iron slabs. Wow, and we make helmets. Beautiful stuff. Only iron slabs. Okay, so it's a really easy one, especially in our region. Yeah, man, I, I guess. So, like, if we were to restart this entire campaign in the same area, I guess that's probably one of the first upgrades I would want. Like, I, I think I'd probably still take heavy plow because that just helps me. But then again, like, maybe just go for smaller fields, right? You just go smaller fields. So maybe you don't need heavy plow. I think it does do it really quickly. Uh, but yeah, maybe just do do smaller fields and you just don't harvest as much. Because I feel like I'm not allowing my crops to grow fully anyway fast enough, so yeah. But yeah, grabbing this, like, right away would have been probably the goal. Because we're, we're in a heavy iron region. Or well, at least second, I think, would have been the play. You know? Um, yeah. Food isn't great anymore. We still got plenty of that, though. And we are still people in the oven. Yeah, still people in the oven, which is good. We are running a little bit low on flour. Our flax is coming to an end as well. That's how much, uh, that's how many resources we've been pumping out. Yeah. We're using our clay as well. Our clay's about to run out as well. So we are going to be a bit capped on that as well. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, How much more money? So the month's about to end and then we'll be at 140. There's no more bandit camp spawned as well. Let's just double check anywhere. No, not a single bandit camp on the map, unfortunately. I really want to get this second... Uh... Yeah, I really want to get this second one set up, you know. We have we have someone on the bloomery. Yep, still, that's fine. And yeah, we should, like... Should we make a smithy? I feel like I haven't even made a smithy yet. I feel like that's something quite important. Probably should, right? Make a smithy? Right? Yeah, we don't have one. I still haven't seen, like, what I use tools for, by the way, as well. Like, people are saying it's, like, upgrading buildings, but, like, what buildings? Uh, if you do small... Yeah, so I assume your research points goes to that specific town. But maybe not. Maybe if you upgrade another town, you can, like, pull all your development points into one place. I assume it's not the case, but, yeah. Interesting. How's the game so far compared? Oh, yeah, really good. It's awesome to be playing a medieval city builder, right? Like, most city builders go for, like, Victorian era because that's just, like, chain of production and everything. But, yeah, no, it's re really good. The game, game is really good. Um, I think as long as the game is priced, like, sensibly, like, $40... I think 100% I would say for $40. Um, you know, that I think, yeah, sounds good. I mean, I can't review the game, so I probably can't say that. Um, but yeah, I think $40, this game is a steal. 
Um, and I'm not sure if they've said, but... I'm not, yeah, I think the game will be cheaper in early access than it will be when it fully releases. Is something to keep in note. I don't know if they've said, I don't know if they've said that, but I think I read somewhere that they said that. <laughs> Unless I'm just making that up. Uh, fuel's a bit of a problem, so we maybe need three people on our woodcutting uh, now. Yeah, and it's on Game Pass as well. Uh, the game is also on Games Pass. Which is pretty dope. Uh, these are all being upgraded. Yeah, we have lots of upgrades now. Plenty of, yeah, timber is still being done. Nice. Just waiting for our taxes to roll over or more bandits to show up for us to kill. That's literally it, really. And we can start our second village, which I'm really looking forward to. So we need dyes. We need dyes badly. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, most people are happy. We, we kind of lacking ale. Uh, are we buying? Are we buying ale? We are, right? Yeah, we're still buying barley. And I think that's what we do with our last. So once we get 10 more tier 3 buildings, which is what we're going to be working towards now, it's going to be our main focus. Um, I think our last upgrade is probably going to be better deals, honestly. I feel like that's just so good. Even though this extra armor would be really nice. Yeah, I think the better deals would be juicy. It just means we can import stuff like barley. We can import all that stuff really nicely. Uh, I mean, to be fair, fertility. I mean, all of this stuff is really fertile, so maybe we could just make another field, you know? We could just make some more fields back here. Expand out the farm a little bit. For, like, more barley production. Like, all of this is green. Yeah, no, I think you'll definitely enjoy this enjoy this game for sure. Um, if you're into city building, um, then yeah, this is a must. I heard that Frost, Frostpunk 2 is supposed to be having a beta as well. Uh, apparently, it's supposed to be really good as well. Um, I've heard like very positive things from people who have been playing the uh, the like the, the release before, you know, before it comes out the beta. I've heard really really good things about it. How's our, how's our stalls looking as well now? Uh, food variety is down again. Yeah, okay. Clothing, clothing's amazing. Yes, this food is still our issue. Uh, can we be allowed to see the other city? How do you mean, Peter? Uh, we haven't built it yet. So there's there's no AI building on the map, if that's what you mean. Yeah, there's no AI, no, no AI building. Um, I'm not sure if that's planned for the game. I actually don't know. Um, but yeah, at the moment, he, the, the AI is currently like an off-map person who comes in and, and deals with us, you know. Yeah, Lyric's playing it right now. Nice. How How is it? Like, as I said, I've heard really good things about it. But it's like just like a beta version, right, for like a couple months and it comes out in July. You don't think that the research is specific for one city? Well, hopefully that is the case, because that'd be really good. I could just like buff up my main city. <laughs> Come on, we need our taxes, man. When did taxes come in out of interest? Does it say? Hmm. I heard you're in the granary market house to put fast food on the market. You need animals in the granary? You can camp animals in the granary, right? Yeah, you can't. We should probably upgrade it, though, just to, like, have a bigger a granary. Like, just have a bigger one. Like, maybe that will help a little bit as well. Uh, cool. So, all the berries are gone now as well. So, let's get the person off the berries again. And he can go back to hunting uh, once more. Yeah, uh, and then we're gonna be we're gonna be harvesting soonish, twenty seven days ish to be harvesting. Nothing's on false harvest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have a big harvest, so a lot more people are gonna be back soon. Yeah, the beta. Nice. I'll I'll probably pre order the game and go check it out then. Um, because yeah, we're running very low. We're actually gonna be out of flax, but then we're gonna get so much more back. Okay, cool.
Uh, up to 45 families now as well. Okay, one more, one more month and then we should have enough. Uh, oh, yeah. How's our armory doing as well? Our army, I assume, is producing weapons. Uh, armor, right? Yeah. Nice. Um, I, I guess a lot of the helmets just go onto our boys, right? So the person working in the armory or the family's working in the armory. Are just going to be, you know, just working away. Um, and producing them for everybody else. Like if we hover over them. Yeah, so, so, so these guys are starting to get helmets. Okay, cool. So ideally, we might actually want just another blacksmith, you know? Do we have any spare houses that um, currently... These are all tier 2 now as well, which is good. Um, what I might do then is for one of our tailors... What do we have a lot of excess uh, equipment on here? We have a lot of shoes still. Yeah. Uh, we kind of need one more tailor, so we have another tailor making gambesons. Uh, can you guys... Oh, you guys are all chickens and goats and stuff, right? Yeah, and goats. Okay. Yeah, we kind of we kind of need one more... One more tailor so we can make gambesons for everybody. And we kind of need... Yeah, like another armorer. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. What about the smithy? We have the smithy building. But as I said, it produces tools, and I have no idea what tools actually do. No one's told me... Uh, what tools... Like, people say, oh, yeah, you should get tools. But I actually have no idea what they actually do. Uh, we are, we are like, yeah, winter is going to be interesting for sure. When can you buy it? The game, um, the game comes out in 10, 11 days. 11 days, 12 days, 11 days. So, like, I'm building this movie now. But, yeah, as I said, I don't actually know... Exactly what they do. We can probably stop producing this clay now. Like, we have plenty of clay tiles for now. Um, so maybe putting, putting two people on the bloomery. The oven's fine. We have our stable there. I think it builds three items and you choose a production. The smithy? No. Or may maybe now we can use the smithy to produce helmets. Now that I have the tech? Maybe. How's our crop yield? Yeah, crops looking okay now. Uh, we have so many, yeah, so many sheep now. Probably don't need this many sheep, to be honest. I have 13. So we're actually going to be selling a sheep. Nice. Do you think the game will be moddable? I doubt it in early access, but yeah, this game has, a, like, as long as they give good mod tools. I, as, does anyone know if the, the dev said that this is going to be, like, obviously the focus is the game, right? But have they spoken? Um, have they spoken about, you know, if they're planning a lot of mod stuff? I imagine they've probably said something along the lines of, yes, we would love to uh, give out mod tools, but the main priority is getting the game correct first. I imagine that's, like, what what was said. But yeah, no, I mean, imagine if they had in some lots of mod stuff, that'd be, uh, yeah, really, really cool. Like, different, like, building errors and improving military stuff. Yeah, I, I imagine they'd do some really cool stuff with it. Um, yeah, I know that, but can you buy it the day before or on the day? It'll probably be on the day because it's going into early access. It's not like a pre-order thing. Uh, you, you can't pre-order an early access game. So it'll be the day of, uh, I would imagine. Iron slabs are popping off. We have three families still left remaining. Is there much building? Yeah, I mean, they are moving stuff, which I guess is important. Lots of people making fuel now. Yeah, we need a lot of people making fuel. We should have two people here as well. The smithy is now done. Yeah, no, it is just tools. <laughs> yeah, Lord of the Rings skin. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, we're upgrading the granary as well. It's actually quite a big upgrade as well. Wow, yeah, look at that. That goes from... That's a lot of resources to upgrade the granary. Not that we have enough food to, to fill it. <laughs> Let's get that done, then. Yeah, like a row. Oh, my God, a row. But the thing is, like, I think you guys are a bit... Oh, you can have way more people here as well. Interesting. Interesting. 
Always keep an eye out for bandit caps. If we had one more bandit camp on the map, oh, it'd be amazing. Go kill it, get my money. And then set that, set that second town up. I promise you, before we end the stream, we're not ending the stream anytime soon, by the way, but before we do, I will make sure to have our second city on the go. Um, and by the way, for anybody interested, uh, we'll be streaming... Um... Sorry, one second. Um, yeah, so we'll be back live with this campaign on Wednesday. Uh, streaming. And then tomorrow we'll have more Manalords. There's Manalords, Manalords, Manalords. Um... Um, sorry, I had just a bunch of emails I had to just look at quickly. Um, yeah, so we'll back live with this campaign on Wednesday, same time, uh, streaming. Tomorrow we'll have more of the Let's Play. Um, Thursday I might have a break from Mana Lords and do something else. Um, maybe not though, because I'm actually away all weekend. So maybe what we'll do actually is we'll stream Wednesday and Thursday, because I'm away Friday, so I can't stream on Friday. So maybe I'll do a Wednesday-Thursday stream, and then... Tuesday will be Mana Lord Let's Play. Friday, Mana Lord Let's Play. Maybe Saturday, we'll do some Battle Lord. I'll think of a cool idea. Maybe look at some mods and then Sunday more. And then Monday, I'll be back from a stag do. Um, hopefully in one piece. And I will obviously be back streaming. Um, so this is, this is two out of two. That stable, Alex. Uh, where's our other stables? We have a stable here, which is two out of two. Um, we have a stable down here. So yeah, our oxes are actually maxed out right now. We should have six, right? We have three. Oh, one is a horse. Yeah, okay. What are the horses? What are the horses even used for, though? Um, how do you start a new village? Do you just build it? So you have to claim it. So you claim the village with influence, and then you spend the then you spend your treasury, your gold, on building a. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, then you spend your treasury on building a settler's camp. Speaking of, we should probably look to build. There's a building, right? Which you use to trade. Um, like regional. Is it here? Here. We should probably get a pack station. Use this building set up to barter, allowing you to send resources between this and another region. Um... Yeah, we should probably pick one of these up, right? Oh, this is a perfect place for it as well. Yeah. So then we can send we can send stuff from this region to go and supply the other one. So let's do it. Bring back your Hover Butcher. Good times, eh? Good times. Uh, we're hunting again. Yeah, we're hunting again, which is good. Uh, we have enough families for now. Oh my god, our food, man. Why is our, I mean, we're about to harvest, but our food is a bit scary. Um, I guess we're going to have to just import. We have, like, no money. What are we importing right now? Just barley. Yeah, keeping up with the barley supply is bad. Um, yeah, everything is just really expensive right now. I mean, we're selling, we're selling weapons. We're selling shields really the only extra thing I have. I mean, it should be fine because we're going to get wheat, like, we're going to get wheat very soon. The harvest is coming in, like, any day now. But yeah, food is, uh... We have grown quite a lot. Uh, maybe we're getting a lot of these vegetables harvesting as well. Yeah, actually, that's a good point, right? I imagine, I imagine the vegetables have the same harvesting time. We do some amount of yarn and wool, so we can actually sell yarn, export yarn and wool as well. Um, is it commodities, right? Yeah, this one. Um, so I probably just do wool because I feel like wool is like a is a constant. Around like twenty, like we can constantly get wool, whereas we need um yarn. No. 
Oh, yeah, no, sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll keep this, sorry. Yeah, don't get rid of the wool. Get rid of the yarn, because it sells for a bit more. Okay, we'll do that. God, leather sells for a lot, doesn't it? Uh, why can't we see your wheat growing? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. I guess it has glitched out. Yeah. It's a 35%, right? So it should be... Decent enough. Oh, we should turn this off forced harvest as well. Yeah, I don't think anything's growing in my field for some reason. I guess it's bugged out. Unfortunately. Uh, we have to stop this die guy, by the way. Because we are... Um, we're not looking good when it comes to food. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we need this wheat to be harvested. This is going to be our priority for sure. Yeah, you're high. You can just go medium and... Yeah, you're whatever. We do not have a lot of food. Like, obviously, a lot of that food is... is this is just our excess food. We still have, what, 100 foods. Yeah, people are eating, but it's in our... Like, this is our, like, leftover stockpile, if that makes sense. Oh, uh, pack station is now done as well. Cool. Get ourselves some mule. Get ready to start transferring resources. Yeah, so we can trade... Out of interest, can we start doing it now? So if we were to do this, and we were to obviously get a mule... Could we start, like, sending, like, I don't know, like, resources over to get them going? I mean, it'd probably get destroyed, right? We can't send logs either. Yeah, I, I literally just noticed that, Robert, that you can't see the resources growing in this. That's a, that's a bit sad, isn't it? It's a shame. You you ruined it for me now. Now I won't be able to unlook, unlook at it. Okay, August is going to be up soon, I and mean, that's going to be a big help for us. Um, are there any other good towns that we can upgrade? Okay, our tax doesn't come in. Oh, it's harvest time now as well. Good. Um, yeah, I guess we'll stick our more families on here. We'll give these guys back the mule. Yeah, they just bought some more meat, but... Uh, we still need the fuel desperately. We have plenty of logs, though, so we can probably take one of you off that. Put another person on there. Oh, yeah, we haven't done that in ages. Yeah, let's take a little look see around the village. So where are we? We're by our farms. So I guess I'll return trip here. Yeah, it's been a while, so we have our sheep over there. Excited to go, like, yeah, look look how much bigger our town now looks. The nice thing is we do have that harvest. So there's gonna be 76 bits of, of wheat we're gonna We're gonna be able to get. So I think it's gonna be fine, but yeah, the food situation is whew, a little bit shaky. We obviously expanded very big, so if we don't if we get Oh my god, so yeah, in my YouTube Let's Play, which the episode's gonna go up tomorrow, hopefully today for members, if um, if we don't stream too late here, um, we have a drought, and it literally kills my entire crop. I, I end up having to force harvest, and I get absolutely nothing. These are the, uh, the higher tier ones now. Looking very nice indeed. Um, and yeah, it's brutal. And, and that's only with like, I don't know, like 20 families I think I have in that playthrough. So imagine what it's, what it's like if like your big city like this had a drought. And I have all these people to feed. We'd be absolutely screwed. Yeah. 
Oh my god, these little side streets as well. Yeah, our village has come a long way. Oh, yeah. Our, our little marketplace as well. Have you got any mana? Have you got the mana house yet? Yeah, we got mana. Oh, look at him. He's like cheering. How's it going? Henry's come to see us. Uh, yeah, we have the mana house built. Yep. Uh, so we actually haven't upgraded it. I've been spending all my planks on other stuff. Um, we actually have a decent amount of planks now as well. Um, but yeah, this is the mana uh, right here. And then you, then you build up from it. So we haven't actually built anything up from it. But yeah, you, you can like um, build like, you know, walls around it and stuff like that, you know. As you can see, it does cost you a lot of uh, a lot of planks to do something like this. And I just don't have the planks right now. I'm busy upgrading. And it's more of really just a cos cosmetic thing right now as well. Okay, so we're going to need... Yeah, so yeah, you guys harvest that for sure. The wheat, and then we're going to start making bread again. So we're very long. We've actually stopped making dyes now as well, which is a little bit... And uh, I just don't think it's worth it to import, you know, import the meat. I guess it's too expensive. It really is. Um, and, you know, yeah, it's just not worth it, I don't think. Because every time we're just, we're just playing way more than we're selling. Like, we are we are currently trading uh, war bows, large shields, and we're going to be running low on them soon, actually. We're selling shoes, which we're making a lot of. I guess we could sell some iron. Yeah, we could export some iron for now. That's a bit more money. And we have like infinite iron, so. Selling the yarn, which is good. And I think our next upgrade, when we get when we get to 10 burger plots, we 100% take the better deals. That is, we're going to be able to import like everything with the better deals for sure. Uh, one more tick as well of our taxes, and then we can completely get rid of that and start go start booming again. Yeah, I I 100% agree. Like, I think if I if I was to play this play this series again, I think yeah. I mean, the only thing I wouldn't take is charcoal. But then then we would have been getting like you know it's been a, it's been a while since until like, I got like my previous upgrade. So I wouldn't have taken charcoal. I probably would have gone heavy plow armorer. Then taking trade logistics and then taking better deals. So we'd actually be at better deals now if I didn't take charcoal burners. Because I believe I believe the charcoal is only for re refueling um refueling like the bloomery and refueling the armory and other shops that use it to, to fuel their stuff. I don't think it fuels people. I think that's still the firewood. I believe. Yeah, and they're still making plenty of iron slabs. How are we looking at the armor? Uh, we've got six helmets there, six helmets there, and six helmets there. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're getting there. We are getting there. Field is almost done. So as soon as that, when that field's done, we immediately start making grain and obviously getting back on the, uh, the oven as well. For sure. I mean, to be fair, we could probably do that now. Go down to one there and get you on the, the mill. Because I imagine we'll be bringing it back here. We've already got some here. So, yeah, go and collect it. Start making it. Boom, boom, boom. Our planks are going up as well, which is nice. We could probably upgrade a few more houses as well. Yeah, let's get a few more tier threes on the go. Let's get a few more two, tier threes on the go. Um, so then that, that'll, that'll boost us up to five. Then we just need five more. And then we can get the better trade deals. And that sorts like most of our problems, I feel like. Yeah, the barley's up, which is good. And we have like so many people here as well now. Yeah, that's so nice. We're going to be getting a bunch of flax as well. The barley, which will be good. Because we're also spending a lot of our money importing the barley as well. That's where like pretty much all of our cash goes. To just make, just to make ale. Uh, we also don't need you there for now either. I have where though? Oh yeah, so yeah, I, it's, it's over here though. Is the, the no, it's not. Where is my free stable then? 
I don't know. Is it? No, that's pasture. I have one stable here. Let's have a look. One, two, three. And then they're maxed up. I don't see my, my spare stable. We can build another one if we need to. I just don't really feel like we need to build another one, but... Yeah, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Because that's stables packed as well, right? Um, yeah, I mean, we're kind of, um, I mean, you just need, you just need a lot more resources. Bandit camp? Oh, we saw a bandit camp? Where? Where, 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 is that going to give us enough? It gives you like over a hundred taxes, right? And we have taxes coming in soon as well. Um, sorry. I think we will... We won't need to. 50 gold to recruit. Uh, um, it'll be close. No, we'll, go, we'll just go with our 11 boys. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I could also take some other soldiers as well with me. We are harvesting right now. I feel, I feel like my village is very close to like collapsing, so I kind of don't want to take anybody else. I think we only take Beretomy with us again. Because I'm like quite scared. Um, I'm quite scared of, of taking more than I need. There's only 16 men again, right? It's not like a big bandit camp or something. And yeah, that, that'd be something I'd love to see them improve upon. Um, that, that'd be something I'd love to see them improve upon in, in early access. Is like bigger bandit camps. Like a bandit, bandit like mini fort or something, you know? Like where it has some walls and, and other things. And there's like multiple groups of bandits. And I think that's almost something cer certainly they will bring in. Um, okay, let's run over. Let's get to like here. And let's just keep a close eye on it because we're going to need to obviously rest up before we get there. I mean, we could just walk, honestly, as well. I'm back. What did you miss? Um, We're harvesting. We've, yeah, I don't know how much you've missed, but yeah, as you can see, like we've grown pretty massive. We're, we're at 46 families now. Uh, we've upgraded a bunch to tier three, uh, which all looks good. We've got our armory um, here. Uh, we're running out of fuel. Uh, oh, charcoal. Okay. It's fine. Um, yeah. We don't have anyone on the smithy. What else are we using to refuel? Just the bloomery, right? Oh, I mean, obviously the blacksmith and everything. Yeah, okay, cool. But, I mean, we have three people on wood cutting. And we have 61 firewood. Like, we have plenty. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's actually a good idea as well. Like, I think that's a really cool idea. Like, the bandit camp grows over time the longer you leave it. I think that's a cool idea for sure. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Uh, then we just need like these to upgrade. And then we'll have like a nice little section of tier threes here. Yeah, so with, with the armory, you can upgrade them. So to get more retinue above 12... Uh, you do, uh, you do need to, where is it here? Uh, you need to build these garrison towers. I'm not sure if you build like a second manor house somewhere, like in a different village. In fact, it just gives you more retinue as well. Like what happens if I build a second, oh, we've reached our limit. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, boys, just run and then rest. Just run and then rest. We'll make sure we keep an eye on that Bobo just in case. Our risk deposit is just never going to run out as well. I can build a stable space. I think this is like the only place we can upgrade, right? And we have... Oh, here. Yeah, it's for Mule Station. I thought I did order a mule. Maybe it's not here yet? Or another one if we need to. Okay. Yeah, maybe the mule's just not here yet. A nice second tier three up and running. Uh, or sorry, a fifth, yeah. There we go. Nice. I just need ale, man. Um, and how's our, how's our crop yield going? 
Uh, yeah, really well. We got everything, basically. Cool. We got our... Yeah, we got all of that. Cool. So we're now making flour again. That's hopefully going to be enough to see us through the winter. Um, I'm really hoping. We're now obviously harvesting everything, which is good. Uh, do we reassign? Yeah, we did reassock this. Uh, what does freshing priority mean? What does that mean? Freshing priority. It's probably a livestock trader. Yeah, maybe. We have someone there though, right? Um, yeah, we have someone on that. We have a family on that. We have a family on trading as well. Okay, I just need to make sure they don't come out and chase me. <laughs> so we'll rest up here. Still. Uh, yeah, someone already told me uh, that you can do that. That you can that you can mess up the, um, the taxing and stuff. It's fine. I don't want to, like, I don't want to take the piss. Uh, I don't want to, like, cheat the game. One of the mechanics clearly isn't intended. Um, so we will just avoid that. Uh, but that is funny that you can do that. Oh, my God. Are we going to go not... Oh, we are doing Bali. Yeah, cool. Okay, I'm going to leave this many families. Actually, I'm going to stick more families on this. We don't need more people building. I'm going to stick all these families on this. I want I want all of this done. I want it plowed. I want it sowed. I want a massive crop yield next next uh, next year. Um, is it possible to have a thousand people in a village? Yeah. I mean, we're at 152 right now. You just keep on growing, right? Um, do we have any building projects on the go? I don't think so. I don't think so. We have two people there. There, we have someone on the tavern. The malt is going. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, we don't we don't have any building projects. So let's let's just stick someone else here making uh making ale for us. Uh, why are you guys not resting? Surrounded by trees. Fuck. Okay. Um. Okay. I want to get here, but I don't want to aggro them. But yeah, we're in the trees, so we we're, we're tired apparently. Is that gonna aggro them? It is. Um, I, uh, are we going to rest in time? I don't want to get caught off here. Like, not resting, why not? Oh, we are, but it's very, very slow. Yeah, I don't know. What do we do? Do we run, do you think? I mean, our effectiveness is 73. Fatigue, we'll probably get one more tick of fatigue. I don't know. I think we'll be fine, right? No, we're going to run out 74% effectiveness. <laughs> I mean, at this point, they're, they're way too close to not. We will just chill, though, for as long as possible. And we'll make sure we push forward as well. Yeah, I didn't realize that you didn't gain fatigue back in the forest. Okay, I'm good to know, right? Though I'm cheering. And our fatigue isn't... I mean, it's not good, right? But it's not, it's not awful. We basically want to gain as much fatigue as possible and charge at the last second. Okay, let's charge. So I think we might lose a soldier or two, you know? Because we're already like super tired. We're already like exhausted. But this is what we got to do. Soldier's getting hit. He's getting 3v1. We're killing a few of them. We haven't lost a man yet. We're just very tired, so we're like not fighting efficiently. So we're like kind of evening the battlefield right now. We have killed three of them so far, though. Hold the line. They are getting tired. They're close to routing. Just break them. Don't lose a brave warrior again. We're 3v1ing over here as well. Yeah, there you go. They're going to go now. Good. Whoa, we did lose a man as well. Nice. Good job, boys. All right. Go claim this quickly so we can go and uh, grab our stuff. Uh, we didn't lose a man, right? Yeah, no, we didn't. Nice. Good job. Uh, what do I think of the new upcoming Warhorse game studio? Can come to? Yeah, I can't wait. I'm hyped. Hyped. Hyped, I tell you. 
Uh, do we not harvest the barley? No, we did. But this is already... It says, what? Do we not harvest this? I'm confused. I'm really confused. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm really pumped for it. Kingdom Come Deliverance is one of my favourite games. This is a really popular series on the channel as well. A uh, really popular series, so I can't wait. I, I don't... I, 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 it'll be interesting to know if they are going to carry on Henry's story or if they're going to try and just do something else, like bigger. But yeah, it'll be really interesting. Yeah, how's it going, Mike? Welcome, welcome, welcome. What do you guys, what do you guys think of it? Are you guys excited for it? But our food is running, like, dangerously low. I ain't gonna lie. Um, yeah, we just need flour, right? God, we have, we have, like, no food. <laughs> we have no food. Um, yeah, hunt these guys, like, down to, like, extinction. Down to two. Um, we have no families now as well, yeah. King Henry. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I guess I'll... I mean, we kind of need to still be there. A new message. Yeah, cool. So we'll take it to our treasury. Boom. Okay, cool. So ignoring the fact that we're probably going to die in the winter of no food. Ignoring that... Um, let's get our camp over. I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing as well to like move people over here. So I think we're going to set up a camp like around here uh, in this little area because we're next to the berries, which are going to be really good. Um, town, farming, village. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, this is dope. Mining, farming, forest. That's all really cool. I assume these are all locked during early access. And you could spend more money to give them more supplies. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I imagine these like these are all locked during early access. Um, but that's cool that you can like specifically set up a village to do a certain type of thing. Like this would probably be like a forest village, right? Because we're getting the berries. It's not very good at farming, and this doesn't have great mining, so this would probably be like a, fo a forest village. Um, so yeah, I guess we just we just confirm. I'm waiting to see if anybody tells me I need to do something else, but I think this is fine, right? And by the way, guys, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. It goes a very long way uh, and gets the stream out there to more people, so I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I have a Let's Play on the go right now, playing through on a different style. Granted, the first three episodes, I'm still very much learning the game. Um, but from this, like, from tomorrow's episode onwards, we kind of have a much more uh, better idea on how to do things. Yeah, cool. We'll just, we'll just make this a town... Nice. Um, and it's immediately unhappy. <laughs> uh, and you just get... Oh, you just get five families here as well. Nice. Scammed. Uh, cool. When let's... We, we go again, boys. We go again. Uh, oh, God. Why did I do it? I, I probably... I probably should have waited until it was spring to build this. I'm not going to lie. Right? Because now we're going to have to basically go through winter. Like, winter is two months away. Uh, yeah, winter is two months away. I didn't really think about that. Okay, well, let's get our stuff down then ASAP. So, obviously, we want the logging camp down. Uh, we'll build that there. Have the hitching post here as well. We have no regional... Oh, we have a bit more regional wealth. Okay, cool. So, hitching post down. We need... Um, yeah, we'll do that. And then probably... I guess we'll hunt to begin with. Yeah, then we'll just get a hunting camp down as well. Uh, and then we'll leave it for that now. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, we'll get a hunting camp down. Berries, five houses. Cool. It's fine. You know, it's, it's a challenge, right? It's a challenge. If all the families die, all the families die. Uh, and then what can we do? So if we wanted to... Um, we can barter with them. We can give them stuff. Is there anything I'd like to give them? To help them along their way? I don't think so. I mean, I don't have any food to give them anyway. Um... Yeah, nothing to really help them out. 
Yeah, nothing to part there. <laughs> yeah, even you guys didn't catch that it was autumn and I probably shouldn't do it. Uh, so it's on you, it's your fault. <laughs> Uh, at least our fields are going to be nicely set up. We're going to have basically... Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of fields, right? To so We have so many families on it. We literally are maxed out. You guys have that as well, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, family is a group of workers. So basically, just think of like a worker as a family. But they do they do separate things. So if we go like over to here, the people, you'll see that like uh, one of them is a fire cutter. Another family is transporting. Another family member is transporting. Another one is gathering. Like some will take them to market. Some will do the heavy work. Some will kind of gather the resources. So uh, yeah, like a family is basically made up of three. Uh, and then over, we need to make sure we don't neglect this as well. So it's here. So yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll immediately stick someone on the hunting because we need food for the winter. Uh, we'll get that down. Um, and then, yeah, and then I guess let's start building this out a little bit, you know? Um, let's get a storehouse on the go. So the logging camp is now done as well. Cool. So we'll get that storehouse on the go. So we back here. And uh, then we'll need the granary as well. So we'll get the granary down. So we'll get that down. Do I want to stick someone on the... I mean, we do need wood, right? How much wood do we have left? Only five? Yes. Yeah, so someone, someone's going to have to start cutting wood. Uh, we need firewood. We need the granary up and running. And then, then, then houses. But that's that's basically all we need to survive the water. Uh, the water. The winter. Is the hunter camp. Firewood. And then we're good. I, I don't have extra food. I, I ain't going to lie. And remember as well, we are playing on challenging difficulty. So this region probably isn't going to grow until we get a church up and running. Oh, yeah. See if it has the same tech tree. Yeah, good idea. Um, no, yeah, it's completely separate. Yeah, completely, completely separate. You go like boom and boom. Oh, we have a new... Oh, we can't switch for some reason. Yeah, you can't switch. That is different. Um, we have a new name as well. So if any of the members want to name a, name a city, feel free to... Uh, yeah, so there's no point having anybody on this anymore because we've hunted them down. But we can just kind of keep them at two, to be honest. What are you waiting on? Like, we do have the grain. We have the grain here. Do I need more people in my granary, maybe? We have flour and grain here, yeah. I feel like people aren't like grabbing the grain from here, which they should be. Is there something to do with like refreshing? I don't know. I don't know what refreshing priority means. Guiding an ox, yeah. That's at least that field done. We still have two more fields to try and plow. Um, but we do have an ox for one, I guess. And these other two fields are much smaller. They have to process it in the farmhouse. Okay, wheat is fresh into grain. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. Thank you. But yeah, that, that answers it. Um, so, so yeah, basically, they, they, they need to fresh it to make, yeah, to make the, the thing. But they can't because they're all busy doing this. So if I was to make it a bit of a priority, like set it to high, would some one family go and do that? Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. That that helps out a ton. I wonder if I set it to high, would that family go and do that? Uh, and also, our oh, camp over here is now done. Man, it's so different. Like, now having to deal with two of these things. Uh, hunting camp is done. That's done. Yeah, logging camp. Yeah, I think the next thing we build is the... The next thing we build here, once the storehouse is built... Oh, it has been built. Uh, is going to be... Um, firewood. Get yeah, this built. Yeah, get a firewood built. Um, and then it's just the granary after that. So yeah, focus that. And then it's the granary. And then we're... 
Um, basically set up for the winter. Um, we can stick a family on that for now as well. Um, just to kind of gather up these woods, uh, these resources. And we just need to build five houses for Marketplace. And that place will probably hopefully survive the winter. Obviously getting the, the hut as well. Start harvesting all of these berries is going to be important as well. Do the berries go away in winter? Out of interest? Like, if I don't harvest these berries, are they going to be gone? Is my question to you. Um, and yeah, we need to get that market down. So where a lot of my house is going to be. The granary there. So we build a bit of a market house like, like here. And then build houses all around, yeah. Um... Yeah, so let's have like our house housing districts like here, I guess. No, I don't like that. I mean, ideally the market wants to go like here, and then we build, but then I've got like all of this. That's the thing, like, you want to kind of build around your market. Um, I mean, I guess we could clear out like all of this and then just like, yeah, you kind of want it like in the center of everything. We need our well down as well, of course. Of course, of course. It's fine. We'll build a couple houses and then, yeah. Cool. Add that down as well. Nice. Oh my god, my retinue. <laughs> boys, I'm so sorry. You're just having a little break. Okay, get back into Freddy territory. You boys have done enough. And we can also now upgrade to get our 12th retinue back as well. Um, we've got Fish Hampton. I like that. That's a cool one. Let's change it. Um, I like that one. Fish Hampton. The glorious city. The very village of Fish Hampton. <laughs> a berries die. Okay, cool. So we want to we get that up and running now. So let's actually make that a bit of a priority then. Um, berries. Where's our road? Like here. Probably make that a bit of a priority to get someone out there. Because it can take a while to move this stuff. Okay, I, mean, I feel like that's coming along quite nicely. Um, I'm going to probably leave two families. Because you're moving all of that as well, yeah. To get the resources inside. And then back to here. Back to our main village. How are we doing? Are we freshing? I feel like we're still not freshing and we're like running dangerously low on food. Like keep in mind, we don't just have six food. We have 103, but families are going to start struggling now. Um, I mean, maybe, 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 maybe we need to just go down on like some people to, to make this happen. We can have one more family here. Um, yeah, maybe we don't need two on the malt anyway. And we'll just go basically as many families here as possible. I mean, I've got the fresh priority up to max. Can't stick it any higher. Well, that could be kind of a cool idea. Like a long strip, yeah. Build a bigger market this time. And that was the 17... That was 17 I built, right? 17... But yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, right? Like, we having a big one is not a bad idea. A long strip could be kind of interesting as well. I mean, have like, yeah, like a real, like, walkway. It would be kind of be a cool way of doing it. Uh, here, yeah, right. I just kind of do, like, a big, like, a long strip, like, there. And then, like, have another section with a walkway in, in between. And, like, kind of, like, segregate it. Let's do something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe a second farmhouse. Yeah, maybe. Like, we are starting to get up there a bit. Um, I feel like, though, efficiency-wise, like, we'll just do that for now. Yeah, like, maybe, yeah, maybe another storehouse, because then you have two oxes. That's actually a really good idea. Um, that's actually a really good idea. Do Is there a limit, though, is what, uh, I guess, is my only other question. Can't fit it in there. Yeah, you can just have another one. Okay. Um, I kind of want it here. What do we have here? It's the oven, right? Is 
Let's we have it over here. Uh, winter is approaching. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, yeah, you can really... That's actually... I wish I would have done that sooner, you know? Because then I can do that. But then that kind of takes away a field spot, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, we actually don't have a spare family right now either. Um, but I imagine we're looking very good on timber, so we can probably... We only have one. Um, let's go down on the storehouse for now. All right, boys, wish me luck. Wish me luck in both of my regions where I don't know if we're going to do okay. Uh, we need that built like now. Very high. This is, I guess it's such a long way. And hunt down for like five. Um, oh, yeah, I guess we can also take the person of hunting here. Because he ain't doing anything. Right, boys, wish me luck. Winter, this is a make or break winter, I guess. But, but to be fair, though, as soon, as soon as they stop here, they will be... Yeah. Yeah, as soon as they stop, we'll be fine. Like, as soon as winter hits, then, you know, everyone here will get off and then we'll be boom, 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 okay. But yeah, I kind of like that idea of another farmhouse as well, because then we can stick even more families on when we need to, you know? What are people unhappy about in this village as well? I mean, you say that, Finn, but we have, like, we have probably have that many in this city. Like, we have, like, seven here. We have, like, ten here. So it's not that crazy. But, yeah, it is probably a bit excessive. But, yeah, it's fine, whatever. Yeah, God, I wish I would have... I don't know, like, I, I my small... And we need to get over here to start harvesting the berries. So immediately get over there. Maybe even two? And we need housing, yeah. We need housing. We need our well. Uh, which means we can probably go back on the storehouse now because all of the supplies are inside. Yeah, we need to save that bread, basically. So go back to two families to help build. Yeah, God, am I, I've got such a small brain. Like, why didn't I just think about building another farmhouse? Because it's just two oxes at a time. We have oxes. We can build, buy more oxes if we need to. And that, that literally... That literally just does so much. Like, it just... Yeah, you then just have two oxes plowing. Like, go up to four. Why not? Plow every field. Then you can have like 16 people as well. Yeah, man. Okay, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Are we, we're not freshing this yet either. We're still finishing up. They're still playing this field as well. And this field, yeah, we're not, we're not going to be able to have a big crop growth either. I know we're running out of food. Um, What do we do? Like the vegetables and eggs will kind of keep us going a little bit. Do I just buy? Do I just have to buy food, do you think? Um, I guess we will just keep on hunting as well, just for anything. any Anything to keep us going, yeah. Uh, no, you oh god, thank you for reminding me of the fucking Men at Arms again. <laughs> uh, no, your Men at Arms did not die. No, we, we got in a bit of a, a tasty battle, but yeah. Uh, you didn't, and we can upgrade. Uh, we can go boom, so boom. We're back up to... Back up to what we need to. Um, and we can even upgrade a few of these guys as well. Yeah, boom. Look we'll upgraded. Killed by a chicken. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we just need this fresh. Better build them. So yeah, we might have to. But then they're not gonna they're not gonna produce us anything, right? In the in the winter. I know. I'd say oxes are pretty cheap, honestly. Um, I would say oxes are pretty cheap. Can maybe we'll sell some sheep? Yeah, let's go and like ten sheep. I think we're gonna have to buy some food, you know. Mm, that sucks. Fishhampton is getting here. I mean, our next upgrade is obviously the granary. Uh, the well's built. Yes, yeah, so they are making this now. Get the granary up and then we get our, our food hopefully in. We are obviously making... Lot, we've got lots of meat there. So I think we're going to be fine, right? And the berries should really start to yeah, come in. So I think food-wise, we're going to be fine here. We still need shelter in Fishhampton, but we're getting there. 
Do you stop taxing? No, we're still taxing. Um, and I think that's a good idea, right? We're just going to fully upgrade our, 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 our garrison first. Um, yeah. And nice. Another farmhouse is now built as well. So, yeah, we can yeah, add, a, add a plow to that immediately. Um, yeah, God, I should have done. I should have built like, yeah, man. That's actually such a smart thing and just something I just did not think of. I can't do much in, in Fishhampton until that granary is built. Um, so hopefully the food is okay. There you go. And we'll, we'll stick someone in there for now. Okay, so now we just need houses. We just need five houses. And then we're we're stable. I say we're good, but we're stable. Um, and we'll obviously make sure that these guys have gardens as well. We won't make that mistake. Um, but we want long gardens, right? Yeah, we want long gardens. For the, yeah. No, not long enough. I want long gardens for the vegetables, right? That's going to keep us going. So we'll go like. Uh, we'll do this. And then we can make vegetable plots. We can do a bunch of them as well. Yeah, something like that, maybe? That's some big vegetable plots. Yeah, cool. Let's do it. Oh, they'll be very busy building them bit by bit. But yeah, that should basically make this all self-sufficient. Um, yeah, we'll have our granary. Nice, cool. And our upgrade is done on here. I mean, we'll try and get another rocks in here. Um, we actually don't need another rocks because these are all... Yeah, these are all done. Okay, cool. So we don't actually need anyone here until we fresh for grain. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see if we stick someone in here. If he does go and grab and starts threshing. Okay, so at least for... Um, so, so yeah, this is going to be a really good plan of action then. So, going forward, we're going to be able to, yeah, get these fields done so much quicker with our oxes. Oh, my God. That's, like, that's literally a game changer. That is a game changer. Being able to have, like, three oxes plow the fields and you're just done. And you don't need this many families. You obviously need to sow still, but that's it. Um, okay. Yeah, food and fuel is not looking good either. We have three people making firewood. Do we have to build, like, another firewood place? Maybe. Uh, I'm probably going to. Yeah, I'm probably going to build a second firewood uh, shop. Planks we're actually looking very good on. Um, so let's make sure we start up. Because, yeah, planks we're looking insane on. Um, so let's start making more shields and... Uh, yeah, yeah, more shields. Now, cool. Because I imagine our army is probably lacking. Yeah, missing equipment there. God, we've almost got... Four full squads. That's a gnarly army. Um, our logging camp is still just doing its thing. Our rich deposit is still just pumping. Yeah, we got a lot of clay. We don't want to sell clay, obviously. And I feel like we have plenty of fuel. I don't really know why it's telling me I have so little. I feel like we have loads. It's food what I'm, wor that I'm worried about. Okay, we're freshing now. We're freshing now. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, and he's actually moving over here to fresh as well. Nice. But I think we have enough people to then start doing it as well. Good. Okay, so that means we do need someone back on the windmill. Um, okay, cool. So, yeah, I might build another farmhouse then. Um, just so we can have, like, three oxes. I think three oxes is fine. But maybe maybe we need more. For, like, big fat yields. Um, yeah, we might do... What we might do, then, is we might... We still have, like... Yeah, winter is fast approaching, but that's fine. Let's maybe look to try and set up some fields for... N uh, like, for next, um... Yeah, that'll be fellowed now, but we'll make some more wheat there. And, yeah, maybe we'll make, like, another fat field out here. Because if we have, like, enough enough oxes, we should be fine. I think they want more charcoal. Um, yeah, I mean, we no, cause I'm pretty... Um, maybe. I don't know. 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 <laughs> okay, how's our housing looking over here? We finally got someone in here. Cool. Oh, my God. Look at that plot. It will be the greatest vegetable plot of the world. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm fine spending my, worth, my, my welfare. 
Um, I mean, to be fair, though, we maybe should get another Ox. But I think that's okay for now. Logging camp, we have a wood cutting. Yeah, and we're getting berries in as well. You've actually hunted them down already? Good job. Oh, we need a tannery, right? Yeah, we need a tannery now to keep up happiness because they'll be unhappy because they don't have cloves. Um, so we need a tannery. Let's not forget. I feel like it's been so long since I've done these basic tiers that uh, I have forgotten a little bit. Yeah, a tannery. Um, yeah, tannery can just go down like here. On the main road. So yeah, we'll get that tannery down and we'll make this a bit of a priority. We don't need you hunting anymore. We have all them hides. Uh, the berries are going down quickly, considering like... Yeah, we are, we are hunting. I think food here in this region is going to be great. We might even have to transport it back, you know, to save ourselves where. Uh, yeah, how's it going, Junker? How's it going? I feel like it's been a while since you've been in chat. I remember the name. How you been? Okay, but okay, we're making bread now, which is the most important thing. We're making bread, and hopefully that will survive us through the, the winter. And yeah, we could stop taxing during winter as well, just to kind of make people keep people happy. Um, I don't know. I feel like the food is like yeah, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fight for sure. And we're spending all our money to purchase it right as well. Uh, what's it like? Haven't been able to pl play yet. Well, the game's not out yet. RH. Uh, it comes out in um. Oh, these will have houses as well, right? No, they don't. Okay. Yeah, it comes out in eleven days, I think. Um. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm having a lot of fun playing. Like, I'm having a lot of fun playing. Um, I don't know. And again, I don't know if it's worth the hype for you because it's worth, you know, like, depends on how hyped you were about the game and what you expected and stuff, you know? But yeah, no, I'm, I'm, having, I'm having a blast. I really am. Okay, our secondary woodcutting lodge is done. Cool. I think we need two people on the saw pit, so let's just do that. I'm gonna have another family here, yeah. Plenty of timber as well. Um, oh god, imagine. Do we like. <laughs> do I just start taking berries from them, you know? Like, receive berries? Both regions must offer something. So we receive berries, and we give them. What would they really use? Like, maybe, maybe clothing. Maybe send them, like, yarn. We have so much yarn! We have so much yarn! Let's send them yarn! Uh, okay. And then, then we get berries, and that will hopefully survive us. That's actually a really good idea. I'm, I'm a genius, man. Um, so let's do it. Where is it? Or wool? Do we, can we not just sell... Yeah, we'll send them yarn. Uh, when moving things between regions, the exchange value good needs to be matched. For instance, if you're exchanging iron at, let's say, 14 silver per unit for firewood, the barter value is two times. You get two firewood for every iron. So right now we're getting one berry for every... Uh, we're getting one berry for every yarn? Is that what that means? Uh, we can even do that. We need to stick a family in here as well. Yeah, let's get a second pack mule. Let's pump. Let's pump. They'll, they'll be the biggest yarn-filled place, and we'll, we'll get berries to help us actually live through the winter. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, we probably need to make a priority on these houses as well being built. Because if the houses aren't built in time, uh, we could actually just improve up a bit. Okay, if, yeah, depending on how many houses built, we might need to upgrade this to a workers' camp to keep them alive during the winter. You can also uh, set... Oh, wow, really? Can you? So Robert's saying you can actually set different farmhouses to work different areas. I imagine, yes, yeah, like this. So if I did that, they would work both of these. Or both of these. Or is it just this area? That's like, that's what, oh, you can adjust it. Okay. So I could like set this farmhouse just to work on like this section. I like that. That's cool. Again, it'd be nice if you could like select different fields and stuff. It was like a specific tool. But yeah, I like that. Oh, cool. Nice. 
And now we're now we're freshing. And we have all these families free as well. Yeah, we have all these families free now. Um, so I guess we'll put more families on the woods. Forage assault. I mean, again, maybe upgrading this to add a herb garden would be the worst thing in the world. Um, kind of don't want to do anything that really requires, like, fuel. I guess a couple more on that. More on that. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Let's do it. Do we get to see the pack mule moving? Like, transporting? Have they arrived yet? Yeah, Andrew, we are. So don't worry, part three. So this is nothing to do with the Let's Play. This is completely separate, Andrew. This is a different series I started. Uh, I, I started the first episode on Friday. Um, so you can go back and watch that stream. It's a long stream and we are, it's a massive learning. And to be fair, today's been a massive learning curve as well. Um, um, but yeah, we are. So we have our village here. We've currently got almost 50 workers here, 50 families, 150 people. Um, we're about to go into what I think is going to be an extremely harsh winter and wish me luck because I don't know what's going to happen. We could like lose the game now, but we are also starting our second um, settlement as well over here. Hopefully we're going to get some berries. <laughs> we really need some berries. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we are hoping we're going to be able to survive the winter in both these regions. Deposit exhausted. Is that the clay? Uh, yeah, the clay is exhausted. God damn. No more clay for the boys. Yeah, okay. I guess we can stick him just back onto hunting. We have no one to hunt. Yeah, we have no one to hunt. Um, where do I have their spare, spare workers? Where do I put them? Again, nothing that uses fuel. Oh, they still... Oh my god, they're still plowing that, right? Yeah, and that's what we just bought. Okay. So we have two spare families here if we need them. As I said, though, there's not really anything I need to, to put them on right now. Um, that would be like a massive use. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's focus on upgrading, as you said. Um, so let's just, yeah, let's just upgrade where we can. Do we have any any tier twos at the moment that can upgrade? No. You can upgrade to tier two at least, and you're going to be an important one. You can upgrade to tier two. Oh, you can upgrade to tier three. A couple more tier twos as well. Okay, let's just do that for now. We'll leave them working. But yeah. Uh, winter's going to be interesting. December doesn't this doesn't look like a harsh December like it's not snowing already and we are gonna be making bread so I think honestly our harvest came in just in time what I might do as well is I might make wheat here as well it won't be the biggest yield but then we'll have three fields of, of that it's annoying we didn't manage to finish this as well but again these will be done pretty quickly I think um going forward yeah we don't we don't need all these families here like I can, I can leave two here that's fine maybe we can sit another person there and free just to build up. And yeah, upgrading the families. I think it's going to be important. How are we doing in Fishhampton? Um, yeah, probably not great, right? We should probably just upgrade this to a work camp. Yeah, let's just do it. Because I don't want my people to die out here. So I think we're going to upgrade this to a work camp. Um, until we can sort it out. And we can destroy it afterwards, of course. Uh, that should probably be a priority. High and high. So we'll get that done. Yeah. So then this, this will allow them to actually basically just live um, and stay alive for now. It does mean I think they start getting really pissy because they get upset with like rules and stuff. But we do have marketplaces, you know. Um, we need someone to bring all this meat. To... Wait, I'm doing my meat. They eat it all? No, we just need to collect it. Yeah, now. Yeah. So now they start getting really annoyed because... Um, yeah, now they start getting really annoyed because they... Um, maybe building that wasn't a good idea. Because now, now they obviously have been missing all of his stuff. So now they get annoyed. Tannery is now done though. So we'll stick a family there. And we just have these guys building the houses. And 
I mean, we have like cloves. We have we have food. Like I think it's gonna be fine. So our berry deposit destroyed now. Yeah, the berry deposit is completely gone now though. Cool. So you can get off of that now. Um, and then is is our pack mule going? Yeah, I think they are. Can we see? I guess we can see, right? Advanced. Um... Yeah, where are you? You're reassigned. Sorry, yeah. You just have a workshop ready to go, I guess. Bathroom. Okay. Do I need? Do I need a bathroom station in the other region? I think maybe to do that. And winter is well and truly come. I'm like at a point now in this village where I actually have like almost too many families. Not too many, but I do have too many families because I can't feed them all. But like I have. Um, yeah, my clothing's all done. Like, I have, like, a, a few too many people, honestly. Like, I have, like, again, it'll be great when, when we come around and we have the farms and stuff, because we'll be able to, we're going to be able to grow so much shit here, which is going to be amazing. We're going to have, like, fat yields for sure. But until then, yeah, we, we kind of just, yeah, winter is bad. But we've boomed enough that I think the, the next year is going to be amazing for crops. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to even build another field out here. Like, I feel like we could build another field, like another farmland, another farmyard. Yeah, we did indeed name it Fishhampton. <laughs> we did indeed. Now, we have a lot of families on. We have a lot of families on firewood right now. They are pumping. Which means we could probably maybe take another family up here as well. Yeah, on the on the charcoal. Well, how are we looking over here though? I imagine not great. But yeah, oh yeah, that's painful, man. We are building the houses though as fast as possible. Yeah, we are getting these houses done. We should have firewood here as well though. Do I have fuel? Why do we not have fuel? Oh my god! I never stopped someone on the woodcutting lodge! They're all gonna die! Oh my god, I never stuck anybody on the woodcutting lodge! Oh no! Oh no! Um, oh no! Uh, we don't need anybody on the ground. Oh, you're working the thing, though, but we could probably switch you back on that and hunt some more. Yeah, let's do that and then stick you back on that so you can at least hunt uh, some more animals. Oh no! Um, yeah, and then we probably don't want anybody on the wood anymore. And I think I just need more people cutting. Oh, no. We actually have, like, enough houses as well now, which is good. Um, let's have another vegetable garden. And probably another vegetable garden. So if we make it a year, these gardens are going to be enough to feed us for some time. Oh, man, that is a major effort in the chat. At least, at least they've got cloves. They're happy they've got cloves. Uh, maybe I should have done some chickens as well, just for the immediate, like, the immediate pump. Um, I could maybe do some, like, crappy houses here as well, just for, like, chickens. Uh, yeah, the stream is just about to hit five hours, yeah. I mean, you guys have been awesome. Like, we've had such a good stream today, so... We get good viewers and people being happy and chat and stuff, and I'm more than happy to... You know, keep on streaming. Um, I don't know if I can, like, steal the berries from them, man. Okay, we are, we're pumping, we're pumping that. How's our village looking? So we're upgrading, we need four more tier threes. I think, I think we're going to survive the winter. I think the bread that we're making is going to be enough. As I said, yeah, I, I think I'm going to make like a... Let me put like another farmhouse out here and we make like a fat grain field. You know? When I say fat, I mean like fat. Um... Is that going to be too big, do you think? Is 
Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fields, but we have, like, enough people, I think. Like, we're, we're kind of at a point with this village where we don't really need more. Like, what we need is more armorers. We need more blacksmiths, you know? That's what we kind of need in this village. Um, which I guess we could probably, like, but we need more houses for that, you know? Um, but we could do that, you know? We could... We could look to build maybe a couple more houses, like, out here and make them into, like, armorers. Because, yeah, the armorers are going to be good, and we are... We're almost, we've almost stocked up everywhere else. Yeah, I was wondering if you actually need like maybe yeah, another another pack supply over here. To like send supplies. That's fine though. We've got bigger fish to fry here. Um, as long as the approval doesn't drop below 25%, I don't think anybody leaves. Which is the most important thing. I don't think so. I don't think you can send people over. Um, yeah, I don't think so. You can migrate. I Yeah, not that I've seen. Uh, we do have a, a spare family at the moment here. I guess we could build, build another... We do need another house. Oh, because they're all in here. Yeah. So let's build a final house and we can destroy that. Um, so let's maybe get, like, a house out here, maybe? Um, yeah, just, like, some... Oh, yeah, I actually need that many houses. Turn to two. Yeah, something like that. They have gardens as well, so these can be, like, chicken co coops and, uh, goats. Let's get that built. Um, we still have enough wood for that as well, which is great. We'll get them built, then we can destroy this, and then everybody can go into their houses. Uh, I'm not sure, Thomas. I haven't seen. I assume they will. I, I imagine, like, this is me completely guessing. But I imagine what they would say if they were asked. And I'm sure they've been asked and they've probably said it. But I imagine they would probably say, uh, yeah, of course, we would love to we would love to give out mod tools and allow people to create what they want with this game. However, we're going to be focusing on completing the game. Um, but that stuff might come later. I imagine um, that would be the case. But we'll have to see. Yeah, their main focus is just to develop the game, get it out more than anything else. Yeah, we have a fat field there. Oh, it crashed. Fingers are crash. Oh no, the game crashed. Oh no. You want to see a battle? We fought a handful of, like, small engagements so far. So that's my third crash um, in however, how long have I played the game? In 20 hours, I've crashed three times. We're not done, by the way. We'll be going for a bit longer, so... Um, I want to at least try and make it out of the winter. Oh, no, no. But I, I think it would be very unlikely for this game to get abandoned. Um, you know. Oh, it's all the way back here. Do we have someone on fucking... We don't have anyone on woodcutting. Okay, let's do that. We're back here with this. Okay. Do we do anything else in our other village? I don't think we did. Right, we're woodcutting. We're building that, that, and that. Get some more houses down. Why not? Whilst we're here again. We just went like boom, 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 boom. Right. Cool. There you go, nice. So build them up, please. We've got someone back on wood cutting now. Now that I've yeah, made sure that someone's on wood cutting. We've no one on the storehouse and nobody tanning either. Nobody tanning is kind of bad. Why do I have nobody tanning? And we don't need any more wood, right? So I guess we'll do that and then stick someone tanning so we'll have clothes. Um, yeah, no, I, I I would be very surprised if this game did get abandoned. I I don't think it will. Like, you know, the, the reason why this game is as popular as it is, is, you know, down to the open nature of the developer. The fact that he was, like, so, like, you know, forward with talking and interacting with the community. That really spurs on a lot of the YouTubers and stuff to really kind of fall in love with the game. Like, it's an amazing concept regardless, but, you know... Let's be honest, um, 
he's had a lot of, or they, the team now, because it's not just one person anymore, the team have had a lot of, you know, a lot of publicity. Basically, completely free promotion. Um, and YouTube is creating hype for the game for the past, like, two and a half years. But, you know, that's because of the way they approach. Like, an amazing concept which people could get behind and are excited for. And just, you know, the way that they, they interacted on Twitter and everything else, you know? And I can't imagine them just being like, oh, no, yeah, we're gonna, just gonna stop, stop developing the game now, because, you know. <laughs> yeah, it just ain't gonna happen, is it? We're up to 49 families now as well. Keep on upgrading wherever we can. Are there any tier twos that can upgrade? Doesn't look like it. What are we missing? Food. <laughs> We're missing food. We are we are scraping by. We are indeed scraping by, that is for sure. You just tail tails if you don't like this yet. <laughs> Not gonna happen, unfortunately, my friend. Not gonna happen. How are we doing in Fishhampton? Just building the houses up. Yeah, we want to basically get this house up and running. Uh, stop the thing from dropping, which is important. But yeah, once once all these houses are built, um, we'll be in a good situation. We're bandits. Fucking bandits. They stole flour as well. Where are they? There. Right, boys. Rally. Rally the boys. Um, oh, we could probably actually upgrade another one as well. Yeah. Boom. Uh, upgrade. Such a cool armor. So who isn't upgraded right now? So one, two, three. So three out of our twelve dudes are not upgraded. Uh, it's releasing into early access, Mike. Early access. Uh cool. Well, let's go deal with these. Oh, wait, we're already here? Oh, no, we're not. I said I thought we were already there. I was like, pumped. Cool, December, boys. Uh, general storage full? Our storehouse is full? No. Oh, it's our... Sorry, yeah, it's, it's these, I guess. The saw pit and stuff, right? Okay, we still got plenty of flour to make. Cool, our beer is being made as well. We have like a lot of, lot of wool. Clay, clay we need. Grain we're keeping, yeah. Okay, I think we'll survive the winter, honestly. It's already December, so there's two more months to make. And we'll be good. Still hunting. Oh, we just need these houses to be done really well. else are you guys building? I need you guys forever to build these houses up. Why are you focusing on like individual houses to begin with? Splendid work on the roof, good sir. Work area empty. Oh, over here. Oh, I have someone on here. Okay. Oh, that's that's probably what it was. I probably took someone from here and they were put them on the tannery. Yeah, makes sense. All right, I'm gonna leave two people here to work on this for now. We have someone tannery. We have someone doing that. We have someone giving firewood. Cool. Yeah. So that that region should be okay in the winter. That's what I was a little bit scared of, but I think we're doing okay. Yeah. How's it going, Calm? Welcome. Yeah, so as soon as we have enough money, uh, I think we're going to yeah, try and upgrade uh, to get a little bit more soldiers. Um, let's just get like here and let's rest. We're going to get out of the trees as well. Yeah, we are we are teetering. I'm very glad that you guys let me know. Um, are we regenerating here? We are, right? Yeah, let's regenerate fully here and then march into battle. I'm very glad that you guys let me know um, about the gardens and like the bigger plot sizes. Because I think without these gardens... We would have probably have died uh, this winter. Nice. Cool. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll go vegetables across the board, I guess. Because I don't, I doubt this is going to be a region where we farm much. I mean, obviously, we can transfer bread over here and trade it for berries. But, yeah, I doubt this is going to be a very um, farm-heavy region. And I think I'm fine with one ox because we're not farming here. Yeah. So, over here... I think what we probably do is we probably get the berry deposit because it doubles the capacity. So we got 240 berries. 
That basically sustains us. Or we go for beekeeping. Or maybe we just go berries and then we go beekeeping. Yeah, because one more house and then we can immediately get the berry deposit upgrade. So that's going to stick this from a... Already, it's already doubled, right? Because it's rich. So it's going to go from... It's going to go from 128 to, what, 204, uh, 56, 50, 56, yeah, 56. Uh, no, so it's, so yeah, no, nothing to do with, uh, so regional wealth from here is just coming because every new village starts with 50. And I've just spent it, 15 of it to make us vegetables to help us with, uh, with food. <laughs> Jackie Finn. I forgot that it actually shows it as well. Look at that fish hand in it. Actually literally puts it on the map. That's cool. That's really cool. I like that. I know we're running out of everything, okay? Don't worry. We've finally figured out our farming. So our farming next season is going to be amazing. Yeah, our farming next season is going to be amazing. I'm going to put I'm going to literally have like 16 families working on the fields. Gonna be great. We're gonna have enough bread to last us a year. Years. Yeah, we really we really did kill a lot of these animals. Where's our hunting camp? Yeah, we need to just get someone off of that hunting camp now. It's just pointless. Uh maybe get them back onto more timber, I guess. We have five people on firewood. We have two people on coal as well. Uh, our stone is running a little bit low, actually. So we can maybe try and get some more stone. And then we're with three more upgrades. Up. I mean, you can just upgrade to normal ones. I guess, yeah. We need people in these houses, realistically. Because I think these uh, give us some more options. Oh, yeah. We could also do the policy as well, right? Uh, here? Yeah, this one as well. Wild animals and rich deposits breed Bread, uh, yeah, breed, breed twice as fast. Breed, breed twice as fast. I assume that counts for berries? Wild, ha no, it's wild animals on rich deposits. Yeah, so that doesn't matter for us, right? Because it's just wild animals. We don't have a wild animals. They're not, they're not on a rich deposit. They're on, they're just a normal one. So I think that's talking about, like... There's actually not a single... Oh, up here. Yeah. That. Okay, our first upgrade's going to be done. It's going to be really good timing, actually. Because that, that house is going to be done. Ready for... Uh, ready for us to, 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 to... Get that upgrade. I think we go with the berry upgrade first. And then, yeah, then we then we want to focus on planks here. And look, we're actually at 50%. Nice. Church is obviously hurting. Oh, 51%. We have pop growth, boys. Uh, we have pop growth in our new in Fishhampton. I love to see it. Ah, uh, fuck the boys. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, cool. Let's go. Let's just walk over as well. Uh, no need to run. Just walk. Oh, we have the banner back as well. And this will be good as well because the, the entire... Look how souped up the boys are as well. Like, these guys are not messing about now. We have, what, two guys who aren't fully upgraded. Nice. Yeah, go get rid of them, brigands. We're, like, here. Uh, getting rest of that stone might not be a bad idea either. Yeah, you guys, boys, are moving out. Still hunting animals. Yeah, we have the stone up there which we can transfer. So yeah, what will probably end up happening? We'll probably get, grab lots of his stone and we'll start sending it back and berries as well, obviously. These houses aren't done yet. Come on, finish up the houses, please. Cool. So yeah, let's immediately grab the berry upgrade. I think. Um, yeah, I think so, right? I think we go berries and we go honey. We go beekeeping here. And that's it, really. Like, and then maybe like wax. Yeah. 
Cool. So forest management. So that means that this berry deposit should be uh, looking at 256. That is going to be crazy. That is going to be wild. Uh, and then how's our army? Yeah, boys are coming as well. There's only 16 of them again, yeah. It would be nice if the bandit camps could get bigger, you know? It's going to double little rank. I think it gives us more cohesion bonuses and we'll, we'll rest up as well. Yeah, we've got a good cohesion bonus as well. We're set up. So I think because because we're like braced, we get a really nice bonus. And look at that. All the, all the swords and stuff. Are, sorry, all the shielded dudes are on the front with the banner. Yeah, Tom, there is an XP... Uh, so the XP system, I don't think, is in for early access, but there is... There is one ready. So there you go. And I think we're in a pretty decent formation, right? To, to fight this? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll slaughter these. These brigands won't stand a chance. The morale is already dropping. Um, let's, let's go. Let's go aggressive. Let's push forward now. There you go. He just killed one of them. I think over on the other flank. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, there is an XP system for them. Um, it's just not in early access. And you'll basically be able to upgrade, I guess, different people to be good at different stuff. Oh my god, my god, I just slaughtered him. And there you go, broken them. Nice, good job. 12 of them up and running. All right, let's go get some money. So I guess, do, we don't really need regional wealth here anymore. So I guess we maybe just get more treasury to get more retinue and upgrade them, do you think? Is the play? Okay, it's already January, so I need just one more month. One more month and we're free. We're free from this hellhole. Uh, okay, cool. And then... So the next, next here we need planks. As soon as we get planks, then we can make the church, right? Yeah, planks and wood. Okay. So stick someone back on there, and then let's get planks up and running. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, yeah. So let's get our saw pit up and running. Uh, I guess we'll just take it like here. We don't have enough wood for that, yeah. So we'll get the, the saw pit up and running, and then it's just planks. Um, and then, yeah, we're good. So we might as well stick two people on here to get as much as possible. Oh, yeah, and then destroying the camp so they're no longer homeless, right? Yeah, good job. Nice. Give a bit of wood back, and then do we have enough wood? Yeah, then we have enough timber for the saw pit. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we have no one assigned. Oh, yeah. Can we put two families there? Cool. Yeah, we'll do that. So, yeah. When we have a saw pit up and running, um, and then we'll make planks. And then the church. I guess the church can maybe go in, like, the center. That'd be kind of cool. Like, the church can go, like, right here, maybe? Yeah, like, we can we can make we can make room for this. Like, the church just goes, like, here. We have a market in front of us. Uh, yeah, nice. I think that would look cool. Cool. Well, Fishhampton is coming along nicely. I said we have a lot more stuff over here. Again, I might make like another field. Like, depends how crazy we want to go, but you know, it's not like we can't. Like, there's a lot of fields, right? There's a lot of fields, but I think I think I'm literally gonna put like 16 people on this. Half of these fields are already plowed, so that's not really a problem. And then we'll kind of do a mini plow afterwards, you know. And I'm going to be able to have, like, two oxes on both of these. Yeah, I'm going to be able to have two oxes on these and, you know, kind of rock like that. Uh, let's, continue, let's continue to upgrade where we can. Oh, yeah, and we're going to we're gonna take it for ourselves, I think. Ah, uh, it's annoying this won't... Because if I click the... Oh, I accidentally clicked that. Did it go... I was going to say, it would be cool if I could get it to go to this one. But it doesn't, yeah, because it's not the nearest, annoyingly. Yeah. God damn it. My bad. I, like, clicked it, but I went to go off of it. It was my bad. Yeah. My bad. I mean, to be fair, having more regional welfare isn't the worst thing in the world, either. Uh, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. 
Um, we're still selling war bows, right? We're still selling other weapons. We're looking fine on planks now as well. Spears. We've got a lot of pole arms now as well. Okay, we can sell some pole arms. We actually don't have a squad of them. Um, so we can actually trade some pole arms now as well. Uh, why not? Uh, export. We'll export down to 36. Do we need more? I, oh, we actually need more swords, you know? To have more of these guys? Yeah, equipment missing. Okay, so I'll oh, back on our blacksmith actually then. Uh, yeah, you're, you're still making swords. Okay. And I assume you're still making shields? Yeah, you're still making shields as well. So it's just our other blacksmith that is, yeah, making pole arms. Let's go to making some swords. Just so we can get everybody upgraded. And we are still making bows as well. Right. Yep, still making bows. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Like, it's such a stupid thing, right? Like, but I'm excited now that I just kind of it clocked that we could have another farm. And I'm like, oh yeah, that makes so much sense. Let's have another farm. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's go, I think it's going to do wonders because then we can literally have like a ton more families. I mean, realistically, we can do another one like over here. And I have like three, three oxes. Because it plows so much faster. I mean, we just need the people for sewing, really. Uh, I imagine we've probably used up all of our grain, but yeah. Means we have another family. We have like a lot of families right now. Um, so we might as well just like put them all to work on stuff just to stockpile us, you know? Saw pit, more fuel, charcoal. I guess more people on the weaver as well because we have like so much yarn. Maybe not free though, we're almost at our limit anyway. Uh, yeah, we're just waiting. Like, I guess we'll continue to upgrade a lot of these to tier 2 as well. But obviously, it means they have more requirements, but that's fine. And then back over here in Fishhampton, how are we looking? Yeah, we're very close to getting up to an another family. That'll be really nice as soon as we do. Once this is built as well, that'll be big. I mean, it's already January, right? So I think we're going to be fine. And the saw pit is done, so we'll stick a family in the saw pit now. Um... And yeah, this is where another ox would come in useful because we need the ox for that. But that's fine. Like, we'll be fine. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking good. Look how many clothes we have. Wow. We have a lot of clothes now. I mean, I'm not complaining, right? Like, it's good that we have this much, this many clothes, like, ready. We actually don't have that much spare. Like, we have a lot of shoes. We are also selling shoes. We're also very close to running it, like, coming up with, yeah, we're at 20 helmets. Okay. So, we need more blacksmiths as well. That's fine with me. So, do you have a family in yet? You don't. Yeah, none of these guys have families. But I wouldn't mind making some of these into a blacksmith. And we need three more tiers, but until we get that, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Plenty of iron ore still. Yeah, the iron ore is still pumping. Yeah, the iron ore is still pumping. Nice. I mean, realistically, we could do that and then actually start making some tools as well. And the rest of these back as well. There's no more bandit camps around the map. Just check in. Yeah, I appreciate it when you guys let me know if a bandit camp does appear because dealing with them quickly is very important. And we'll just disband the boys. Cool, retinue is back. The army is looking good. We're almost like basically fully stocked up on three full units, which I'm I'm looking forward to. I guess the next unit we'll get is like maybe another arch unit. I feel like the pole arm militia would be cool, but we just don't need them. So maybe we then grab another unit of archers. So we'll have two units of archers, two front lines of spears and and um and just normal like militia foot. Oh yeah, also something we should definitely be doing with our tailor right now. Because we don't have the dyes anyway, so we should be making gambesons. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I should be. I should have been doing that ages ago. Because we don't have any dyes anyway. Um, so we. Oh, this can upgrade. Ah, this can upgrade. This can upgrade. Ah, ah. Oh, we can't. God damn it. I think they were just happy enough to do it, and then I missed it. Damn it. 
Uh, do we have another tailor? I feel like we do somewhere. Yeah, here. And you guys make gambesons as well. So then that will outfit us with armors. So we'll have helmets and also gambesons on our militia. Our militia are going to kick some serious ass. Oh, tier two, tier two, tier two to a tier three. So yeah, we're really trying to get to, to 10 plots so we can get this boost so we can start importing a ton of food. The better deals is just crazy. It basically makes everything that's minor, um, like a minor trade good, like so valuable. How are we looking on planks? We're up to 10 planks. Is that enough? To build a church? Uh, let's pause it quickly. Have a look. No, 20. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. Our granary is looking fine. Yeah, well, the new town's going to take a little bit of time. Like, I need to get all these upgrades, right? I need to get the apples and I need to get the beekeeping. I think mean, the berry deposit was good because we need the berry. We need loads of berries so we can trade them back and make loads of dyes to make more cloves. So yeah, but yeah, I think I, I think our next upgrade here is like apples and also uh, bees. Yeah, I think that's gonna be I think that's gonna be the plan for this. This is, this is gonna basically be like a forest, um, like a berries, like a food producing place, and it also gets loads of stone as well, which is nice. I mean, the militia is definitely cool, but it's brutal when you use them, right? Because as soon as you use them, then you just all of a sudden, uh, yeah, you all of a sudden get in a very uh, brutal situation. Uh, yeah, we're losing more money there. What are we buying, actually? Oh, barley. Yeah, barley is barley is a pain in the ass to buy. That's what I'm saying. We're spending right now to get 10 sacks of barley. We're spending 120 regional wealth, which is basically everything we're making. If you flip that and you get the next bonus, it's going to be costing us 20 it's 10 times cheaper, basically. So it's going to be costing us 20 instead of 120 regional wealth to get that. How wild is that, you know? We are surviving, though. Like, we're surviving. The vegetables are literally keeping us alive. Yeah, I mean, I would love... I, like, what I wish I would have done is, is gone... I wish I didn't have charcoal burners and I would have got better deals... And then gone advanced armorer. So I think we're going to have to get a third region. And that's going to be our, our armorer region. I don't know where though. Like I guess here would be good for iron. Yeah we could like take this region maybe. Or we could just transport iron as well. You know we could do that as well. But yeah it's a shame. It's a shame that we'd like. Yeah I didn't. Now that I like, have a better idea of stuff I want to do, yeah. I would, I would have probably still gone heavy plow here because we are still farming here and it's our first region. If it was like a new region that was just built around making armor, then I probably, yeah, would not go heavy plow because I'll get food elsewhere. And then just go armory, yeah, and just go all the way down there. The plate would be cool. Oh, yeah, and also as well, the person who asked me about the uh, the upgrades, yeah, so the upgrade tree is, like, down here. So as they level up, they'll be able to, like, unlock these perks, basically. Which is cool. Uh, you should do what the English did. Go 70% archers. Yeah, I mean, I think the archers are, like, really strong in the game as well. Uh, we should also possibly look to build, um, to upgrade our thing now as well, right? Let's, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and get like a garrison tower. We could build it. And we'll just have a look, like, have it like down there. Like that. Or does that look rubbish? Would it be better to go like like have these smaller ones and have a garrison tower? Where is it? Where would be good? I don't know why we have that unlocked as well. Hmm. Like, it has to be, like, on the main road, like, here. Just because it expands out our borders a little bit. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Oh, we should commit to that as well. Sorry. Uh, commit, right? Am I building something out here? I feel like I just shouldn't be here, but it is. I don't know why. 
Yeah, we are. We're building another whatever is out there. It's fine. Connect to a road to the tower. Yeah, connecting the road to the tower is also good as well because you get the little. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can attach the tower, really? Oh, fuck, I, I probably have to destroy it. Oh, well, it's fine. I did not realize you could do that. That would, be, that would have been cool. But I guess it also, we, want, we do want to expand our influence as well, so. The worst thing in the world. Okay, we're up to 50 families now. 162 people. I mean, Jackieville is looking nice. Uh, we're at, yeah, seven here. Yeah, god damn it. I, I put it down before even realizing. I can't demolish it as well without demolishing the entire building. Can I write? Yeah, no, I can't. Oh, well, it is what it is. I, I would have looked cooler, I think, for sure. Are we looking over here? Oh, baby. We actually had decent approval now as well. Good. How many planks? 20 planks. We just need a little bit more wood and then boom, the church goes down and then this place starts booming. This place starts booming. Obviously, food's going to be a bit of an issue here. We're going to have to import it. I mean, food everywhere is a bit of an issue. We're going to have to import it, I think, for sure. Because I'd much prefer to import bread here and send berries back. And I think I think, I think, think next year is going to be massive for us. Because we're going to get all these fields on the go. And we're going to get a lot of wheat. Yeah, I like a lot of wheat. We're making gambersons as well for the boys. Yeah, these these guys are now starting to have gambersons. That's good. We have a lot to make, but we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, how are we looking at planks as well? Yeah, plank, planks are starting to get a hit because obviously we're making a bunch more weapons to sell. So yeah, we could probably go down on the bows now again. Let's just hold up there. Are we still making iron? We are. Yeah, we're still pumping iron as well. I'm so annoyed I did that. It's fine. I don't want to destroy my manor house or anything. Ah, uh, we actually took a family as well back on this. Um, we don't need free making bread for sure. Yeah, let's take someone back on hunting as well. And we'll hunt down to like five. Yeah, it still gives us 11 animals to hunt. Cool. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. The church is now done. Or oh, the church is ready to be built. Um, yeah, so let's just go like... Where do we want it? Where do we want it? Like somewhere out here? Kind of like it being in like the center? Does that, does, does that mean it just takes up space? Like here would be good, I think. Or you'd have it like deep in the settlement, you know? Do it there. Okay, this is gonna be big because basically once this church is built, we're gonna then have enough like we're gonna have enough approval now with this that we're just gonna be pumping because it mainly is just it's homelessness. I don't know why homelessness is an issue, but uh, we need someone off of something to, to make it. I guess we don't need any more planks for now, so yeah, we can get rid of you. Yeah, we'll, we'll build around it. So this will kind of be in the middle of the town because I'm gonna build our houses here, here go around you know so it's gonna be fine gonna be fine cool nice that's, that's really cool i like that hell yeah and back to to, to baron burr villages are pumping we're up to what yeah seven out of soon to be eight i mean well, i'll tell you like winter is almost up uh, we might as well like Winters, we survived the winter, which is which is cool. We survived the winter, and you know, let me tell you, we are we're getting closer and closer to getting ready to, to absolutely pump the fields. Um, how many? So we only have we only have one like blacksmith blacksmith. We have a smithy uh, who is pumping tools as well right now. Not that I have any idea what tools do. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Still, yeah, we've we've stocked up on so much firewood as well recently. Firewood has been our, our big priority here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm literally going to go down. Like, as soon as we get out of, out of February and we go into spring, 
we're gonna like yeah stick two two things we're gonna plow the last of these fields we're gonna sow them and we're gonna be ready we're gonna be ready should i have harvested the barley like i feel like the barley like has grown or something i don't know yeah i feel like it was grown i don't know and I've just, like, let it die. Like, I should have just harvested this, I think. Because I feel like I've lost a bunch of barley. Like, I feel like I'm not harvesting barley when I need to be. Because I feel like this was, like, like 60 barrels or something, you know? Why don't you do barley then, yeah. Barley, then wheat. Uh, and then this is doing wheat and then flax. And then... Yeah, so getting another, getting another blacksmith up. No, we don't need another blacksmith. We need another armorer. That's what we need. Yeah, another armorer is going to be important. Um, so we could do it here, honestly. Obviously, we need to upgrade it to level 2. I don't think it actually has anybody living in it at the moment as well. Let's upgrade this to level 2, and then let's make this another armorer. So that way we have two people making helmets, and we can sell them to make us more money. I think some of it is a winter crop. Uh, maybe. I know. I feel like this is a, this is like sixty something before, and it's just gone down. And I should have just maybe have force harvested when I have a chance. I don't know. How's the church coming along, big boy? Yeah, let's go. Almost done. Uh, construction on the manor is done here. Yeah, there you go. So the garrison town is now done, which means twenty-four. Holy crap! Twenty-four retinue. That is going to be wild. Um, I mean, <laughs> up to 17 now. Obviously, these guys aren't the strongest, but... Um, okay, what I should do as well is I should put like a little note. Like, yeah, let's just do like a little plus next to people I, who are members. So I, I remember who we've... Oh, who I've named and who I haven't. All right, let me try Finn looks fucking badass. I think Finn looks the coolest out of anybody in our, in our squadron. Look at that. It's so cool. So this way I just remember who we've named and who we haven't. That was Jake from Jake State Farm. Swedish, Swedish looks pretty... I mean, all the two-handers look good. Pretty sure you were. And Mathis definitely was. Um, but I forgot to press enter on this guy. Oh, Swedish as well, I forgot. And on Jake, I forgot. God damn it. I'm a moron. Um, Squiddy, Squiddy, Cole, Finn, Josh. Yeah, there you go. Cool. So that way I just remember that we've named these guys already. Uh, and then Endurus? Was Endurus someone? I feel like he was. Let's just do that just in case. Yeah, cool. Nice. So we have a Sigars retinue. Uh, check that you don't have forced harvest in your fields. Also, I think the AI doesn't realize you're in autumn and plows just before winter hits. So you lose, you know. But you say that, but like, um, it says in autumn that you plow and sow crops in autumn. I think you're supposed to plow and sow crops in autumn. Yeah. I'm just wondering if barley's not good for that. Okay, we're about to be out, right? The ground should be uh, getting looser. And then, yeah. And then it's all hands. It's, yeah, oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, there you go. All right, boys. All, we have so much fuel now because of what I did here as well. Uh, so we're going to one. Uh, probably bound to like. Yeah, that. All hands aboard. Um... Smithy, I don't mind making tools. I, don't, I have no idea what tools are made for, but I don't mind going down a little bit. You guys can go down to one. You guys can get down to one. Let's get another one. All right, cool. Let's do that, and then put you up to that, and then let's go one, two, three, and then put you up to that. Cool. And we have one family left. Cool. Nice. It's beautiful. So our farms, yeah, our farms should be bussing now. All right. Yeah, all going to plow the field. Nice. You have your farms. Gonna be good. Let's 
gonna be good. Yeah, so if we if we can get all these fields done. You know, did I not make a field out here as well? I feel like I did. Um I mean, to be fair, this could just be enough, you know? Yeah, I made that field right here. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so much stuff. I love it. Uh, cool. And then back here and fish. Again, having to swap through all these towns as well is uh, it's a little bit troublesome. Our church is coming along nicely. Cool. So that's what I'm mainly looking forward to is the church. Why are you guys unhappy, man? Of oh, the church, yeah. It's literally the church. And we also have the gardens as well. So we want to try and get some regional wealth in here as quickly as possible. Also, the deposits are growing right here. The berries. Yeah, the berries are growing. They can grow up to 256. So it's going to be fat. Um. Yeah, no, it says it. It says it. It says harvest, plow, and sow crops in winter. So that is seeding, right? Sowing is seeding. Yeah, sowing. And we should have, what, two? Uh, two people, yeah. Are oh, we doing that field? Are we doing the barley? Do they harvest the barley or not? What the fuck are they doing with this field? Is it, it's not on force harvest. No one's on force harvest, right? But it says it has crops here. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, well, look how fast they're doing it, though. That's amazing, man. Yeah, I don't know what's happening here. Because <laughs> I suck, though, because, I mean, we are obviously selling a lot of stuff, but I don't really want to keep on, like, getting more barley. Um, but we can have bigger fields. Like, I feel like I've even had another field there. Like, it's March, right? I mean, we still need to obviously, you know, we, I guess we should probably just plant this. If you remember Clarkson's farm, he does winter barley. Yeah, maybe, maybe I was supposed to harvest that, but then why didn't they harvest it? I don't know. I think something maybe is glitched out in this field. Yeah. We're following that next season anyway. That's fine. Because I also feel like my fields are kind of glitched out as well, because you can't, like, see them growing either. God, people are really unhappy. Why is everybody so unhappy? Yeah, just food. They're literally, like, not meeting their food requirements. I mean, we have, we have, like, surviving, but we're not, like, thriving is the main problem. Oh, the berries are back. The berries are back. And you can get off of that, yeah. Get the goddamn berries in. We need dyes. We need cloves. Our gambesons must be busting, but you up to six on these guys now. Cool. So back on the berries, and I guess we should start being on these berries as well. Um, yeah. Oh, we've got a new family here as well. Hell yeah. A new family has arrived as our church has been built. Beautiful stuff. Cool. So yeah, this place should be quite happy now. We'll get back on the berries. Uh, we're, we're cutting. Yeah, nice. This village is basically a functional. It can survive for winter. We probably need another house here as well, though. Uh, we do have gardens here as well, right? Yeah, we do have gardens. We can make some more stuff. These will be like, you know, just chickens and stuff. Maybe other interesting things. So we'll just build like some more houses. Uh, probably a few too many houses there. Yeah, just number two houses. Boom. We'll do that. That'll give us more population here. Uh, we have our, our vegetables, which should last us a long time, I think. When they start coming in. Nice. What animals are we growing? Um, yeah, just get on the berries. Get on the berry hype. Back into the village where nobody likes me. I mean, it's, it's getting developed, though. Look at that. Like, we are getting up there. We just have no food. Uh, yeah, we have, like, absolutely no food. Oh, we'll keep on with charcoal. I like the charcoal. And then now we're just selling. Okay. Cool. I mean, that should give us a good couple. Yeah, that should give us a lot of growth. That should give us like five seasons of growth, honestly, with the amount of people we have here. Away with you, vile beggar. 
Yo, good hook. How's it going, man? How's it going, dude? Thank you so much for the membership. I really appreciate that. Welcome back, as always. Thank you so much for the support, Good Hook. Good to have you back. As always, hope you're doing well, my man. We're still just making planks, yeah. We're still pumping planks as fast as we can. We actually have a decent amount. Uh, we have a spare family as well. Back on the berries, of course. Um... Yeah, we actually have no more left. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go collect some more stone. Let's go clean up this stone. Um, let's again check for any bandit camps around. No, no, no. Yeah, we, we've come a long way, right? We've expanded the farms and we've literally like plowed everything. Like this is completely sown as well. This wheat is completely sown. You want to? Yeah, of course. Sure thing. You have to become a member. You could have just asked. Maybe I missed it. Sorry. There's a lot going on. Um... There we go. Uh, no, wait, look. I mean, to be fair, I probably don't need to put a plus next to your name. I feel like I, I know that you're a, a companion character. Uh, nice. You got a little, little mace. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are, right? We, we really are. Like, I have, uh, yeah, some good feel. We should have a lot of wheat now. Like, I'm hoping that this will be, yeah, just a solid... Oh, raiders are spotted? Raiders? Where? How many of them? Is there only the two groups again? Because we can kill them quite quickly. Where were raiders spotted? Like, do we have to go... Maybe we have to go defend the north? Near here. Okay, that's fine. They want to come and scrap. I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to have them. Okay, 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 okay. Right, cool. We got ourselves a little bit of a battle, boys. This ain't no simple, simple raid. I mean, again, we're gonna slaughter these guys. Don't get me wrong. We're gonna absolutely demolish them. But this is the biggest raid that we've seen. Um, if they could just wait a little bit longer so we can plow the field, that would be great. Can we, like, send them a message saying, yeah, we're up for a good scrap. Can you just let me sow the seeds? And we have a few people with, like, gambesons as well now. Everybody has helmets, right? Yeah, everybody has helmets. So we should be, yeah, still making helmets. Okay. Uh, this is tier two now. So let's make this into an armory. I mean, hopefully someone will move in here. Oh, tier two upgrade. Yeah, tier two upgrade. Good. Uh, and then just one more. It's tier one. Tier one still. Uh, we have no more tier twos that can upgrade, but I mean, I guess to be fair, you guys should probably upgrade as well. Gurg's first battle, yeah. So we'll let them filter in a little bit closer, right? I don't want to like overextend. And it is just all infantry, right? Yeah, all infantry, okay. We actually have a lot of small shields now as well, okay? We should probably stop making small shields. Um, or we could export small shields, I guess. Yeah, we don't need to make any more shields now. We've got 66 of them, that's plenty. Uh, let's go to the joiner maker. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, what do wooden parts do out of interest? Anyone know? Did we do anything? Maybe not. Okay, we're pumping food. Good. good, good. There should be lots of berries. Uh, what we should do here as well is we should get that pack mule, right? Yeah, let's get that, that, mule, that pack mule station down. Because then I think we can then start transporting goods back and forth, which will be nice. As of right now, I don't think this guy's actually doing anything, right? Uh, what is this? Following. Oh, they are. Okay, no, they are. They are actually transporting. Cool. Nice. So I guess they're picking up the berries and they're giving yarn. Don't worry, boys. Yeah, you oh my God, we got so much yarn. They got so much yarn. Uh, I mean, to be fair, we could make a weaver and get some, like, insane tier 2 clothes here, like, immediately. We should do that, man. I mean, you also need dyes. We actually have good dyes. So, what we should end up doing, then, is we should get to a point where we're making dyes in this region. Um, and then transporting the dyes down here. Does it also give regional wealth as well? No, it doesn't. I wonder if it's because it's the other way around. If I give them something really cheap, then maybe... 
Because I wonder if we're getting regional wealth from that. Want a new family? Good. Nice new family over here. Oh, it's here. All right. This one doesn't matter. Hey, if you don't select all units, the others get filled up. What do you mean? Oh, you see like that? That's kind of cool. Attack one, armor five, impaling. Oh, okay. I mean, we're probably going to select full. We're going to select everybody because we have more than enough. Or we can also get another retinue as well. I don't know where our money... Oh, we taxes came in, right? Oh, I didn't mean to upgrade Endus, but we did. Oh, that means we can't. Okay, let's just upgrade the rest of these guys then. Uh, I think Squiddy needs an upgrade as well, right? Oh, we're out of money now. All right, a few more upgraded. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to keep on letting them in. We're going to keep on letting them in. I'm also going to get someone on the dye workshop now. We need dyes. Wow, every one of these fields is now is now done. That is crazy. Uh stock damage. Probably had a fire for a second. Okay, we did not. Um Yeah, it's fine. Uh we built some more houses here, right? We're up to sevens, so we need to build some more. Um yeah, we need to build some more houses here then, right? And getting regional wealth here ASAP is going to be important. Yeah, if we get regional wealth and we just like stock these. Yeah, we yeah we need we need regional wealth here, like ASAP. Um. So maybe what we do then is instead of yarn, we trade them planks or something. Like, what do we have a lot of that would be worth? Probably planks, yeah, or tools. Yeah, maybe I should give them something a little bit more useful, you know? Give them weapons. <laughs> we could do that. Uh, yeah, I want them to end up giving me dyes. I can't give them any food for now. I'm sorry. Maybe next season we can. Maybe some clothes. Like, I feel like we have... Yeah, maybe shoes. Oh, shoes. Yeah, we have a lot of shoes, actually. And it's now worth this. So, for firewood, at seven silver per unit. If the barter value says... Yeah, so they have to give me... 2.7 berries for the shoes, which is fine. Because I want 2.7 berries, right? Nice. And we have two people going, right? Yeah, we have you. Yeah, we have you transporting here. Which I imagine you have some gear on you as well. I can't see that, but I imagine you do. And we have the second one as well. Uh, and then you're, I guess, coming in as well. Nice. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I need to keep, make sure I don't lose my... Eye. Okay, we're coming into our territory now. Uh, did we manage to sow this in time? No. Come on. Just just give me, like, give me, like, five more minutes, you know? Give me some time. Okay, no, we have to go now. Um... Let's just rally here. Call the banner. This could be a lot of soldiers running into battle as well. Like we have, we have like almost 150 soldiers now. The archers are moving. I think our next unit is going to be archer upgrade. Look at that. these guys have helmets as well now. I wonder if a few of these guys will actually have like proper gambesons as well. Yeah, you can see these. Like a bunch of these guys all have helmets now as well. A few actually have like proper overcoats, like proper gambesons. That is cool, man. They're gonna probably burn my stone cutters camp down as well. Where did they go? They're in the forest still, god damn it. I'm actually gonna probably get this family off of the stone because I just don't want them to die. So let's get them off the stone. 
Okay, let's let's set up Ben. Let's set up properly. So you guys set up like so. The archers can go behind. And we are we're gonna, we're gonna slaughter these guys, by the way. Just FYI. They're gonna die very quickly. Because we actually have a very good army. <laughs> like, just think of it this way. Each of these units is like double. Uh double the uh, the enemy unit. That looks bloody good, I'm not gonna lie. The Jackie Fish army. Is raring to go. And yeah, you can see the dudes actually have like armors and stuff as well. Like a bunch of these guys actually do have proper overcoats. That guy's got his bloody cooking pinny on. I mean, our, our elite, our elite retinue. I, do you think the, the elite retinue could probably do it themselves? Where did they get spotted? Where? They got spotted somewhere. Yeah, in the forest. We see them. Yeah, they're there. Let's get the archers forward then. Forward! They're in the forest here somewhere. I can't quite see them. But I can see them here. Through here somewhere. There they are. Oh, God. Yeah, you guys need to rest as well. Okay, so the archers will fire first. We don't want to let them get too close to us as well. Okay, the archers are firing. The first volley into them. Good job. Second volley. Get ready to fall back. There you go. We killed two of them so far with that volley. One more and then we fall back. Okay, now fall back. Get out of there, boys. Get out of there, boys. What are you guys doing? Run! Okay, some of them got back. Some of them didn't. No, archers, get out of there. Just run. Yeah, fall back. There you go. I think they've got back now. Good, good, good. And now the MC is taking over. We're about to get a nice little flank off. We're going to literally break these guys like instantly. Yeah, we're hitting them hard there. The helmet's obviously going to be helping massively. Oh my god, they're outflanking me though. We're going to ask my archers. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, you guys need to get stuck in there. God, we're going off my archers. We're going to lose many a good man. Hit him. We need to route this unit quickly. If we can. There's another unit coming in. Our swords are holding. Our axes are holding. That's fine, though. They can take on both of them. We need this unit to route quickly before we lose any archer. I think we've lost, we lost an archer, I think. Yeah, we definitely lost an archer. We broke Bembo. Good. I finish this off, boys. To be fair, the archers can disband now. Let's just spam the archers getting back to working. <laughs> and then, yeah, you guys charge him back. Beautiful stuff right there. Close in. Surround them. And yeah, the worst thing is right now... Ah, oh, my banner is there as well. The worst thing is, I'm not thinking about like, oh, we're going to get some sick stuff from winning this battle. I'm thinking about we're having to... We're going to have to bury these, ba these, these bodies, you know? How much of an inconvenience is that? It's not that, you know, the fact that, you know, oh, well, I've just lost soldiers or I've just had to ki I've just killed like a hundred people without losing many myself. It's a fact that I'm going to actually have to bury these guys. There we go. Victorious. Victorious, victorious, victorious. Let's line up once more. Beautiful stuff right there. One army. Let's face the other way. Let's face like here. No, oh, that's... You love to see that, man. There we go. The boys looking very nice indeed. Yeah, to the corpse pit. Let's disband. We actually have some people spare as well. So I'm going to take someone on the corpse pit. Uh, and then someone on the church, I guess. Ho hopefully, they'll bury all dead in the church. They're in the corpse pit. Off to work. Back to work, though, boys. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, and then get back to the fields. Yeah, I mean, that's actually not a bad crop, right? If, if we don't, As long as we don't hit a, a drought in summer, that's going to be a really good crop yield. We're going to get, like, not the best because, obviously, we didn't sow everything perfectly. But not really my fault. Yo, Jake, how's it going, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you back in the chat. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, you literally just missed it. We just fought probably our biggest battle yet. Just literally just for second. Uh, we lost a few brave men. And my retainers are just chilling. Look at that. You got, oh, yeah, she see them as well. There's Favor. There's, uh, there's Endress. There's Josh. There's Ditz. That's cool. Um, yeah, you can see the aftermath. We fought about... Yeah, there's a big bloody battle here. How many of them were there? It was 18 times 4, right? So, um, 40, 50, 60, 72? 72? 70? I think there were 70 of them. Which is good. We've also set up our secondary uh, village as well now. <laughs> Just chilling indeed. <laughs> Yeah, we take our secondary village. We've got seven people here. The church is up and running. So we're now going to be gaining more people. We're then going to be trading. Uh, yeah, we're going to be trading uh, resources from this place back to our main place. We've got... Ooh. Oh, no. Family for construction. That's fine. Uh, we can probably yeah, go down on the fields now as well. We have a... Yeah, we have a lot of people now for these fields and the graves. Yeah, I'm digging them. I'm digging them. Dump the bodies in here. Yeah, shame we can't use them to fertilize our fields. <laughs> what are we the worst thing in the world? And it looks like our food... Yeah, our food is going to probably pop off when we when we get going. We just need one more tier 2 house now as well. If we can get one more tier 2 house, then we can then take the cheaper trades and then I can just import to my heart's content um, food as well. Like I can just import so much. It's going to save us so much money. 26 bodies need to be shoveled. Uh, maybe I take another family. Uh, on it then. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, yeah, everything is sowed now, so we don't need any anyone on our farms. I always, like, I'll leave one there. You know, you never know when you might need them. Um, but yeah, let's go grave digging, boys. Let's have three spare families, I guess. Timber's never a bad idea. Maxed out there. Foraging. I guess also, like, yeah, maybe upgrading this now to a herb garden. Just getting like, a constant amount of herbs coming in. Uh, the animals are back up and running as well. Nice. Let's hunt them down. And we just have two people building. I have, yeah, I have a lot of fuel now, which is nice. I'll go back and watch it, but we're doing good. I have a great day as well. And can I ask, if, uh, can I be a member of one of your armies? You're already in there, Jake. Don't worry, sir. You're already in. You're in there last. I don't know. Maybe you left when I made you it. But yeah, you're already... Um, you're already there. Uh, where are you? Favor, Endress, Carl, Squiddy, Jake. Yeah, there you are. Speaking of which, we need to upgrade you with better armor. You and Squiddy are the last people I need to need to get upgraded. But yeah, you're already in the army. Don't you worry, Jake. <laughs> don't you worry. Oh, the pack station is now done as well here. Not that I can... I don't, yeah, I think I didn't need to build this, honestly. Oh, I wonder, actually, can I get, like, another ox? Oh, we have enough regional wealth anyway, yeah. Okay, cool. So we actually have seven families here. We're growing nicely. We have vegetables, which will give us good food. The berries are going to fill up for sure. As, yeah, it keeps on growing as well. It's so big. Like, we're going to have so... Yeah, we have so many berries. I should probably take a family on the granary so they can go and collect more. And then we're just, we're just literally shipping them. I wonder if, like, I should do, like, a road here as well. Because maybe I can collect them just, like, directly. Um, like, maybe I can collect these, like, directly just from here. So it speeds things up. And I'd have to go all the way to the granary, maybe. Oh, yeah, look at that as well. You can actually see the crop's... Growing over here? You can see the crops growing over here, but nowhere else. Maybe I need to, like, delete these fields and then redo them. Yeah, maybe I need to delete the fields and then redo them, maybe. Uh, I'll do that next season after we've harvested, I guess. Because, yeah, you can see them growing here, but that's it. Weird. It's a shame, because it would look beautiful, right, having all these fields done. And realistically, as well, we could go up more fields. Like, we could build another storehouse and go up another set of fields. Like, I ain't, I ain't joking. Uh, yeah, and that's being upgraded. We have more food there. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. And yeah, we've got some tier 3 towns as well. Yeah, but I definitely recommend going back and watching the stream. Yeah, even if it's just on two times speed because, yeah, we get a lot done. 
Um, yeah, you're looking good. Maybe, you know, we have, like, more families now, so maybe just more iron. Storehouses, pumping. We're upgrading this to a blacksmith, so we can, we can start making some more armor. Yeah, tier 3 as well. More tier 3s. So we just need one more tier 3, and then we become the, the medium town, which I think is the biggest upgrade we can do so far in, in early access. Um, yeah, and our armies are almost fully out strength, and I think we get another unit of archers, and then... Yeah, then we're just laughing all the way to the bank. Uh, how's it been running so far? Any frame? No, not a single fr I, like, To be fair, again, keep in mind, I am playing on... Uh, oh, nice, no, so we can actually upgrade as well. Uh, right? Or not? Uh... Yeah, I want to get I want to get upgraded more, I guess, before anything else. More retinue. Um, yeah, no. Uh, we have I've got a, a forty ninety and i nine, so obviously got a very high spec PC. Um, but yeah, I'm I've been running like one hundred and forty FPS, no issues there. We have crashed I think three times in about twenty hours. So again, um, you know, keep that in your mind. Um, but yeah, I would say yeah, it's been pretty pretty good stability wise, which is I guess very important. So yeah, stability-wise, it's been great. Our dye workshop as well should be pumping out more dyes for us, which is good. But like, we're also not using them right now because we're just making gambesons. Yeah, the more gambesons we we make, the better, really. But also as well, the problem is that people are just stealing my berries to eat. It's annoying. Oh yeah, we are we are selling armors. We are selling the goods we make. Don't worry. We are selling um, bows. I, mean, I can't sell them fast enough, even though they are pretty cheap now. Only five, but they're pretty easy to make. We're selling pole arms. We're selling shields. Um, helmets. Yeah, helmets sell for a decent amount as well. Pole arms sell for the most, actually. Yeah, and if, any weapon we have a surplus of, we are indeed selling. I guess as well, we could set up the trade route here and sell shields as well. Down to like 30. I feel like 36. Like going down to 36. This allows us to then, if we wanted to raise another unit, we could. Our oh, blacksmith is being built here as well. Nice. Yeah, no. Like performance-wise, I feel like I've had no issues at all. Five more bodies to, to fill up. So we have what? We have 13 bodies in our in our church. 13 brave souls. And the armor shop is now done as well. Good, good, good. So that means that these guys. Yeah, and now making more helmets for our boys. That was really cool as well, seeing everybody with a helmet as well. The majority of these guys with a helmet. We need to get them more gambesons. Yeah, more gambesons. And then I don't even think we actually have any flax for that. We just have so much wool and yarn. So yeah, we'll start giving them shoes as well. Why not? Let's, we'll start giving these guys shoes. That will really help them out. Like mass yeah, we can actually already upgrade them. Wow, we can already upgrade them. That's going to start being a problem, though, is the food. But then vegetables are going to come in clutch as well, I guess. Like, we'll have meat, berries, vegetables. I need regional wealth. I need to sell something from here. Oh, no, no, no. What I can do... Oh, my God. Yes, what I can do is to make regional wealth, we can transport weapons here. We can transport weapons here and then just sell them. So let's get a trading post up, because that'll be big, right? The sooner we get um, some money coming in, the better. So let's, let's get this trading post up and running, and then we can start shipping weapons here, like bows, and then selling them. And then we get loads of regional wealth, and that allows us to upgrade. Oh, amazing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. The berries are still... Look how many berries we have. God, we're going to be harvesting berries for years to come. I should probably even stick another family on this, just so we, we harvest the berries faster, you know? And transport them back, because I think the, the long walk is what's killing me. Uh, come on, we just need one more random town to be able to be upgraded. You know, ideally it'd be this one, right? But because yeah, these berries are, are, are not great. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have like 
120, 210, basically like 300 grain. But that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Everything's set up nicely. Cool. Well, I think that is where we're going to wrap up the uh, the episode. I think right there, I think that's where we're going to wrap up the streaming. I think we have two decisions next stream. Like, continue to, like, upgrade. Or we... I mean, I don't think we're ready for the final battle. So, I think maybe we claim one more region. I think we can't... I don't know where we claim it, though. You know? Like, maybe we just claim here to keep us nice and close together. Or maybe we claim down here to keep it nice and close together. Like, the extra berries as well would be good for clothing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I think what we do is next episode, we kind of claim one more region. Uh, and then we obviously continue to build up Fishhampton and we continue to build up Jackie. And then maybe we look to like go go to kill him. Um, I imagine I'm going to need four, like all six units to, to kill him. So we need more population, of course. Although we have the influence, right? We just need money. Uh, check for grain. Yeah, I think it means it's already, like, already halved. Like, it's already ready to go. Um, so, I think that means it's basically, it's already grown. Um, even though it's not. But it basically is, I guess. Um, but it's fine. I'll just harvest it. I mean, we could, again, we could early harvest it if we wanted to. If we wanted to. I think we're fine, though. Uh, again, same here. I think it, like, I think the number does jump around, but, like, sometimes they can grow more. So, we'll just let it. Uh, again, it's not that we're gonna be we're gonna be short of people to, to work for fields, okay? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. If you guys haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We'll be back live with this campaign, uh, probably expanding to a third region. Uh, yeah, take away the oxes as well. We'll do that quickly. Yeah, we'll probably be expanding to a third region uh, very soon, I think. Yeah, I think. Oh, it crashed anyway. There you go. <laughs> That's my fourth crash. We'll send a report and close as well. Um. Yeah, that was my fourth or fifth crash, I think, actually. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so Wednesday's episode, we will be expanding probably to a third region, getting back up and running. And then we'll be probably looking just to, yeah, win the campaign, I think. Uh, but yeah, that was a really good stream today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do drop a like before leaving. Uh, I'd really appreciate it as well if you could just comment after the video, after the stream is done. Just refresh it to a video and then go and comment on it saying you enjoyed the stream. Really helps out with the algorithm, and I very much do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, we're back live on this on Wednesday. Tomorrow's episode, we will be doing... Um, yeah, tomorrow's episode will be more Mana Lords, but it'll be my YouTube Let's Play. So again, if you want to kind of see me go through that and kind of take everything I've learned and kind of doing a bit of a different scenario, then you guys go check that out. Um, and yeah, I'll be back on Wednesday. Um, and obviously, if you miss, miss the stream, you can always just watch the VOD as well. The VOD stays up. But yeah, please subscribe, drop a like, comment after when the VOD goes up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it.